<laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Hello. Thursday? Friday? What Friday, day is holy it? cow. Friday, gamers. Today we're playing uh, Battle Tech. We have a special guest all the way from Arizona, Jason Craze of Monument Hobbies, to show me how to play. Jason, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, too. I'm excited to learn a new game. Battletech's one of those games that has a diehard community base oh, yeah. that is just constantly telling me, when are you going to play this game? When are you going to play this game? Um, and I'm, I'm excited to finally actually get the opportunity to do it. Get your hands on it. Absolutely. So uh, give us the rundown. Uh, what's going on, chat? Happy to have you guys here be enthusiastic about the game. Uh, we're gonna learn this game together. A lot of you probably already know how to play, uh, but I have no idea. Like he gave me a little bit of an intro, but really don't know much. So start us out here. What, what's the scenario? What are the things you're trying to do, et cetera? Yeah, so this is a scenario I created for teaching people Battletech. And uh, it's great because I can teach one to four players. It's called Bring It Down. So it's one V four. And uh, you're gonna play four mechs. And it's a good smattering. He's got a light, a medium, and two heavies. Uh, in a Jenner uh, for the light mech, a Wolverine for the medium, a Orion, and a Guillotine for the heavy. Yeah, that's your Jenner light, medium, and then your two heavies. Um, so it's got a good cross-reference of all the types of uh, weapons in the game. You got some missiles, you got some lasers, you got some auto cannons, you got short, medium, long range, you got fast and slow mechs. So it's going to show you the benefits and drawbacks to the broad range of mechs in the game. Mm -hmm. And then it gets granular from there, like with all the billions of types of weapons you can put in, which is the fun part of kind of building a mech or choosing one. But you're going to have all of the things you need to know as far as what's available in the game just from these guys, um, which is great. Um, and then I'm running a Daishi or a Dire Wolf from the clan. So I'm playing Clan Wolf. He's playing a mercenary uh, uh, Lance from the Wayward Sons, my own mercenary group. Um, and bring it down is just that I'm going to get my Daishi off of this map. I'm going to move from coming on here, and I'm going to move towards the end, and if I can get off the end of the map, I win. You're just trying to kill me. So the scenario play gives a little bit of stress and a timer clock. Uh, I generally play this at 12 turns, um, so if I can't get that far in 12 turns, I'm a very slow mech. So, you know, if, if you blow a leg off or something, it's pretty much you win. Um, so it's, it's just a fun scenario that's meant to show you all the different ins and outs. We are doing a scaled back version of the rules. I say scaled back. It's Battletech Classic, so we're using all of the, the standard data sheets, um, but we're, and we are running heat, uh, but we won't be doing things like uh, skidding, and we probably won't do any melee because he doesn't want to get kicked by a Daishi. And you know, do so it. Kick the Jenner and kill it in one hit. <laughs> and we probably we won't be doing melee because I, I, you know, he's going to want to do death from above with his Wolverine or something like that, and I'd like to avoid that at all costs. So, uh, but we'll talk about rules and stuff like that if Chad has questions. We can talk about the deeper stuff. But the goal here is just to show you the fun part of how the mechanics work, how you uh, play tactically, uh, and get a feel for it. Okay. Rufus Kitt says, uh, Minnick will play some Battletech, but will he paint it? You know, one thing I learned about myself is that I may not like a game's like art style, but if I play the game and then I then enjoy it, some switch in my brain gets flipped. <laughs> and suddenly I'm like, okay, These minis I'm into are this. cool now. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. I don't know why it happens to me, but it, it may happen right now. I'm not a huge fan of mechs, just like, not even just Battletech, just like the idea of like mechs and giant robots. It's not my thing so much. But if the game is awesome, maybe I'll love the, love the paint sign. We'll see. So yeah, objective, shoot one of your legs. <laughs> well, yeah, kill what you can. Yeah. Um, for the, for the people that understand Battletech out there, uh, one of the big things is your pilot and gunnery skill when doing a mech. He is running with standard uh, gunnery skill of four, piloting skill of five. I am running with a gunnery skill of one and a piloting skill of three, and I have permanent initiative. So that's the way the scenario is set up. Okay, so Jason will always get to go first on, on any, any given round. I, I, I go, I move last so that I get to react to all of your movement, right. and then I get to declare my fire first. So okay. I get to pick my <clears throat> targets before okay. and do my shooting before you get to go. Okay, but so it's, all, it's a simultaneous game, so if I shoot, and destroy a mech, it still gets to do all of its actions back. There isn't oh. any, there's not really a reward for me blowing something up first in a turn. I love that. Yeah. That's, that's really it's, cool. It's supposed to be simultaneous combat. That's why the the target, it's a target number game, and you know that mm. your gunnery skill is four for all of your mechs, so you start at a four to hit. Right. Then you start adding numbers for how far you move, how far I moved, right. what terrain's in between us and all that to get to your target number on 2d6. It's a very simple game. Okay. Um, so, but my gunnery skill is one, so I start with a base one to hit. Okay. So I 
okay. I technically can't miss you. Okay. Uh, and this is a game that will allow you to kind of not miss. One Double ones don't mean anything. If I have a gunnery skill of one and you don't move, I hit you I automatically. I just get to roll for position on it. So that. it's yeah. a brutal game. You got It keeps you on your toes because there is no RNG that says you auto miss. Right, yeah. It's like, oh, like, God. I he's know this gun is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and, and in the game, when you're building your mechs, you can do things like spend more points to buy your gunnery skill better to get a more veteran pilot. So that's part of building mechs and points costing and things like that. We're not worried about all that here. Uh, we're just going to play and have some fun. Okay. Let's, let's, let's walk through it. What are basic actions I can take? What do I want, you know, what does that, what does a turn look like? Yeah, so a turn starts with, generally you would roll for initiative. We have, I have initiative, so you will move all of your mechs first. In general, the way initiative works to handle attrition in the game is that the person who loses initiative moves a mech first. And if we have equal forces, then I move one. And then you move one and I move one, and the person who wins initiative just gets to move last. Okay. As it starts to be unbalanced like this, you have to, you have four to one, means you have to move all four of your mechs because I have to be able to move last, okay. right? So, and this game, I will always move last because you'll always have no initiative. Okay. Um, so it just gives the initiative winner the ability to react to where you move because movement is so strategic. Terrain does matter. I can notice that you're lining up three shots and I can move, scoot one to the left and take away all those shots. You okay. know, so it, it gives me some... So uh, first phase is movement, then we declare fire. Um, it is a game where once you've declared a target, you cannot alter that. So if before, like say if my first mech were to destroy the mech that this guy was shooting at, this guy doesn't have any firing solution then. So it does work in terms of, you have to strategically determine what you're willing to shoot. Okay. If you've got a mech on its last legs, then I may not want to declare fire from one of my mechs to that guy because I, I don't have another guy this guy can shoot at. So anyway. Okay. Um, but uh, then we go through fire, uh, and then we work out heat uh, at the end, and then you do it again. So the way we're playing it, it should move very, very quickly. Okay. Right? Very cool. Uh, it is a game that can get really long and drawn out if you just go, hey, let's fight and blow stuff up. Because the sheets, as you can see, you got a lot of armor pips mm -hmm. to tick off. Mm -hmm. And basically, you shoot. Uh, once you've declared, you're not, you've, we figure out our numbers. Uh, you roll to hit. If you hit, then we roll location to see where you hit. Um, and and then you just start knocking off pips and blow pieces off my mech until I can't walk anymore kind of thing. Or if your engine goes, uh, the way a mech dies is if you call, it's called coring. If I blow your center torso up completely, uh, armor and um, uh, inner structure, your mech is dead. Uh, if I crit an engine enough times, I think three times, three engine crits blows your mech up. Um, and if you're technically in this game, if you're immobilized, if you lose both <coughs> legs, you'll be considered dead as well. Okay. All right. What about so, cockpit kills? Well, yeah, you can shoot the pilot. And you're yeah, dead. Of course. Yeah, that, yeah. that works too. Uh, double Destroy stitches on meat, rolling location metal, baby. is usually bad. Headshots uh, equal bad stuff. Because every time you get hit, you basically rings your bell. You got to roll a pilot check and you can go unconscious and all sorts of stuff. So take damage. <laughs> Crazy 8's commando is saying, My condolences already, Maniac. What am I in for? Are you, you going gonna, gonna to wipe the field with me, Jason? You just come to my studio and just demolish me and so, then walk out? So well, you said you, you like to get your teeth kicked. <laughs> I've given him I some really... I said I appreciated how, the, how, I, how I learned warmer fantasy. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. I've given him some really good max. He's got a. Uh, the Orion is a really good. They're very punchy. I did make sure that you don't have a lot of long range stuff. Your Orion is the one that has kind of the longest range on it. That's the that one right there. It's got two MRMs on it, an MRM 30 and an MRM 15 or MRM 20. So you got like 50 missiles you can shoot at me every turn with that guy, but they're mid-range missiles. Um, you don't have any super long range stuff because I want you to get in, get, get to fighting. Okay. Um, and see how that works, because that'll force you to move a lot more. Okay. There are mechs in the game that are fire support. It is a mixed armaments game, so there are mechs that are meant to stand off with long-range sniper weapons and not really get into combat. Okay. So it lets you play the game in lots of ways. You have a more slugfest uh, uh, thing set up here where you want to get into kind of mid-range within like, you know, nine hexes away from me and closer, because okay. that's where you'll do your full damage potential. The Daishi is... A powerhouse, though. I'm dangerous at all ranges. Yeah. Uh, I can plink at you, which I really need because I, I think you'll win. Okay. I may have I may have overloaded his force here, but, <laughs> but I like all those mechs. The Wolverine that you have as your I run as many of those as I can put in a force. Okay, it's okay. a it's an amazing mech. So, Papa Chicken, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, Minik, I was talking about on the podcast about how cool it'd be to play a game where different parts of your body can be damaged and affect you differently, so I'm not surprised he's trying it out. Yeah, right. it definitely I, does. I was trying to think about how to add more granularity to a dueling game, and part yep. of that is like injuring your arm, but this, this, this is happening right here, right Same now. thing here, yep. legs, hip joints, yep. uh, actuators for feet, hands, and all that have a, a thing that cut down speed. Mm. You can lock it, freeze an entire leg up, so now you've cut your speed by half, mm. so it, it has a, a big dramatic effect on things as you start attrition 
has a big effect in this game. But you still are a fire platform. You can still be putting out full damage even though you can't walk. Right. You right. know, you're just a sitting duck. Papa Chicken says, I'm subbing now that you're finally drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So we'll move all the mechs off table. I'll be coming in from this board edge. Uh, you will be able to come in from anywhere to the halfway line and further back from the end line or the side. So a lot of times in Battletech, rather than starting on the field, we'll come in from off map so that your first movement can be kind of more surprising. Okay. You know, it's not like a normal game where you just, it's kind of, uh, what is it, uh, force layout. And, and turn one, become one and the same at that point. Okay. So since I have initiative and uh, for constant, you'll move all four of your mechs on wherever you want them. Okay, and you are starting here? I'm starting, I can only come in on this back line, anywhere along the back line, so I can surprise you a little bit, but not too much. And I can come in anywhere, anywhere from like the halfway line back on your side or this inboard you can come into. Okay, half yeah. line and back and on, on, the this, on this edge and this edge. You got it, yep. So you can walk in anywhere you All want. All right, cool. I feel like it makes sense to walk in on some elevation, get a little bit better line of sight of you if you're trying to hide away from me. Um, so I will walk in. Look at your, so if you're using the Wolverine, you'll look at your movement points in that top mech data square. Is that right, my model, that's the Wolverine? Yeah, that's okay. the Wolverine. Okay, that okay. So you look at your movement, I think he's a 585. Movement points, uh, five by five, yep. Yep, so uh, walking five, running eight, uh, and jumping five. Okay. So when walking up elevations, you spend an additional point each elevation change. Okay. So you might not be able to get as far as jumping. I generally, on, on early phases, if you can jump, jump. Because what uh, jumping allows you to do is move from one square. If you can jump five, you can go one, two, three, four, five. You can jump and face any direction you like, and that just does that you don't change, you don't lose because you went up elevations and such. Okay. So he can jump five, so if you want to use that as a position, you could just jump on from off the board. Getting a raid. Getting a raid. Hey, Kara, thanks for the raid. A big raid, too, 98 people. God damn. Everybody's excited to see you uh, lose or win at Battle Tide. <laughs> wow, thank you, or win. The benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Uh, uh, what up, Broadsword Wargaming? What up, Ollie? Uh, thank you guys for the raid. Really appreciate it. What were you guys doing in your stream? Paint Maze, I assume. Oh, the sub. Thank you, Ollie. Appreciate it. We had Ollie and Kara over, um, and he Ollie showed me how to play Blood Bowl. And oh, he, nice. He is very impassioned about that game and, and knows the ins and outs of it, and it was a lot of fun to learn from someone who is uh, impassioned about that. I, I imagine similar to how you feel about this game. Yeah. So it's always, it's always, it's always, Which it's I always think is good. You know, it's a, Blood Bowl is a, oh boy, that one gets my dander up. It's, it's a, <laughs> Frustrating game, but I love it. <laughs> uh, I met her in person, and I still get her name wrong. You know, you're probably right. I feel like whenever I say her name, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yep, what up? Yep. Travel <laughs> Cedric with the five gifted subs. Thank you. Look at that. Um, is it Kiara? Am I? Is that how you say it? Okay, I feel like an asshole. All right, anyways, <laughs> Wolverine can jump. He's got a 585. I got a 7115, a 460. So him starting on elevation. Kira. Kira. Probably Kira. Rough. Uh, Kira, Kira, Kira. Okay, uh, so maybe him starting out. You're saying on elevation would be rough? Yeah, because if you run, you, you generally want to spend your first turn because there's not really going to be a lot of firing solutions, you know, running, getting as much uh, ground space as you can. You don't want to waste a lot of it going up and down if you can avoid it. But up to you. You okay. can do whatever you want. So I'll start over here with the guy who doesn't have much jumping capability. A little bit of an open area. Maybe run into terrain, get some cover. Um, I can't start in that spot, right? Right. And every hex facing re, uh, uses up a movement. So you would you'd be one coming on. Yeah, so that would be one coming on. And then he can move <laughs> forward like that. Um, it would be two, then three, four moving into the woods. Five, six moving into the second woods. All right. Well, I'll face toward where I assume you're coming from, and I'll play in an area where there's more open space to walk, because I can't jump very well with the uh, Orion. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I keep going, right? You keep going. You all gotta right. do all yours. Uh, jumpers. Um, do you, is there? Do you have like large amounts of AOE? Is there a reason why I wouldn't want to have just four dudes all together? Um, there's no AOE. The only thing that really is AOE is like if I destroy a mech and its 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 power plant goes nuclear, then it does damage like one to two hexes out away from it. Okay. Uh, there are some weapons that do AOE. We don't have any of those here, like big artillery weapons. Nobody's armed with those. Uh, so no. And I have to uh, I have to pick which specific mech I'm targeting. And for anything additional targets I do, it makes it harder to hit. So generally, I'm going to focus fire on one mech. So if you have them all together using one mech to kind of keep me from having line of sight to another one can be useful mm. 
-hmm. But generally spreading out so that you can triangulate fire in on me and make it tough for me to move and pick yeah. who to shoot is better. If you lump them all up, then I can just choose who I want to shoot. You can choose, and you can also line aside things easier as well. You got it. There's a multiple. Yeah. yeah, using the whole map is generally better for you. All right, we'll split it then. We'll do two and two um, just to... Just uh, take advantage of that. So the we'll line's not looking good for you right now, Scott. I started the Gampa. <laughs> like, oh, hey, oh, hey. Yeah, there we go. Someone's, believe, someone's a believer. Uh, well, Amos, Scott has four mechs. He the can't faithless. lose. <laughs> okay, so now one question, though. So you've moved him on. Yeah. So that's one movement point. You have up to six running with the Orion. So you still have a lot of movement points to use. Oh, you're, I, you're I then coming on with full movement. Oh, I continue yeah. to move. So that's just one movement point. So you have five more you can spend if you run. Does moving into terrain cost extra? It adds one. So you could get, you could spend all six and be in the second woods hex facing the direction you're doing right now. Um, and, and, when, and whenever I turn, so if I go here to here, does that cost uh, extra points? If you turn? move into that forward hex, it's one. Then when you turn, it's two. Then moving is three. Then oh turning is four. And then moving is five. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, so yeah, is it, you think it's a good idea to be in terrain, to be in some kind of light cover or no? No difference. So right now, if I get line of sight on you, it's going to be plus two to hit you because two light woods get plus one each. Three light woods is blocking line of sight, but you're behind this level two terrain anyway. So it's going to be really hard unless I commit to that line that you're on to shoot you. So it, it probably is better to just kind of close the gap and maybe move into that light wood. Okay. Know? And that's okay. a run. That'll right. use up all six of your movement One, points. One, two, three, four, five. five. And your first one was to come on the board, so you're fine. Thank you for the subs, six. Amos Dean and Wilhelm123. Appreciate it, guys. And now you'll take that white die on your Orion sheet. That's your walk, or that, I'm sorry, your black die, because that's your run die. So take the black one, right? And the black one, find how many hexes did you move? One, two, three. Four. The first one that you, we'll count the first one that you came on the board with. Okay, three yeah. to four. And yeah, then... so three to four. So put that next to him. And all that'll right. be your all plus, your bonuses. So I have plus one armor, and I am uh, plus two to hit, meaning the more you move in the game, the more difficult you are to hit. Yep. And also the more defense you have. Yep. Um, what does the arrow on the thing mean with, this, with the chevrons in it? Uh, that's just the difference between the die. Uh, the one with only one is a walk. The black one is run with the three. And then the jump one has like five, the Perfect. red one, just okay. to keep track of them. I'll keep going then. Um, is there any particular robot that has like a spotter capability that uh, is going to be able to make it easier for my other mechs to damage your mech? You can use spotting for indirect fire weapons like your missiles, um, and and but it, it generally doesn't work very well because you take all of the bonuses of the moving mech and apply them to the shooting mech. But it can give you line of sight when you wouldn't have it for things like missiles. Okay, and which one of these mechs is the beefiest, tankiest one? Uh, probably the Orion. The Orion and the Guillotine are very similar. You can look very quickly and look at your armor value up here. It says armor factor on top of the very top right of the armor diagram on both of those. Yep. So armor factor 205. 192, 224, 185, 64. So, yeah, so two, the Orion has like 224, you said. 224, so that's, yep. Yeah, and I'm like 304. Okay. So. So I think I got this little guy. He has a run of eleven. Ridiculousness. I, I, I might want to just try to come in and and like tuck in somewhere yeah. right here, just so you can't totally obliterate me before I get anything that you know get an opportunity to use him. Yeah, so, I mean, in a game like this, fighting for attrition, like taking out your low hanging fruit, is going to be the best thing for me. The gender is very dangerous. Okay, counting, counting one as coming out of the board. 11 gets me right there. I move 11. I ran. I'll take the black die for my little dude. Yeah. Um, and I will put him on the 11 spaces moved. Well, did he? Because you made turns. So you got to take... Oh, shit, it would you're be right. A, it would be you're 11. Right. The easiest way is to take your movement points you spent, which is 11, and then subtract the amount of turns, and that's the amount of hexes that you did. That's a great point. Uh, I was here... Uh, coming on counts as one? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yep, so eight. Three Still turns. very good. Anything above six is generally going to get you unhittable status. Nice. Okay. Um, got that one set for that one. All right, and then we'll start to we'll start to spread out a little bit. I'm coming on the other board edge. Can I come in on this center? No, I can't ever. I can't. Ever. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll, we'll come in. Let's see, where should we face? So this guy can jump. Um, well, they can all jump. Um, this is the guillotine. He is a four, six, four. So if I jumped up onto this one, two, three, four, can I jump up there? Count the one you came in on, but you Shit, can, you right, can jump to right. here. Okay, I don't know if that's good, but let's try. <laughs> um, I'll you jump. got four chances to make mistakes here, right? Yeah, you're right, right. Uh, jumping is the red die. 
Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then I moved three to four spaces four hexes, yeah. with the guillotine. And so he's got that as his stats. And then the last one has a, a run of eight. So not too bad. Maybe what I'll do is just try to uh, shore up the middle here and just run straight, uh, as straight as I can uh, into maybe this area. Maybe that's just gonna make me a super easy target. So maybe I'll try to go into the forest. You're, you're, you're committing heavily, right? So it's nice because everything's going to be in range, but it's tough because you've packed me into the, my side of the table and right. i got to so, get through you. So you're building a good defensive lineup, but I'll be able to shoot everything. But you'll also be able to shoot me with quite a bit. Right. So well, that, that's kind of what I figure is that you, with your weaponry, you'd be able to shoot me before I sh be able to shoot you yeah. effectively. So yeah. I might as well start out in closer range so I can also start shooting when yep. you can start shooting. Yep. But maybe I'm wrong about that and I'm about to get absolutely fucking dumpstered. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we're learning together. Chat. Well, you probably all already know. You're like somebody's going down noob. in a ball of fire. He's right like, now. look at this guy, dude. He's gonna get crushed. Uh, I like the aggressiveness. I I play to punch people in the face. So, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, at the start four. of this, you said you're not using melee rules, but then I'm seeing all these mechs nice and close to you. Um, we'll stay there. Two two forest levels this back. Five, six, seven, because that's up on level one too. So that climbs up. So that uses seven. Seven. Yes, but you're in woods um, and on level one, so that's good. Okay, um, and then that was a run as well, which mm -hmm. is the uh, black die. And I moved, I think, just five spaces. Five. Yep. Five to six. All right. Okay. So now I got to figure that. Well, you made this really hard, actually. Um, <laughs> Chad, did I do good? You've made this kind of hard, actually. Rufus says, don't get dumpstered, Scott. I bet the farm. Mike says, betting the house on Scott as usual. Uh, <laughs> Let's battle tech without a good kick to the shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're the you're the odds on favorite now after that initial dump on Jason. <laughs> you guys are fools. Yeah, so you're one, fools. two, three. What are you doing? Get over here. Two, three. I got to take some of your guns off the table. <laughs> That's right. you, you played aggressive. You got to make me pick sides. I don't like either of these sides, really, because the Jenner's very scary if it gets behind me. Um, so, uh, zero says, just get him in the back and you've got this. All right. Four. Noted. Yeah, here's here's what you don't know, Scott. This is secretly a rank and a flank war game. Oh, it's it facing, seems like it. With the facing, facing matters, and the turning. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it. It's yeah, just I'm charge rules in this aren't charging into guys. It's right, charging yeah. your PPC and blowing someone up. Mm. So we'll do here. Rufus says we're hoping that Daddy J will help you play your four better than he plays his one. That, that's the thing is when some, well, we have people come in and show me how to play games all the time, and they end up playing my faction for me a little bit because I don't know what I'm doing, and they end up beating themselves because yeah. they're just helping me out too much. Like that's I, certainly how the MCP stream. Ryan felt. Ryan Bega with MCP, the Batman Miniatures game yeah. with uh, Stefan. Yeah, it was it was they were yeah. very very generous. Well, the goal is to, is to let you learn the game, right? Sure, more, yeah. I mean, the outcome of this one's already, you know, it, it's fun, but, yeah, yeah. you know, the ability for me. So I have to kind of go full tilt because I have a limited clock to get off the edge of the board. Yeah. You've committed. I've now committed. I ran four uh, up one level in order to get there. So I'm I'm very slow, right? Because I'm only a three five. So in order for me to get there is all my movement. <laughs> I can only <laughs> I can only move five hexes max okay. at any given time. So uh, so I've run four hexes. You've done all yours. So now we go to weapons declaration, right? And right. so I get to declare my fire first um, and and resolve mine first, although that's not as, as beneficial. But you, I don't have good line of sight here because of this level three terrain. So he's going to get a lot of bonuses from me. So I'm going to fire at the guillotine. Guillotine. Uh, and I'm going to do an LRM 10, uh, two ER large lasers. Um, the AC fives. Uh, actually, let's do all four ER large lasers and the AC five. So that should be all right. That might be too much. Should, that might, that should, might be too that, hot. Should that be all right? That might be too hot. I'll be up to 50 heat. I don't know that I want to be at plus six this early in. So let's just do three ER larges, mm -hmm. right? 36 that puts, because what you have to do is factor in, it's two heat for running. So I'm already down two. I have 44 to give. So uh, I'm going to do three ER large lasers. That's 36 plus two is 38. That leaves me with uh, six left. And uh, I'll do the LRM-10 at you too. So three ER large lasers and uh, the LRM-10 and both AC-5s. All right, so he's, he's speaking a different language right now to me. Uh, <laughs> but basically in the game of Battletech, everything you do, and maybe, in, maybe even moving, 
costs you heat. Your yep. your giant robot is generating heat and needs to dissipate that heat in some way. So that's a resource you have to manage in case you don't, you don't know. Um, so weaponry also has a heat cost as well. Yep. So Jason is trying to manage how much resources he's going to use to obliterate my robots. Yeah, it is It is your resources heat, and you have to leave enough to do what you want to do. But if you go over, we've got a heat track here, and if you get to like plus five heat, you lose a movement point. Oh. I have to be very careful because my mech is super slow. If I lose a movement point, That's I'm right. not winning this game. That hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not winning this game. So I can't fire all of my weapons and stay as quick as I as quick as slow as I am. <laughs> um, you know, so I'm just I'm having to limit what I can shoot, even though I have a lot more weapons. Than gotcha. Me, so. Gotcha. Okay. But all I'm right. putting it all into your guillotine. All right, blow me up. Uh, well, you got to declare your fire now, which everybody's shooting at me. They okay. Can, so, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to definitely need some help with this. Um, yep. What can I see? What can I not see? What's not in range? I just know what to uh, just uh, ignore it completely. Uh, so the guillotine obviously has line of sight. Uh, this guy's going to have line of sight, but it's going to be blocked by the level three. So it's going to be at like harder to hit numbers. Okay. Um, these guys have got, uh, I've got only a level two in between here, but he's on level one. Mm -hmm. So he's He's not going to have line of sight, and the Orion is not going to have line of sight. So I've effectively blocked those guys entirely. Both of these guys can shoot. This guy's going to have tough numbers. Okay. Um, so this guy's got pretty good line of sight because you're up next to the level two, so you kind of negate that and you can shoot at me, and I don't have any cover. So okay. One thing I'm definitely struggling with is remembering all the names. That is a guillotine. This is a guillotine. So this is your far left. That's the Orion, the one that's close to you, right? This is the Wolverine, which is your third sheet, and this is the Jim. Okay. Yeah, so you might want to keep those because they're paired over here on this side. Okay, cool. So with my guillotine, I have an SRM-6, uh, several medium lasers, and one large laser. Um, do I just do I just send it all down range? Well, the first thing is think about what are, how many heat sinks does this have? Um, down at the bottom where it says heat sinks. Heat sinks, 25. 25. So you have 25 heat you can do. You jumped four spaces already, right? So um, when you jumped four, that costs you four heat. Should I have marked that? No, you don't have to. That's what these die do, right? They oh. show that because you know it's red, you jumped, and you Marked jumped it. four. So now you know you've spent four of your heat for jumping. Jumping costs one per hex. You jump with a minimum of three. Okay. Running costs two. Walking costs one. No matter how far Running you walk. Running costs two per hex? No, just two, period. Two, period. If you oh. walk, it's one heat to walk, two heat to run. Jumping costs you one heat per hex you jump. Okay. With a minimum of three. So you've jumped, so you've got four heat already. You've got how many? 25 heat sinks, did you say? Mm -hmm. yep. So now you subtract four for your jumps. So you have 21 available if you don't want to run hot. And do my heat sinks replenish every single turn? Every single turn. Oh, that I'm That's how much you can dissipate. So you can build up as much heat as you want on the track. You can go to like plus 30 before you just blow up. But at plus 30, you just automatically shut down. So I have 20. I have 21 heat available. Can I? So I'm assuming I can shoot these weapons multiple times. Is that what's happening? Each weapon only once per turn. Well, then why would I not just shoot with everything? If there's heat, if you got heat for it, which I think you do. Yeah, 8, uh, 11, 14, 17. I have exactly 21, and I, I spent four heat to do that jump. Yep. I'm going to everything. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then uh, this one, it might be risky, because if, if I invent, but if I have the heat Also, sinks, think about range, because we're at, let's talk about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're at 10 range, so make sure your weapons can all reach me at 10. Rain, <laughs> what do I see range? It's uh, oh, medium. short, medium, and long. So my long range is nine, 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 fifteen. Okay, so, so the only range? thing you can hit me with is the one that's at fifteen. Okay, so we'll do one large laser then. Yep. Uh, and then on the other side here, I have another, I have another ten range, a large pulse laser. Yep. Am I, am I within ten of the other guy? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no, eleven. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, so the so only thing that, you hit there. The only thing I can shoot is that one large laser. That's all, right. all, that's all I'll do. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to shoot first, and so we're going to start with the LRM-10. Uh, we're, we've already determined we're at 10 hexes away uh, from the guillotine. So uh, that's medium range for me. Okay. So at short range, there are no bonuses. Okay, so you just shoot at your gunnery skill plus your movement. Okay. At medium range, it's at plus two. And at long range, you're at plus four. Plus my movement as well. Plus Yeah, plus movement. So okay. I'm right now, I ran... Okay. Right, so that's plus two. That's two. my targeting die. So I'm at a base one to hit you. Add two for my run, three. Right. I'm at medium range, so that's another two. So I'm at five. And then you have plus two to be hit because you jumped. So I need sevens. Are you you're seven and higher? Seven or higher. Okay. Yep. On two d six. Yep. Okay. Two d six. Seven Let's or higher it. with the LRM. Hey. What? I hit you on an eight. Devin, do you see the camera right I now? I do, yeah. <laughs> that is not a dice that tray. That is not the right... But that camera is working. That oh, is it not came the on right and placed the dice tray. 
Um, all right. What did you hit me? That's I hit why, you an eight. That's why okay. I couldn't pull it Ooh. because it went into a port that was being seen on another scene and it won't pull it in as yeah, a new yeah, source. You can't add two. Yeah, you can't add it twice. We were wondering uh, where that um, is. Anyways, uh, uh, just for your sake, uh, chat, he rolled an eight. So rolled he, an eight. He did hit. I did roll an eight. Okay, so we hit. So um, the way this works is I hit you with an LRM. So LRMs uh, hit in clusters of five missiles apiece. So it has 10 missiles, one damage per, but I have to roll in clusters of five because it's a spread. Okay. Right? It hits you with a wall of missiles. Do you need more dice? No. Hmm. Okay. It's just 2d6. Um, so the first five we roll on the hit location. This is on the front. So I roll 2d6 again. Uh, we'll just roll them out here. Uh oh. Double that's not ones. good for you. Uh, so that's not that's good for a, me. That's, that should be good for me. This is how the game starts, Evan. Oh, hell yeah. So Evan was saying he wanted a lot of through armor criticals, and I just gave him one on the first hit of the a game. A double hell one yeah. is a good thing. Yeah, it hits you in your center torso for five damage, and it's a I get to roll on the crit table. So are you so, so that you're randomizing body parts right now? Randomizing body parts okay, after okay. you hit. Okay, so okay. my first five missiles hit you in the center torso. So for the guillotine, you'll mark your pencil mark on the center torso armor. You'll mark five tips off. Millimeter Matt says, rigged! Yeah. <laughs> he rolled it. I mean, we saw it. I mean, uh, I see five, it, but we five will next pips? time. Yeah, five pips on the CT. One, two, three. Which four, that's easy. Five. Center torso is your most heavily armored. You would usually just say, no big deal. But I rolled snake eyes, which is a big deal. So now we go to the crit hits table. I have to roll an eight or better for this to matter, okay? A 10. ten. So we rolled a 10. All right, dice, so a, dice cam works now. A yeah, 10 I is, fixed it. Okay. A 10 is two critical hit locations. <laughs> Yes! I yes. swear, Jason. I did not plan this. Jason. I did not plan this. I have never played right. this game before, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first critical hit location, what I'll do is I'll roll a die. If you look in this, this box here for your critical hit table, find your center torso in the middle column. Center torso. Right? And so I'm going to roll the first die, and it's going to and it's gonna determine which roll of those locations we're in. Right? We are, oh, are we back in the box? Boxes, yep. Okay, it, that one was a four. We are in okay. the lower portion. So the lower portion, and then the second is a two. Fusion engine. Fusion engine takes a hit. Okay. That I, mech now generates five heat per turn for having an engine hit. And how do I mark that on the thing? You On the, the fusion engine, you scratch that line off. Okay. So right? that was number what? Two. Two. Yeah. So hit that, and then you'll see that you have an engine hits box down below there. Yep. Just mark one of those. Okay. okay. I'm ready so for I can no longer hit that. critical and the mech to explode. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, I have Evan, why are you wishing this on me? <laughs> I have another one. So this next one. Uh, <laughs> the second cluster of five <laughs> missiles, right? <laughs> yeah. So the next one goes to uh, the upper half of your CT, right? And it is position one as well. Uh, the other uh, fusion engine. Oh. oh. <laughs> so one more and this thing blows up? Yes. <laughs> And it now generates 10 heat without doing anything oh, every turn. So. Awesome. Very cool. This See, I did say earlier, why uh, do I have all these heat sinks? I have exactly filthy. enough. Why wouldn't I fire everything? Filthy, the, filthy clanners. In the immortal worlds of Evan, game sucks. Filthy, yeah. filthy clanners. All right. Okay, the second five missiles. <laughs> <laughs> the second five missiles hit the uh, number 10, which is your left arm. Okay, left arm. Yeah. And so I mark uh, five, uh, five. Five boxes on the left arm. Two, three, four, five. All right. That's it for the LRM-10. All right. Uh, <laughs> next, we'll move to the first of the ER large lasers. That was the first gun. The brawl, <laughs> that was the first gun. The brawl water says, this is what happens when you use two thin coats while on a stream with the creator of Pro Acryl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That's true. That's Riven. true. I deserve this, honestly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get way too uh, uh, excited about all this damage, and then he's going to do the same thing back to me. He's going to head hit me and like roll ridiculous damage. Well, like I only have one weapon, though. Sorry, it does like eight for damage. Now. For now, I do. It does yeah. eight damage. It does, yeah. It's it would take all but one pip of damage off my head, so let's just, <laughs> you know, yeah, heads are very weak. Um, okay, so uh, I'm rolling for the first ER large laser. Uh, same thing, I need sevens or better. Missed. Okay. On that one. Sorry, I moved the tray. Oh, I'll move the oh. tray. I'll move. Evan's going to have a heart attack. Sorry. Delicate balance. There we go. Nope. Oh, nope. A little bit. Boom. There. Okay, cool. I won't do that anymore. Okay. Uh, second ER large laser hits with an 11. So location is 8. Uh, 8 is left torso for 10 damage. Left torso. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Salami Tactical says, please tell him that Pro Krill Gold is the best damn gold paint I've ever used and I've decorated so I many necks with it. Last ER large laser, needs a seven, misses. Um, 
Then I have two AC5s. I'm only taking one shot with each. I don't do the the Ultra AC5. You can choose to double tap, but if you roll double ones like I just did on the to roll, it jams, uh, and then you have to roll every turn to see if it unjams. So I'm not into that. Okay. So okay. we're just gonna roll the first one. Uh, same thing. All of these are seven targets because they're all medium range. So I hit with a nine. Uh, location uh, ten, which is going to be that left arm again for five. A uh, left arm, not torso. Shit. That's why we use pencil. And then the second AC5 misses. And I have to mark some ammo for my AC5s and my LRM10. All right. Very cool. So that's it for me. And I'm running right at uh, 44 heat. So I can dissipate back to zero. And I, uh, I showed you what I'm all about. OK. Uh, so not my turn to shoot you, I presume. You got it. With my guillotine, I'll be using my large laser. Um, you are at long range, so mm -hmm. it's plus what? Four. Plus four. Uh, I moved, adding plus two to that. Plus so three, because you jumped. All right. So, uh, so you're so at plus seven. So I'm at plus seven, and you moved how much? Uh, I'm only at plus one, so plus eight. So plus eight, and my gunnery skill it's is... Four. Or... CD box cards. Oh, and so it's, uh, you see that, where do you see that? Uh, I didn't write it on your sheet, but that's standard is four or five. Okay. The basic basic piloting skill and gunnery skill are four or five. Okay, so I'm out of four plus eight, so I need 12. Need to box cards. All right, I can do it. Oh, yep, sorry. I have faith. Chat, do you have faith in me to box practice right now? This guy just filled a scan contrast, that's true. Show me it! Oh! oh! Close. Oh, I saw the six. Right. The laser glances dangerous. off, hits nothing, and that's turn, dangerous. Is that and that's, turn one that's done. That's the turn. Yep, that's turn one done. Talk, talk about heat and stuff, right? Yep. Okay. Which we're all we're all good. Uh, we should be able to dissipate all the thing down, except because you'll dissipate. It doesn't take place until now that this guy will generate ten because of his engine hits. So even if I did that eight plus my 10, 18, I, I have enough heat sinks to dissipate all of that. Yeah, because you didn't fire but one weapon. Exactly. But the, but the later damage on. from a turn takes place the following turn. Okay. So it doesn't immediately take effect. Okay. Right? Unless it kills you as a pilot, then you don't get a next turn. Seems fair, right? Right, yeah. Yep, yeah, so we're good. So now we remove all our dice. We start from scratch. And you can move all four of your guys. Okay. Well, Remembering that critical to the engine is pretty good. Through armor critical to the cockpit is really what I was hoping oh, for. Yeah. Command well, point reroll. Come on. There isn't a through armor crit to the head though. Mm. There's none of the none of the selections allow that. That would be too brutal. It's either center, left, or right torso. Uh, Spawn Maximus says, "Long live Monument Paints, best investment I've ever made in my 40 plus years at painting minis." Wow. That's that's, that's a, lot. a big one. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers. Awesome. I'll take a sip of my water for you. Um, okay. So I have to move first, uh, and the question is, is where is Jason going to want to go with his four <laughs> points of movement? And I feel like he's going to want to probably skirt over here, block some line of sight, but that is going to leave me with an opportunity when he's in this valley right here, potentially. Yeah, remember, I can only make it four hexes because exactly. i got to spend an extra one to get down off this cliff next time, probably turn because I'm facing badly. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I can only make it here. Right. And I kind of feel like I want to get this little robot who is incredibly fast um, behind you. Um, because why wouldn't I want to do that with his mobility? Um, yeah, because think about it tactically. If you can make it to where I have to turn to keep him out of the back, then you can keep other people exactly. towards my back. Make it really hard for me to position. Exactly. So I think we're going to run with the Jenner. Um, and the Jenner's got a 11, so... He's on ground, so he has to spin to go up a level if he wants to. Uh, this is level one. Level one. Okay, so that'd be one, one two. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Nine, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. Is that dumb? I'm just like in the open. And then you can just blast me. You've moved a lot of hexes, but you are still in the open. Yeah. And I have, my medium range is generally 14 hexes. The thing is, if I come like, all right, what is this? Is this level two right here? Level two, level three. So if I, where's level three? Level three is this one. You're not gonna go there. Um, so if I stay on, I don't have any level twos over here, do I? This is all level ones? Yeah. All level ones as you're facing So now. you could line of sight me if you, but I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna walk out. What's right here? This is all Remember, my whole goal is to get down here. I don't care if you live or die. Right. I gotta get off the board edge. Yeah, I just I want to be able to shoot you with everything. Okay, this is gonna you're gonna block. brick wall me, so I'm gonna have to fight my way out. Yeah, um, I guess technically I win if I kill everything, right? 
Uh, <laughs> you still got to make it because then I can turns. walk it all the way off the edge, and there's nothing <laughs> to bother me. Then I can just kind of stroll leisurely, stroll through the woodlands. Yeah, um, let's, we'll do this. Uh, I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then just perch right there. If I drop down, there's this there's this hill right here that I can be very easily blocked by. Um, I would go behind the hill. Right now you're at a level where when I go down, I can see all the way through to here. And if you haven't moved a lot of hexes, it makes it super simple to hit you. Yeah, but if I go down here, then I'm not going to be able to see you. Well, but are you trying to see me this turn, or are you trying to position for next turn? I want to shoot you with literally everything then I have. stay right there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not playing to win. <laughs> I'm playing to like, <laughs> cause havoc. Create carnage. I yeah. want to create havoc. Uh, okay. Clearly, I'm playing How much was run. this? That was five so far. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you couldn't get up again. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe that isn't the play. Maybe I don't need to kill you with everything right away. And I well, and look at his weapons, because I don't think you're going to have range. If I was to move... That's a, that's a great point. That is a great point. If yeah. I was to move here, you don't want to be at a position where you can't shoot, and I can. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, which might be long so range that, for your medium that, that is long range. Yeah. And so maybe I'll spend another turn investing. Um, so I will. I'll drop down here. Yeah. Um, and that ended up being one. Oh, I didn't count the number of spaces. Well, no, you there. were uh, you were uh, one, two, three, four, five. This would be six, seven, eight because of the woods. Nine, ten, eleven. So it's a run. Yes. And it's a run of six hexes. Six. Oh, that's seven to nine. I'm so bad at this. There it is. All right. There's number one. This guy over here. Um, my Orion has a run of six. Gosu says, Jason and Scott are cut from the same I want to kill everything cloth. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. The answer is yes. I don't play games to be all super tactical. You know, I'm not going to get best general. I'm going to get, like, best psychopath. <laughs> um, does it cost a point for every uh, turn of the hex that I do? Or yeah. just, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, to start your, to change facing costs you <sighs> movement points. Shoot, okay. Again, it adds to the flavor of the tactical nature of the game. You have to plan for where you want to be facing next turn. This one's a little tough because I was able to basically take your Orion out of a couple of turns of the game by committing to this side. Yeah. But I also have this wall of meat that I have to get through, which is not going to be very great. Five. Okay, I think that's all I can do. I can only move five. Right? No, six. Yeah, he's a four-six. Six. Okay, uh, ran with the Orion. Six spaces? I think three. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's a mountain true it's not, it's not turning. Yeah, yeah. true hexes. Um, so we'll go with three. three. We'll go with three. Uh, okay. Um, and now over the here. The real decision making. See, I don't know Scott. if I, I don't know if I need to like be in damage control mode right now, and if I should like uh, kind of like like hang back a little bit. And like hide behind a mountain while I like kind of give you another target to shoot at. Because if I force you to spread out your damage, maybe I'll have a better chance. Definitely, if I, if, um, because attrition really only kicks in as I take weapons off the table. Right. You know, no matter if you're slow, got two engine hits. It the two engine hits really hurts you because that's ten heat you can't use to fire weapons. But right now you're still a full weapons platform. You could choose to build up a lot of heat and fire everything at once anyway. It's still, yeah. it's a fully operational battle station still. <laughs> you know, it's just going to get a little hot and cause problems every other turn. Here's a question about jumping. Does jumping, uh, can you just end in whatever facing you want it Yes. In? Okay. That's a nice thing that okay. jumping buys you. It costs you more. It makes you hard. It makes it harder for you to shoot things. More, more heat. But it gives you a lot more tactical movement possibility. Okay, so the Orion doesn't have the option it's to the jump. the only one that doesn't jump. Well, the yeah, the Jenner jumps too. All of your other ones jump. Yeah, if this one would jump though i think it would have been a much more efficient move of mine to because i had to like kind of like sneak yeah, around yeah you gotta snake yeah. around yep but uh it, it couldn't jump but someone asked can i jump uh the other three mechs that i have can jump yep all right um, and, and this gives you a good insight into list building because jumping gives you the most flexibility and movement but it also costs a lot with regards to what the mech can carry weapon wise generally jumping mechs don't have the same amount of weapons as mechs like the orion that don't jump they sacrifice armor and weapons in order to gain a bigger amount of jump jets okay i think Call me crazy. What if I jump here with the Wolverine? I mean, let's do it because I'm going to put you into short range with all your weapons. Yeah, and I mean, like, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, I'm already close to you. You're yep. already destroying me, and so I'm going to get in close range as well. Yep. So I'm going to jump here. Okay. With the Wolverine. One, two. It's three, a tough four. little mech. So That's five spaces. And face me directly. Boy. Come at me, bro. I will come at you, bro. Um, 
And then with this guy, do I run away with you or do I commit you? You're I understand gonna... that running away just keeps you from taking damage this turn. It doesn't buy you anything. You can't repair anything. You're not gaining anything from running away. Yeah. Putting guns out right now while you still have them on the field. Because if you run and I happen to get a pot shot at you since I get to move last, I could get that last engine crit and you never even fired a shot, really. Okay, so I think I want to do the kind of movement that generates the least possible heat, which is a walk, right? It's one point of heat for walking. And I can move four spaces with that. Or stand still. Or stand still. But the problem is, is <laughs> I don't know, you're not going to move that much. And then I might still be in long range. And it turns out it's kind of hard to shoot. If I move here, I have to be moving fast. So I'll move here and I'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away from you. Seven would be uh, long range for everything other than my large laser. Yeah, so still. So, yeah, I think I have to move. Um, we'll see, though. I'll Scott. walk. Chat brings up an interesting point that I wanted to to remember to tell you. Okay. We're talking about how great the Battletech lore is, okay. and you're talking about how you love bad guys. I love one bad of, guys. One of the longest standing, ongoing antagonists of the entire series is Comcast. Okay. Oh, Comcast is Space <laughs> AT&T. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is it called Comcast? The, the yeah, telecoms. Comcast. Uh, control Comstar. so much. Comstar, but it's, yeah, Comstar, but it, it is oh, fundamentally they have the best mechs, and they literally are space AT and T. Yes, they're the one that control the HPG grid that allows you to communicate at faster than light speeds, and they charge everybody to be able to send communication. So they kind of play the political role of, hey, we're not going to send your messages unless you do what we want you to do. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh yeah, you 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 might lose this war. Oh, uh, that's going to cost extra. You should pay us for that. And they hoard all of the best technology and the whole thing. It's like Netflix always increasing your subscription fee. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Blake, my turn. Post. So I am going to one, two, three, four. Uh, That's it. Uh, no, I'm gonna. Well, <coughs> or you can move five. Yeah, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit right here because my short range is all four. Your short range is three. So I'm gonna choose to not quite give you short range. I'm gonna sense. make you sit in medium range. Right, that makes sense. Even though it keeps me one hex away from my goal, uh, I think that's gonna be better for me to make you have worse dice. Okay. Uh, and it's still a run for me, and it's only two hexes. So all it does is make me harder. It makes it harder for me to hit you. It doesn't give you any benefit. Or it, it doesn't change your shots on me. Okay. So that's the thing I'm giving up. What is uh? What does it mean when I have double the heat sinks? How does that affect the way I can dissipate heat? Double heat sinks means you multiply the amount you have by two. Each heat sink dissipates two heat. Okay, so it's effectively I have 26 pips. Because you have uh, 13 double heat sinks. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you have 26. The Wolverine why can... Is it, why is that? That seems needlessly complicated. Well, because now when I kill one heat sink, you lose the ability to dissipate two heat. They take the same amount of oh, space... You can kill heat sinks. Yeah, they take the amount of space in the build of one heat sink, weight-wise, but... If you lose one, it hurts you worse. Okay. Yeah, they, take, okay. they take the amount of space as three heat sinks, right? Uh, physical space on the sheet, yes, but they yeah. still just weigh one ton. Yeah. So when you're figuring out, like if you were to build a mech, one ton of heat sinks of a standard one gives you the ability to dissipate one heat, and a double in the same weight gives you two heat. Okay. So it lets you put more weapons on your mech when you have double heat sinks, but it has a detriment that if I blow one up, it's you lose a lot. Yeah. So. Um, Rufus Kid says, sounds like they needed a net neutrality law. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a net neutrality law in this current world that we're living in, but, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. Okay, I did my movement, you did your movement. Uh, I will declare my weapons first, and you go second, and then you get to shoot first? You or got it. How, how does it work? Because you did your weapons first last time. Does I matter? declare first with initiative. I declare okay. first, right. and, then, and then you declare after. All right, how are you going to absolutely light me up this turn? Well, I still ran, so I have 42 heat to give. So I can't use the LRM because I'm within uh, minimum. Well, no, clan LRMs don't have minimum distance, so maybe we'll come back to that. Um, I'm still going to fire, uh, I believe, three of my ER large lasers. So that's 36, 38. I still have the six left. Um, I think in this case I'm going to do one medium pulse laser and the two ultra AC5s um, again into... Oh, boy. Why wouldn't you shoot the one that's wounded, right? I think I'm going to do it all into the guillotine again. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, no, because I'm at one, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to do it all into the Wolverine because I got you at short range. Gotcha. I, okay. moved, I moved specifically to short range for him, which probably wasn't the smart thing to do. I probably should have moved up another one. Okay. But same deal. So okay, everything's yeah. going into the Wolverine. Uh, like I said, um, one medium pulse, two AC5s, and three ER large lasers. Okay. I'll start with my guillotine, who is generating 10 heat just for the damage he's sustained so far. One extra heat for walking. So I'm at a deficit of 11, which means I have 14 heat to mess with. 
Um, my large laser generates eight heat yeah. right off the bat. Um, and then all of my medium lasers are much less heat, and their medium range is a six. Are you within six of Yep, him? you're five. I might skip out on the large laser and do everything else. So the, the Efficiency-wise, you do five for three heat, I think, on your mediums, right? Um, f uh, amount of damage? Yeah. Five damage to three heat, yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, the large laser is eight for eight, so a little bit less efficient. Mediums are more efficient at the spot you're in now. We'll go, we'll go all the mediums. So I have, I have a two medium lasers, another medium, another medium, and an SRM6. I'll use all of those uh, on you because they all have the same medium range. So yep. why not? All right, so we'll use the top. That's a lot of punch, too. Top half of the roster. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to roll dice and blow shit up. Uh, okay, and then the Wolverine here, uh, he's he's doing okay. Even if you do a bunch of damage to me this turn, I won't see the heat until later. So we'll shoot with everything, right? Why not? I'm going to roll those double ones again, right, Evan? Um, Go for it, man. Well, I can't, I can't do the small per pulse laser. So I won't do that, but I'll do everything else. The okay. large, the two SRM6s, and the medium pulse laser. Okay, yep. And then this guy can't see anything. Nope. Behind Hill. Okay. Yep. Shoot me. All righty, here we go. Well, he can see stuff, but he's out of range. Okay. That's you stayed out of range. Wait, how? I thought I'm behind the hill, level one. But hill. it's only level one, and I'm at level zero, so you can see me because I'm at level two height. So are you. But it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm eight, so you have long range. Where's the stat for the height of your mech? All mechs are level two. They'll count as level two. So, so level really one is hide. like waist height. You can only hide behind level three if you're on level... You can uh, hide behind level two because it's fully blocking for you. If you're, you're on level two zero. as well. If you're at zero and level two okay. blocks you. All level three are blocks level you. Level two, a, a bunch of other stuff in the game like tanks and stuff is level one. Level one, yes. Okay. I'll shoot you with all of my guns with the Jenner because, again, I should have the heat Yeah, long sinks. range is nine. So make sure before you declare three, two, three. Yeah. that you have the heat. I do, I do. I have ten heat sinks. Each one of these things is going gonna, is gonna to generate nine heat, so I can just bait it all. You did move. Oh, I did move. I, 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 uh, I, I ran. Uh, so you got ran. two heat there, and each you've got. So I, that put me at eleven heat. Then you oh, have an ooh. SRM four and four medium lasers. Uh, two medium lasers. Oh yeah, four medium lasers total. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Three heat for two damage a missile. Uh, three heat for five damage. Um. I, I want to mix it up just to see what they're like. I'll, I'll use one medium laser and one SRM four. Okay. Just see what they do. Okay. All right. That's my weapons declared. All right, let's do this. All right. Uh, first ER large laser. Dude, there are so many fucking Valtech nerds in the chat. You guys are speaking <laughs> a different lingo. So let's figure out our numbers. Uh, I have plus two to hit you because I ran, so I'm a, I'm a gunnery one, so that makes me a three. You jumped, uh, so you're plus three, so that makes me a six. You are not in any kind of cover, so I need a six. Six. To hit you. All right. right. So my target numbers are six. So ER large laser, first one misses. Second one hits with a nine. Uh, location is center torso, seven. Okay. So that's 10 damage. Ouch! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Wolverine, not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. I got six, nine. That's the biggest hassle is keeping the right piece of paper in front of you when you're. Yeah. Okay, Wolverine takes 10 in the center torso. Yeah. I'm just going to fill these in. I don't know why I'm crossing them off. Yeah, you have to completely fill them in for the machine to accept them. <laughs> All right, 30 yard large. Pencil. Misses. Oh, horrible. Woo! Horrible. Chat! I'm doing it. Horrible. Um, and then we're doing, uh, that was 36, and then I still had six, so we're doing it was uh, the one AC medium fives, pulse right? and the two AC and fives. Me medium pulse, yep. So the medium pulse laser, uh, still needs a six. Misses, oh, oh no. not looking Bro, good, Chad. Jason can't roll 2d6, Chad. Clanner, Clanner's getting a little sweaty and nervous in the cockpit with all this, <laughs> all this beeping from him. <laughs> all right, AC5 needs a six as well. Hits with, Ooh. so that's five damage to the five. Uh, the five is right leg on the Wolverine. Right leg, for how much, five? Five. Oh, my leg. And then the next AC5 also hits. And that's back to the center torso for five. I ah, packing a punch right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Not the best showing. I know that was. Uh, I left. That, I left that, that first turn double one. Oh, you good know? God, man! I left a lot of damage on the table right there. <laughs> Twenty-seven <laughs> damage. I left love on to the hear it. Right so, Mafh uh, says it's been thirty years now since I played a match. Still remembering this stuff because. <laughs> 
They're, they're right uh, in chat. There's not a lot that's changed over time in the no, rules. No, the, yeah, the court I, rules have stayed. The the expansion of the rules has gotten a little more granular and a little heftier, but the base game is exactly the same as it was when I played it in like '80, 1980. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, Rufus is telling me to pencil over the black lines on the side. What does that mean? What black lines on the side? What? I'm not sure what he, what do we mean. What do you mean? He's making he's making jokes about if you go outside. The oh, bubble, I'll read it. oh, yeah. okay. Because yeah, you can like cheat a Scantron test and like yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, cool. All right. It's now all I you, get baby. To, now I get to shoot you. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the um, the guillotine, mm -hmm. which I was shooting everything other than the large laser. May I have the dice? Yep. Awesome. So the SRM six is at long range, um, right? Because you are. Or you, are you it should be three six nine. So it should be at medium. So we're at medium, um, which uh, puts me at a plus what for hitting? Uh, plus two. Plus two. Uh, he is at a plus one for Walking. doing his walk. So I'm at a three, and you're at a plus two for your run. No, I'm not at anything because I didn't move enough hexes. I only moved two hexes. So I need a three to hit. Well, no, plus oh, your four, oh you need seven. Okay, because so, yeah. your base is always four. I, my, and that's called ballistic skill, marksman skill. What is that called? Uh, gunnery. Gunnery skill. Yeah. All right, so I need a seven. I need a seven on my first SRM six. Uh, nope, I like it. Uh, we need uh, for the medium laser. Um, this is all. This should all be the same stats, right? It's all sevens. Uh, if they're all at medium range, yeah. Which I think they are. Medium lasers and it's SRMs are all the same. Yeah. Okay. Medium laser. Looking for a seven again. Did not get I it. I like it even better. Second medium laser. Did not Loving get it. Loving you a lot right now, Scott. And, uh, <laughs> and I have a medium laser that has a quantity of two. Do I roll twice for that or once for it? Twice. It's two different medium lasers. So two different medium They're lasers? They're just in the same location. Okay. Like in the torso, right? Got ya. RA, whatever that is. Right, right arm. arm. Right arm. All right, here comes the first uh, of the two. Ah, Got that, that one. Medium okay, so, laser. So now roll two dice for location. All right. It's a double one. This is on the front. So the four is the right arm. I take five damage to my right arm. Five damage. All right, we we're starting the plinket chat. The big man's coming down. Yeah. Now he's, now he's pissed. Mike's now he's, saying, Scott, please, my points. Now he's poked <laughs> the bear. Yeah. All right, one last medium laser for me. Um, it hits also with a seven. Hits. And where does it hit? Roll location. Uh, uh, nine. nine is left leg. All right. I'm doing it, chat. I'm shooting them. All right, that's the first one. That is the guillotine. Now on Annoying to, mosquitoes. <laughs> now on to the wolverine, who is just... Oh, this is going to hurt. Who's shooting everything other than the small pro. Uh, Why the did small I give pulse. him a wolverine? Hey, All right. Hey, how so much, how much have, stuff did you fire with the guillotine? I shot... A lot. An SRM-6 and four medium lasers. And I hit with two lasers out of all that. Uh -huh. So it was 12. How much heat is the SRM-6? Uh, how much heat is it? It's four. Four, so 16 heat plus 10 is 26. And how much do you have? 25? 25, yes. I'm, yeah, so I'm going to generate one, one point of heat. Seven, two points of heat, because you walked. So that's oh. another one. Oh, right. <laughs> but only two, and two doesn't have any negative effects, so you're fine. Yeah, Actually, I'm also generating 10 heat because of my damage. I forgot about that. What do you mean? Uh, this, is, this is the damaged one. So he generates 10 heat automatically. Right, but you used up uh, you used up 17 this turn just for your weapons and walking, and then plus 10 is 27. You okay. have 25, so you're only up two. Okay. And up being up two doesn't help doesn't hurt. You just have to back down two next time. You can get to plus five at plus five heat carried over. It's permanent is is no, it's not permanent. It just makes it minus one to movement the next turn. But yeah, you yeah. can elect to use less weaponry and, and then, then dissipate all that extra wow. heat too. Wow, yeah. okay, I yeah, love that's, that. That's like your, your... That's cool, I like that. That's how your resource manage. You can push it up to plus 30. Like, you can drive super hot, but you're going to make a lot of shutdown rolls. You're going to be harder to just hit pound that override button. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Nothing, just keep pounding it. <laughs> Grizz Christofferson says Scott's making gun sounds now. He's got the Battletech bug. <laughs> all right, here comes the Wolverine doing everything other than the small pulse laser. I Wolverine. Pencil ready. The Wolverine uh, did jump, so I'm at plus three to my gunnery skill. Yep. You're at, you're plus at base nothing. seven plus range, which is medium for everything, right? Okay. So you're, you're so at nine. Eight, nine. Then a medium is nine. Okay, so this is not an easy dice roll to get on 2d6. Um, it's not going to happen. Or Are you firing your large pulse? Because it, oh, oh, it might be at short range, too. My medium pulse. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. My medium pulse laser is a six for long range. What's so, its medium range? Three? Uh, four. four. You're at four. Oh, I'm at four. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Your distance is four. So I'm at I'm at medium for everything because uh, short range would be three for everything else. So okay, maybe, gotcha. All right, so everything's gonna be a nine then. Everything's the a nine. All right, full first medium pulse laser. Looking for a nine. Did that not get it. it. Uh, first SRM six. Um, looking for a nine. These are the ones I don't want to hit. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> Second SRM six. 
Come on, dice gods. Fuck you. Like it. Add taste like to it. says, don't forget the minus two for pulse lasers. What? What? What's just a generic minus? Only for... needs seven for pulse lasers. Yeah, pulse lasers have a bonus to hit. Okay. Uh, pulse I... means that J one of Jason's pulse lasers, the, his pulse laser shot probably. I mean, I, I rolled like four pulse lasers last turn. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. So from, I guess, so from now on, we'll just consider them a plus two to hit for pulse lasers? Is that a thing that you're aware of? Uh, no, but maybe. Pulse lasers are just more damage per heat. I don't believe they have any. Pulse lasers are more accurate. All weapons, all pulse weapons have a minus two to hit. Um, Is that true? Do, 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 do. Other combat weapons. Yeah, pulse have a bonus. Okay, cool. Okay. So pulse can get can eliminate the medium distance range. Okay, cool. Right, okay. So let's do that from now on. Um, I got a large pulse laser, so normally you need a nine, you need a seven, seven with a pulse laser. Yep. Cool. Here it comes. I can't roll save. Still misses. Fucking lies. God damn it. <laughs> uh, all right. So then uh, the little guy's gonna go. The uh, Jenner, uh, SRM four, and that long range, right? Nine. Yeah, you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hexes out. Eight hexes out. Long range. I'm at a plus two because the amount that I moved. Um, so long range is a plus four. Plus yeah, five. so you're you're. A, you, I usually say I start at my gunnery four. Four plus two for movement makes six. it six. Plus four for long range makes it tens. Tens, and then I'm shooting uh, an SRM, so that doesn't have any bonuses. Uh, so I need a ten. Didn't get it. All right, and now the last two weapons I have with this Jenner are two medium lasers, not a pulse laser. No, so same so, thing. Tens. So, 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 so tens. Okay. All right, getting all the See, even I learned something new. Oh, nope. close. No. All right, and then one more medium laser. Nothing. All right. all right, that was your chance. Actually, I feel like you're going to get a bunch more chances. So I'll get more chances, but yeah, that was a pretty right. pathetic showing. Sorry, chat. I can't roll 2d6. All right, so that was uh, our turns. In terms of heat uh, generation, my uh, guillotine will be at 2, right? Did Scott yep. just roll 3 on 2d6 three times in a roll? What yes, he did. What can you do, chat? What can you do? <laughs> He's giving me loaded dice. I knew it. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, then uh, back at you. All right. Okay. Um, I don't think those guys over there need to move at all. The problem with not moving at all makes me an easier target. But you might walk into me. Maybe you won't walk into me. Maybe you'll just stay right there in medium range, and that'd be a bad thing. Just slug it all out. Um, because, like, yeah, if you're staying at medium range, you're, you're making it harder for me to hit you. If I walk into you... Then you're making it easier for I'm making it easier for you to skirt by me, right? So I think if you think about it like this, you'll be hitting me on fours to sixes if we all stand still. I'll be auto hitting you with everything. That sounds like a fun time for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to roll dice except for locations and amount of missiles. Hmm. How much movement do I need to have to really impact that though? A zero to two is plus one. A three to four is plus one with walking. With running, a zero to two is plus two. Um, could you can you elect to run and then move in and out and just end in the same space? Kind of like you're like dodging a little bit. To like, no, no, you can't it's do that because remember it's all the amount of hexes you move, so it's still mm, be zero. Mm, mm. Okay, from start to finish, you can't like run in a circle. You can't do like a, you yeah. can't do like a, like. Mm -hmm. We oh. typically now. Whether or not that's actually in the new rule book, I don't know that I've ever dug for it, but that was something that we always had as house rules, so you can't like juke back and forth and keep moving like this right, and build up right. a bunch of hexes but stay in the same spot. Uh, that's exactly what I'm yeah. asking. I, yeah. I like do. a blur effect almost. Exactly. Now, so. Okay, um, so right now I'm at medium range. I'm at one, two, three, four away from him. One, two, three, four, five away from him. I do have a distance of hex that I can use uh, to back up and still be in medium range. And I Back can, up at half speed. Okay. Uh, can I say that I'm running and I'm, can, can I run? Can't like, run backwards. You can only walk and so it's it. What if I do this? One, yeah. two, uh, three, four, five. Yeah. It would be six because you spent two to get into the woods, but yeah. So is this, is this a worthwhile endeavor? I'm, I'm running. I moved zero to two spaces. I'm in light cover. Is that gives me a plus three to hit. Is that even, is that meaningful? Um, is that worth my time? Or should I just stay there and blast you? Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is it makes it plus one for me to hit you because you're in woods now. You didn't move far enough to gain any benefit to be hit because you only moved one hex. Right. But you ran, so you're going to be at having to defeat that plus two for running on your end to hit me. Right. Right. So you added more to me. So you, you gain plus one for me to hit you because of the cover is all you gain out of that. And you 
Or, and I add plus two to, to you, but I add plus two to myself as well. That that does not seem like it's worth it. Yeah, sometimes just standing there. And Remember, he jumps. Up your shot. So you can jump five. So I mean, you know, he from here can one, two, three, four, five. He can like this. Holy shit! That's totally the play. That's totally the play. Right. Because now you have to deal with me. I have to keep my side armor to you, or show you my back to go after the guillotine. That's totally right? the play. Yeah. I appreciate that that piece yeah. of advice because absolutely that's why. That's do. why these highly mobile jump mechs are like, oh Jesus! Like, what do I do? Because you can change position very easily. And bouncing from the forward arc to the rear arc of other mechs is always a good strategy because it keeps me having to, like, you know, if I move, I now have to try to find a way to end like this so that nobody's shooting my back. Right. Right? That's definitely the play. Okay, so that was a jump, and that was how many hexes of space? Uh, five. Five. Thank you for the advice. Um, can you give me advice on how to find the right side of the die? There we go. No, Jesus. Christ. I never can. Just uh, don't I be literally an idiot. How about on that? a six-sided die. I have to twist it eight times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The right side that is the one on your right, Scott. Thank you, Evan. Appreciate no problem. That. You're welcome. Uh, Jason working against his own interests. Absolutely. Uh, are we playing game. Christmas music right now, Evan? It shouldn't be. This is the. <laughs> what the hell? Is Jingle Bells playing? <laughs> no, it's it. This is supposed to be the hype tracks playlist. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, I think the other mech, the guillotine, might just stay where he's at. Uh, well, I don't actually mind if you move past me, because if you move past me, you're going to have to backwards walk down the field or get shot in the back, and I can maintain distance behind you. Yeah, you could just kill everything. That's also an option. Um, but that's kind of my thinking right now is that I, I pretty much just have to belt this out. Right. You know, it turns into a slug fest because you got me boxed in. Yeah. I mean, kind of hard. I mean, it's kind of easy to do 4v1, right? You don't have you don't have much agency um, in, in that. Okay. Well, this one's easy to do. So we'll do this one. Um, this is the Orion. The Orion has a run of a six, and I've kind of just angled him to be straight up right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So we'll go there. That was a move of uh, five spaces because I had to go through uh, terrain, and I'm running with the black die. Um, uh, four spaces because you also made a turn. You're right. Oh my god, kill me. Okay, there it is. Um, he's going to stay put. Yep. Um, I still put a die down for that, right? Yep, definitely. Um, and then the little guy. Well, no, you, you you would put like he doesn't do anything, so you don't have to put a die down. There's not nothing, yet. no benefit. It's it doesn't change numbers for anybody involved. Okay. Um, I'm scared to walk in with my little guy. I think you're just gonna like absolutely like just like destroy him. I can take guns off the table quickly if you put him in my gun. <laughs> well, I say that you saw me roll last turn, so yeah, yeah. well, it's we also saw dice. Scott roll. So. It's, still a, <laughs> it's still a dice game. That's true. It's um, a game where no one dies apparently. Uh, one, two. Three, it's giving four, me a lot of anxiety five, six, because people are coming to give me hugs and I don't really want hugs. Ten. My personal space is being invaded, chat. Yeah, but what if they're free hugs? I think I want to end up there. He's giving you a bulk okay. discount on hugs right that was, now. That was one, ten. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so still run. It was a run and it was like nine spaces one, two, of movement. Three, four, five, six, seven. So, wow, I really am estimating this poorly. All right. Well, because you had to go up and down. Oh, the up so and down. That, right. that, and then one facing change. So you take, you spent 10, subtract 3, 7, yeah. Chad, am I doing this right? He's killing it. And the biggest thing is you already have the math for heat figured out, and that's usually the thing people get last. Oh. You're okay. already starting from, I have all this, I, this is what my pool is that I have left, these guns equal this, fire that, let's go. Let's go. That's the hardest part. The, the move. Okay, so it's me. It's you. So I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then I'm not showing you back armor. Am I showing you side armor? that guy. Are you showing me side armor? Side right? armor, yeah. I'm right side armor to you. But are you showing me side armor then over here? No, uh, I'm I'm right side on you and you're right side on me. Okay. So I, your, your, your targeting is going to be limited to the things on my right, which is good for you because it eliminates a lot of the things that you could hit. It puts okay. my right torso and stuff towards you. I don't less, have any damage less, parts, less, so it's not that big. There's less spread. Though. Right, okay, less to hit. Okay, okay. Less to hit, so it focuses more mainly on right side when you do your hit location. Okay. Same thing for your guillotine on me, which is probably good for you because I think I've been hit, hitting you on the left mostly on the guillotine. So uh, yes, you have. Yeah, so I, so, I you have more armor there. So question for you, for just like a strategy point of view, would it have made more sense for me to turn this mech like this, or did I do the right thing, giving you my right side, which is not damaged? Technically, I think unknowingly you gave me the right thing unknowingly, because right okay. now most of what I'm going to roll for for hits, I can. 
still hit left torso and left arm, believe it or not, but most of it's going to go to the right. Most of my die rolls, like a seven is right torso okay. instead of center and things like that. Okay. Cracker Box so. says that guillotine is in front, front arc, not right side. I don't know if that's correct or not, but... um. Is, is side really only these two hexes? No. And then that's the I, only rear one? I, I, rear is the straight line back, and I think it goes back two and then spreads one, and then back two and then spreads one. So you pretty much have to be direct arc behind. Okay. But is this still front arc? This is still front arc for shooting, but when targeting, this is right side because it's the two hexes There's out. There's two right? different uh, determinations for shooting and for... Yeah, shooting and for hit location, right? Um, so, so Apparently I am right somehow. Um, so it, this this is different, right? This this is like your actual. Your That's my right hex. side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can, we can look like at a, facing a, here. And see. It's, yeah, hard, yeah. it's hard with the hexes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> Archer different for. Uh, I'm trying to help him out here, and chat's trying shot. to screw you by telling me I still have front. I mean, I would rather have front, but. Uh, uh, Page one nineteen of Total Warfare. One nineteen. If that's the book you've got there. Don't forget to shout witness me. No, wait, wait, hold on. Always uh, fire on guns. Even okay, yeah, so it starts the hexes behind, the straight and behind. So if I were here, it'd be right side and anything here. So it is. Is it still front arc? Yep. Okay. So, Evan, do we have that camera working? I could plug it into something. Okay. But I'm scared that I'm going to pull off the wrong thing. I want to show uh, the beautiful painted models. They are really beautiful painted. Um, which card did you pull from? Is bottom one, bottom, bottom one, one, all the way left side. I'll just side. pull something from the painting set and then suss it out. Why, why does the bottom left one not work? That we uh, already kind of figured out. Because the bottom left one is the dice cam. Oh shit! Okay. So it's one of the other ones, and I don't want to like, oh, oh that's your camera. That's okay. it. So I'll just pull out one of the painting rack cams. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. We've done our things. You get to determine who you're going to uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing three ER large lasers. Um, well, let me think about this because I think I may, be, I may be at a point where I can take, do more damage by me. all the medium pulse now take because me. with the four medium pulse, I got 28 damage versus 30 for 16 heat. So let's do that. So let's do all four medium pulse. Is um, still a yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, I may not like this game, depending on what you do right now, Jason. <laughs> damn it. Um, <laughs> damn it. So I'm going to do uh, four medium pulse. Uh, that's 16, plus the two for running is 18. So I still have 26 to give. Uh, is that right? 26, 18, and 26 is 44? Yeah, so we'll do four medium pulse uh, and two ER larges. And both AC fives. I think I can do all that. Can I do all that? Yeah, I can do all that. I don't think you can do all that. Yeah. So four medium pulse, two AC fives, and uh, and two ER large lasers into the guillotine. All right. Screw that guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Screw everything in that general direction. Okay, I'm going to shoot with the guillotine with. Okay. So the thing is, I I didn't move, so I'm not generating any heat from movement, but I do generate ten because of my sustained damage. Um, that's that's it so far, and I have 15 uh, further heat to dissipate, and so I can do 4, 7, 10, 16, 24, because I, I count twice for the two medium lasers, right? Yeah. Okay, so that would put me, that'll put me at uh, 34. Um, so yep, nine. So it'll be nine heat generated, which put me at 11. At 11, I am minus one to move, plus one to fire. Papa minus, Chicken makes a great point in chat. Two to move. If the guillotine dies this round, heat doesn't matter for next round. No. Yeah, you run everything. If you think he's going to die. die? Am he I has die? A, the through armor crit is what's put him in trouble. He doesn't have a whole lot of armor gone. So if I don't roll through armor crits and I don't focus all my damage on either the left torso or left arm, then he has a really good chance of surviving. It's not like he's dead. It's just that first roll was really bad. I rolled to hit a cluster of all 10 missiles and then proceeded to roll a center, T, uh, center torso through armor crit and then rolled a 10 to get two crit rolls on the center <laughs> torso and then hit two engines. Just one more through armor crit and it's all over. Man. It was literally like a god roll for the first hit of the game, getting all the missiles and the first cluster through armor critting and then still getting to do the second five damage to so wow. he's not really in that bad of shape. I mean, I have hit him a couple times. But. It looks like uh, Sam Lenz Artwork just uh, did a through armor crit on our stream here with a hot rating. Sammy Bye. boy. What up, Sam? Flex Marabou in the house. What's up, Sam? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a fun time in your stream. Where are you painting? What up, T-Bouncer? Um, all right. 
I'm. I think I want to shoot with everything other than my large laser, uh, just because it generates so much heat. Yeah, it could have been um, a cockpit crit. That would have been worse. If I'd have rolled box cars with that first one, it would have only been five damage and then a pilot hit. So it's not that big a deal, though. Yeah. So I'll shoot with everything in the guillotine other than the large laser because the amount of heat it generates. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you'll be up. Um, and then I so that that puts me at a it was twenty four minus. Oh, you'll be eight, back at flat sixteen. Um, is that right? Just keep so. adding ten to whatever your number is. Right. Yeah. Uh, six nine. Uh, yeah, because last time was seventeen 16. with the same gun. So be at, oh, but it'd be sixteen. So you'd be at plus I'll one. I'll be at twenty six. I'll be at plus one. So I'll go to three heat after that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, this guy is gonna shoot with everything. The kitchen sink. Everything. Right? Why, why wouldn't I? Even the small pulse laser is a range of three, one, two. Oh no, I'm out of range of that. I think your jump will generate heat because it's five, so you'll take you'll go plus three. He why can he why can run and fire everything at, at heat neutral, but when he jumps five, he's at five heat, <coughs> so you'll be plus three. I think. Check my math on that. I'm not gonna shoot with a small pulse because I'm not at range. You're out of range anyway, so that should buy you the. What is yeah. That? So the the large pulse is ten. 14, 18, 22, 27, so I'm one over. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, do that. That's fair. Um, one else, doesn't hurt you. Other than the small pulse. And then uh, for the little guy, you, uh, I, I guess I, I walked to the wrong place because uh, you kind of You have a level place. three in between, so you can't see anyway. Can't see. Oh, yeah. that, that was a misplay. All right. And then the um, the other guy's probably out of range. The Orion. Uh, Orion's got a, oh my God, I have a long range of 18. Yeah, and we've got level two intervening terrain, so he can't see either. Okay, and he's on, he's on, okay. All right, I, I, I'm i having a hard time bringing all my guns to bear here. Jeff. That was my plan, on, why is, I deployed over here, as much as I wanted to go down the has center. long range, Scott? I'm sorry? Oh, it's it's everything on the Orion. He has got a ton of long range stuff. The uh, LB-10X AC, yeah. the MRM-30, the uh, MRM-20, they all have huge range. The MRMs have indirect, right? Uh... Good question. I believe. Chad, let, let, let us know if the MRMs have indirect. Or I not. believe MRMs are indirect still, <laughs> but they may be direct fire. That may be the thing you give up with them. I don't run a lot of mechs with MRMs. I just wants Scott to be firing absolutely everything he can, straight dumping. Dude, I'm trying, dude. Sam said, uh, working on a uh, not indirect. For Golden Demon. Awesome, dude. Can I just fucking see that? It's gonna be they are still indirect? They are not indirect. Yeah, I was going to say, I think MRMs are direct fire. Yep. Like uh, SRMs, MRMs, they they just give you LRM power at, at no minimum, and they're good weapons. Can't wait to see that. Uh, that Very little heat Sam. for a 30 missile rack. Yes, we are playing Battletech. We got Jason here from Monument Hobbies teaching me how to play. Love learning new games. Um, and he brought all these wonderful painted models. And we are already stuck these in. Models. Stuck Scott in. did exactly what I didn't think he'd do. He went full aggressive with his deployment right up at the half line. I'm super slow. <laughs> And uh, I'm just trying to slug it out, man. Just I'm just trying to get through. past him. I'm trying to be rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, freaking running back, <laughs> get past the line of, of, of offense, and then trundle down this line. Trundle down. That's, that's a great word for success. what you're trying to do. I have a lot of armor to give, so I could literally like have a couple turns where I don't shoot and just say, if you can kill me, kill me, because I can turn to slag. But if I get off the board with one health, I'm still You're fine, off the board, so. right. Yeah, you still yeah. win the game. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. So I am doing uh, two ER largest. Let's do those first. Um, so I ran, so I'm at plus two. So that gives me a three to hit. Uh, unfortunately, I'm hitting you on threes because you didn't do anything. Sure. So everything's on threes. So the ER large laser hits you on a five. Uh, location uh, is left torso. That's not good. For 10. That's not good. A left torso, not arm. God fucking damn it, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that, that that last pip was actually the 10th one, so I need to get rid of nine. nine. Yeah. Three, six, nine. Okay. Uh, left I love that the, yeah. the specific way you lean is just putting your face under the, the dice cam. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Because you, like, hunker down to the page really hard. Six, seven. Truly the wargaming experience. Ooh, let's get one more left torso hit grab. Because if you blow the torso off, you lose the arm and everything attached to it, too. So all those weapons and everything, so that's a good thing for me if I blow that up. Plus, does he have an XL engine? I don't think, does he? No, he doesn't have engines. Where do I look for that? Look at the left torso section in the criticals. Are there any engines down there? No, what? I don't think all so. All he thinks. Nope, yeah. And a just, medium laser. Yeah, he's that. a standard engine in that one. Okay. The, the guillotine's actually a really good mech. Um, okay, so second ER large laser. I need a three. 
Uh, ooh, yeah, that what counts. Is, what is that? Okay, it doesn't do anything special? Nothing, no. Okay. On the hit, lo it's just on the location that it counts. But yeah, boxcar is still... It just... I really hit you. Okay. I really meant this one. Yeah. Um, this is personal. And uh, I... I I'm not doing aim shots. I can do aim shots because my hit is so low because aim shots is like plus four, what's plus an, two. What's an aim shot? I can aim at a specific spot on your you body. You specifically? Yeah. Well, yeah. no, everybody can. You can do aim shots. I think it's plus two. Uh, chat, let us know. Is it plus two or plus four for aim shots? You just can't aim at head. All right. So location, CT, uh, a nine is left leg for 10. Okay. For how much? 10? Good. Yeah, 10. And all of my medium it pulse comes. lasers, all my medium pulse lasers auto hit since chat let us know that you get plus two. Plus two. So seven damage to the five, which is a right leg. Seven damage? Yep, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, left torso for seven. Uh-oh. That's very good for me. That does it. So I'm at one, two. Now you carry the next ones down into the little mech structure. Same left torso. You so put five awesome. down there to carry over the five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So now I get to roll for crit because we stop damage into an internal structure. And this is the same way we rolled before. I have to get an eight or better in order to get any crits. So basically when you get the opportunity for a crit, you have to roll to see if it actually crits something. And the opportunity is happening because you've gotten into my internal structure. It went through your armor and is now hitting shit on the inside. So not yeah. everything that you're gonna hit in this in this area Anytime is Anytime I roll on the left a... torso until you run out of pips and then the whole left torso and everything is blown off. And why the eight? Is the target number? Yeah, it's just a crit table. is determining critical hits. On a two to seven, there's no crit. On an eight and above, then it's multiple. Okay. It's, it okay. starts eight to nine, one, uh, 10 to 11, two, and then a 12 is three rolls, all right? Okay. Nothing, seven. All right, uh, the third, I think I'm on the third. Third goes to the 11, which is left arm for seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's 30, 30 now. It's and 30. then the last one. Jason, stop shooting me, please. To the right torso. That's good, that's good. Fresh. For seven? Yeah, seven, same thing. Seven, okay, three, five, seven. Okay. All right, I got two uh, Ultra AC5s. Oh my god, it's still happening, okay. Yeah, that was that was just the medium pulses. Uh, oh man, what up, dude? First Ultra AC5, hits you on a nine, five damage to the eight, which is the left torso. Hell yeah. Yay me! Left torso. One, Back into the two. crits. One, two. Uh, five damage into the internal structure on the oh, torso. Oh, uh, fuck me. I didn't do any arm. Okay, yeah, so torso. eight. Uh, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll roll for crit. I do not get it. Rolling those sevens. You need a high, you need a higher, you need an eight or higher. High, eight or higher. You got it. Okay. Uh, second AC five. Hits on 11. Jesus Christ. Location. Show me left torso. Uh, four is right arm. Right arm for got five. nothing on yeah, it, for five. so it's fresh. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Whew. I'm heat neutral. I did a lot of damage. None of it helped me at all. <laughs> oh, certainly it did. I could have taken those two crits. They could have been that could have been big stuff. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. All right, we'll start with you, uh, the guillotine here. Because you can see, right? You've taken a lot of damage. It feels really sweaty, but you're still fully operational. I haven't had any problem. I mean, he has the plus ten heat, which is bad. But he still got all his weapons, so yeah. he can still fire everything. Gomez says, show the minis. Um, did we figure that camera out or no? It's up right now. Oh, it's up right now. Oh, nice. Nice little close-up. And here we got, actually, all of them. The Jenner's hiding out back here, but the Wolverine, uh, the Guillotine, the Orion, trying to come in and be relevant, and then the poor Dire Wolf over here trying to stave off Scott's elimination. The fuck? Why is this on? Um... Just want to get a little, a little fill light here. Oh, I yeah. see. Look at us. So we can, Hollywood. So we can kind of see this. This might just die immediately. Um, you want to like hold that and. Uh, oh, was it like on in the case? It might have been on in the case. Yeah, just give them a little bit of fill there, so they can, there we go. So they can that's... see um, those beautiful paint jobs. Yeah, right there would, wouldn't be terrible. Nice, cool. Um, that that light might just die instantly. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So we're starting with the guillotine. Um, we did everything other than the large laser. Um, and so we'll start with the SRM-6. Uh, we are in short range. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so we're at a short range on everything. From the uh, guillotine. I did not move. You did not move. So in, in, you don't have any plus to hit? Uh, like yeah, I moved four. So I ran four. Sorry, I moved my so die. Plus two? I oh, moved my somewhere? die prematurely. Yeah, uh, I'm at plus one to be plus hit. Plus one, my uh, gunnery skill is a four. So I'm needing a five for everything. Right? Yeah. Okay, here comes the SRM six. I got it. Oof. Oh, five, barely. Uh, roll me a die for number of missiles. Number of missiles, three missiles. Hang on a second, let me find the damn missile chart. He Blue says, Wizard Minis just subscribe with Prime. Hey, thanks, Blue Wizard awesome. Minis. Awesome. Uh, where is the damn missile chart? Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? I mean, I just had it. So, what, what am I rolling for here with this? With the, the amount of missiles out of six that hit. But why am I not finding the dang missile chart? Hi, Bunny Smasher. It's a pretty brutal name. Okay. This is not right. Am I just stupid? Am I just not seeing? Oh, there it is. Cluster hits table. So roll 2d6 again. Uh, so I rolled a three, so roll 2d6 again? Yeah. Well, if you rolled a three, roll just one more die. Oh, okay. All right. So a nine. A nine out of six gets you four hits. Okay. Right. So these get rolled as individual blocks of two because they do two damage apiece. So you'll roll four times on the on the hit table. All right. So let's see where they're going then. First one goes to the center torso for two. Second one goes to the uh, left torso for two. Third one uh, is the right arm for two, and the last one. Yeah. Oh, hang on. He's shooting you in the right side, right? Is the right torso. No, no. no. This, this is the guillotine. He's, he's center on. This is the guillotine. Oh, this yeah. is the guillotine. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, And right torso for two. Okay, right. so just to recap what happened, I rolled with a weapon called the SRM-6. It's a missile weapon. I rolled 2d6 to see how many of the missiles hit. I rolled a nine. That means... Four of them hit. Four of them hit out of yeah. the six? Out of the six. Okay, so if I rolled like a, a higher value, I could have got all six out of six. Something I think like 11 like a 10, gets 11, you the 12. Because I rolled an 11, 11 when I got all of them off of the... Uh, okay, okay. So some, it's guy. some chart, and then... Yeah, an 11 would get you all six. Because the damage is two per missile, and I rolled four missiles, I rolled four times for each missile, yeah. determining the location each time. I always like to think about how Robotech was when the missiles all launched out. There's this big yeah. swarm, but it kind of hits in a big cluster. Right. Missiles right. are not very accurate, but they give you a lot of pinging. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes armor off of pretty much the whole okay. Yeah, SRMs are sure basically the shotgun following. of the setting. They do a lot of damage per weight, but they don't have a lot of range. Not a lot of, and they you can't aim with out. them. Yeah, you can't aim with There are streak missiles and things like that that you spend more for that all hit the same location. Yeah. But. Okay. Um, my medium laser is gonna pop off now. Again, I need a five to hit. I'm in medium range. I have a gun range skill of four, and you and you moved enough to get plus one. Uh, it's a regular medium laser. No pulse. Yeah, just medium medium laser. Uh, regular medium laser. I think you're on sixes, aren't you? Four plus. Oh no, plus my one is five. Yeah, I thought I was getting plus two. Yep, fives. Okay. Same thing for everything. I think. Yeah, I think as well. We hit with that. That's five damage to the where. To the something. Eight. Uh, the eight is my left torso again, so five damage. All right, we got... Uh, left torsos are loving it this game. Yeah, we, I know. We got uh, three more of those coming your way. Okay. All right, do I hit with it, though? That is the important part. I do. With all of them. Loving it. And it's hitting the left torso again? Left to the torso again, right? Uh, right? Eight is left torso again. Two more of those. Settle down there, Rowdy. Go from the right arm. <laughs> is it hitting? It's hitting. It's hitting. Chad, I can roll fives. Tenor. To the 10. The 10 is the left arm for five. All right. And the last medium laser from the guillotine. Is it hitting? It is it hitting. He hit finally got serious. Uh, and then left arm again. Left arm again. All right. <clears throat> the robot is sustaining damage. That was the guillotine. Was... I ain't even feeling this stuff <laughs> it's yet. It's tickling. It's You're tickling. spreading the love around, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. All right. You can stand one... to hit the right leg a couple times. Okay. So not <laughs> this one. This one is in the oh, because that's totally unscathed. Oh, totally nothing. Uh, okay, no. this one is in the right uh, or the right arc. The uh, the Wolverine, Wolverine is yep. But I'm not. I'm probably not going to hit with everything. So I jumped. I'm at a plus three. I have a gunner skill of four. So I'm at a seven Seven's plus base. two for your nines. I'm on nines. Uh, so I'm only uh, plus one. So okay, eights. Yeah, eights. Eight. And then you're at range four. So you're probably at medium. So it might be, might be tens. Might be tens. Yeah, everything's going to be uh, a medium. Yeah, uh, so but the pulse is going to plus two. All right, uh, so medium's plus two to the check? 
What's that? The medium is plus two to the check? Plus two. Yeah, All right, so, so you're at so, base yeah. 10. Your pulses will take you down to eight, but 10 for everything yeah, else. Yeah, this will be hard to hit, chat. We'll, we'll try. Medium pulse are coming in number one, so I need an eight for this. Eight. Jason, I got a question for you. Sir. Chat mentioned it. Are we doing piloting checks for damage amounts or no? Uh, no. I would have to take one every turn. So we're yeah, not doing yeah, that. and well, I mean, Scott would probably have to take a couple. Yeah, typically, too. if you take twenty or more damage, you have to take a piloting check. But uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're not so. worrying about. It. I'm just showing basic functional rules. Yeah, we are hitting and we are pogging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, not this time. The but... pulses are missed, unfortunately. Yeah, typically, if you do over twenty damage in any one round to one mech from one firing, uh, one fire base, then you have to make a piloting check. Right now, uh, you're at piloting five, so in two d six, you'd have to roll a five or better to not fall over. Okay. Basically, okay. Um, or to take over, damage, you have to. You, you first take. You're avoiding the damage check, and then if you take the damage check, you have to make the roll. Okay. So it gets it gets kind of overly complicated for what you're trying to do when you're learning the game. Okay. Yeah. And it can actually take the fun out of it because if in your first game something like that first turn happens where I get those internal crits, you have to make piloting checks. Your pilot gets knocked unconscious. Your mech falls over, takes a bunch of damage, and then is prone in his instant hit, and you lose that mech the first turn of the game. Yeah, not, stuff like that can happen. Yeah, so, yeah. It's rare, but yeah. All right, first SRM six this is gonna need a ten. Nope. Uh, second SRM six. Nope. Uh, the large pulse laser, which this is also medium range. Is it, um, is it short range three? Yep. Okay. Yep. Wait, these are all short range three. Yeah, you're at medium range because they're fours. You're at fours. Oh, oh, oh. I yeah, thought the, wait, I thought yeah, the yeah, large right. pulse was short range four. But. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, so it needs an eight. Needs an eight. Yes. Come on, hit with one weapon, please. Ooh. No, oh, fuck. I like this. All right. I like this. I can't, I, it else? feels like this game is going one round of butt pucker and then another round of whoo. I guess so. so. Uh, nothing else was declared for shooting because I line of the line sided myself or you line sided yep. uh, cleverly, so I can't see anything else. All right. So back at us. All right. Um, I just want to surround you because, like, I in, in my head it feels like I'm so close to you, but in reality I'm actually so far away from you. Yeah. And it's really hard to hit. Yeah, um, you start to see how even when it feels like you should be in good numbers because of your movement, my movement, intervening terrain, you can be right next to a mech and be hitting on boxcars. Uh, that's that's yeah, that's uh, that's rough actually. Yeah. Uh, so what I'll try to do is uh, just walk it in as close as I can um, with a, a Wolverine. He has a walk of a five. I'm on. Am I on level one right now? You're on level one right now. All yep, right. level one. So that'll be uh, one, two, one, two, three, three four. four. Can I just walk right there? Yeah, you can just walk right up to me. Um, we said we weren't doing melee, so that's a smart move. Okay, yeah, because you could just like. Run if we were doing melee, I just kick your. I just kick you right now. But yeah, yeah. I, I could. I could risk missing and then falling over, which would be bad too. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing is, I, I kind of want to walk to where you're going, not necessarily where you are. Sure. Um, you can, if you're doing that, you've got four, five, six, seven. Eight, you know. Mm, no, I want to stay behind you because I, I, th I think you're gonna move forward, and I want to be able to see you. I have to keep you. going that way, yeah. So, right. Mm. And mechs can't move through mechs. We can move through vehicles and infantry, but not other mechs, unless they're prone. Which I think I think you move through prone mechs, chat. Probably like a piloting check or something. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it's treated. I know blown up ones are treated as rough terrain. I don't remember about prone. Did I move four? Uh, you moved a total of four hexes. Yep, walked four. Okay. Um, this guy. I oh, feel, um, yeah, three. Same thing. I feel like this guy wants to die. Sorry. <laughs> I think he wants to back up a little bit, increase the cone of fire a little bit, and then face toward the area you're moving. Um, but he might just blow up. So, uh, oh, uh, speaking of, I, I generated one heat uh, t over my total. You're plus three right now, which uh, still doesn't do anything. Yep. Just want to make sure I mark that. Yep. All right. Um, okay. So. And he's at plus one, I think, or something like that. Is yeah, he? He's at plus one. Okay. Yeah, because your jump. Gotcha. Make sure to mar mark that. So if I do this, it's gonna turn for one. Uh, two, three, uh, and then uh, four, five to face straight that way and be up on a level. So is that a walk for my? 
Guillotine, uh, that's a run. Uh, chat, somebody else, I don't believe you can reverse up terrain. I'm going to turn. You're going to go forward and do like that? That's okay. What, uh, cool. Maybe I did the math wrong. Um, this one. would be a one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if I if I go to this one, uh, then I can do it more cheaply. So that one, two, three, you four, five, uh, traverse up and down four, while reversing. Five. Is that is that legal? Yeah, is yeah. Because all that was forward, and you're five, so it's a run. Was that right, terrible? Was is that is that a terrible idea? Four six four. Because so you have a move of five, you said. So if I go one two three four, is all I can do because I can't get up, right? If I go one two three. three. Four, five, I can do that. Then, then, they, then you're not looking at me, right? You can't see me then. I can torso twist. What's torso twisting? Uh, that's what you had to do last turn in order to bring all your guns to bear. You can torso twist for free one hex. Can I torso twist if you're standing right here then? Yeah. Is, is that mm -hmm. where you ended up? Yeah, we would both have to torso twist to shoot at each what other. Is that, what does that do for shooting? Well, it means that your facing is actually this way, which means I would be in your front arc. And same thing for me, I would torso twist and put you in our front arc. That's the only way we'd be able to shoot each other. I mean, you'd be able to shoot me with your whatever was on your right arm. And same for me, if I move there. I don't think that's what I want to do because I, it puts me squarely into his, and he's fresh. Yeah. I'm thinking probably one, two, three, four. You know? Okay. I'm either moving three hexes or two hexes, and it's probably there, and then line up for one, two, three, four, five next turn. Gotcha. Something like that. Because sure. then I have further to move. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, with this guy, there's got to be a way that I can shoot with this guy this turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you so keep coming in. If I if I just do... The only thing is, remember, we have level three, level two. So if I stay on level zero, you're going to have to be somewhere in this range uh, to be able to see over all this stuff to see me. Because to get... Not, I'm not going to make it there. You got to be in that arc I'm to see me. Make it yeah, don't forget about your jump jets on your other mechs. Scott. Yeah, like this guy's got a jump jet. He's got jump jet. All three of these guys do. He's, the Orion is the only one that... So I don't know if jump jetting is really going to solve anything for me. I'm just going to move further away from Jason, making it harder not only for me to hit because I'm jumping, but also because I'm further away and potentially in medium range instead of close range. Um, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but that, that, I, I, that's why I thought right about... Right now you're going to be in short range with everything from these two guys. Right. And so No matter how far I move. I, I'm trying to mitigate as much as I can the risk factor of shooting, and I think I'm just trying to be as close to you as possible and just use my number advantage here. Um, but I'm struggling, you know? I feel like it's hard to hit. Uh, and, like, this thing, this seems like potentially my most badass shooting thing. And to not be able to shoot with it for three rounds in a row is rough. Yeah, it's rough. Um, and, like, this, this Well, and your this general really hasn't had any good shots either, so... Yeah, this particular terrain layout is also... is is, is great for you. Uh, it's... Uh, you're, you're able to stay down in that valley and, uh, and hide away. Um, oh, man, I think I just need to turn and just move as fast as I can in that direction. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, so two, three, four, five, six. You can be in this square looking this way, which doesn't hurt too bad. I can't get guns on you. So that's not, that's, it's a safe spot. It's Why would I want to face that way? Well, that's just as far as you're going to be able to get because you can oh. turn as one, two, three, four. You, you could go five, six here or uh, probably here in the woods that, is better. That's what I, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll go there. I moved five you spaces ran five. total. Yeah, you ran five. Um, that's the black die going there. All right, now the Jenner can jump. Uh, five, I think, right? Five. Or does he jump six? Uh, I think it's five. Um, is it? Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where should the gender go? What does five spaces look like? One, two, three. Four. In this There's range. Not bad. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna... Woo! I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. <laughs> that's, fine. Uh, that's five spaces. Okay. Hmm. Oh, chat. Chat. Chat, I don't know. I want to be able to see this beautiful model. I'm going to pull this map me a tiny bit. Cool. Yeah, because we're right on the edge. You're right on the edge. Yeah, right on the edge. Oh, it's looking bad for me, chat. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> so if I go one, two, three, four, five. Do I want everybody in my front arc? I probably want to give right arc, right? So one, two, three, four, and give right side to those guys is probably my Trust best bet. Because if I go here, I've given back arc to the Jenner, <coughs> and I've opened up the Orion. So yeah. All right. 
Ugh, I don't like this at all. Um, that makes me happy to hear. <laughs> and, that, and that's a whopping run of two. So again, all I do is hurt myself. All right. All right. Um, declare some weapons. Oof. Boy, now we're getting at the point where declaring everything at the, the guillotine is maybe not the best idea. But I'm at plus two for every additional target that I choose. What's that mean? What do you mean? I can target multiple things, but it's an additional plus for each target that you do. So plus two, plus four. Oh. On and on if you want to do multiple oh. weapons. Yeah, if you want to spread across. Because your targeting things. computer only has so much power, right? Okay. So it's okay. better to focus fire on one thing, but you're making it hard. You could... Um, you could Torso twist further from there. Couldn't yeah, you? I can I can torso twist one hex, which puts everything in my front arc. Um, Even the uh, the Jenner. Uh, that would only be right arc. Okay. And so I can so only fire with right arm weapons and stuff like that. That's what that means effectively. You, you're limited to your right arm weapons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Um, and I'm not, I'm not really focused on the Jenner right now. Anyway, I need to get rid of this guillotine because it is causing me problems. Schneedraka says to follow my heart and just keep blasting. Okay, I'll do that. I'll try. And the gate already in my front arc, so I think we'll just go ahead and... Uh, just light it up. God, though, right? I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> Show who's boss. <laughs> I'm going to be at threes, fours, sixes on the Wolverine if I declare... So yeah, I'll torso twist one square to put the Wolverine in front arc. I will put both of the ER larges into the Wolverine and the four medium, oh no, I'll put the four medium pulse lasers into the Wolverine because of the bonus to hit. I'll put the two ER larges and the two AC5s into the uh, the guillotine. Okay. Let me make sure I'm doing my math right, because that's 24, 16, uh, 42. Yep. God damn it, you're at medium range, my fucking Jenner. God damn it. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. I had to, so I had to get out of short range so for annoying. everybody. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, not, the Wolverine is still in short range, right? He's in short. Yeah, you're at you're at two range and three range. So these two guys are in short range for sure. Okay, okay. Um, and in terms of what I want to shoot with here, um, I'm starting at ten heat again with this guillotine. Um, Go son for the glands. I kind of want to just fucking shoot you with everything and just throw caution to the wind here. And Feels like that time. And I, I kind of, I, I agree. I agree. It feels like this. This we are now in critical mass. What you're going to suffer is not going to outweigh what you can do right. if you take advantage of being able to hit me at low numbers. Right. If now. I if I gain some battle movement. tech is a game of where the numbers are low. Throw caution to the wind. Right. Blow stuff up. Unless right. it's like your last mech and you lose the game. Right. Yeah. And in this situation, what I'm going to begin to lose here is some movement points, which is not the worst thing in the world because we are not now in close range combat. You don't move very fast. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind here with the guillotine and shoot with every one of my guns yep. at you. Same with the uh, Wolverine. The Wolverine uh, won't even gain any heat. As a matter of fact, you'll go back down to neutral because you walked. You're right. The Wolverine can run, fire everything, and be heat neutral. Since and you I, walk, you can fire everything and feel fine. And I'm in long range of my small pulse, um, so everything can shoot. I, I haven't been able to shoot with a small pulse yet, but now, mm -hmm. now I'm able to. Yep. Um, and so the uh, Jenner is going to shoot with everything other than... Everything, yeah, everything. Because uh, everything's in, in some kind of range, and then the sadly the Orion. <laughs> everything's in something. He gets real hot. So. Oh, does he? Yeah, he gets real sinks? hot because he only has ten heat sinks. Ten heat sinks. All of his so medium lasers are twelve, six, and then the SRM. 12. Yeah, you're right. Fifteen. So, so I think you're up like okay. five. So you you so lose. Maybe maybe I don't do the SRM. The SRM four is worth eight damage for its heat. So from an efficiency standpoint, it can be good, but you got to roll for missiles. So I would stick to all four medium lasers. Okay, I was. Gonna, I, I might have said just the uh, one uh, one cluster. Oh, but of lasers. he also jumped five, so he's at five heat already. Right. Oh, you're right. So then that puts me at eight if I use an SRM four, and then if I do both lasers, that's fourteen. I can dissipate ten. Okay, I'm gonna do one S SRM four and one set of two lasers. So I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna gain four heat. This okay, cool. Yep. Jenner. Yep. Um, so I just oh, want no, that the, now. the lasers are not a set. They're not a set. You can fire them one at a time. You can just choose to fight one. 
fire one. Yeah, it's, okay. say, it's saying you, you have two four. You can fire location, any number up to four. But each one is individual, so you're not firing both of them for the cost. Yeah, the only one. reason it has a quantity is because they're in the same location. So I can choose to shoot just one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna go up to four heat. Is that bad? Am I dumb? No. It right. keeps you from having any negative effects. You can still do everything it will next turn and decide to either dissipate it all or go ham next turn and add four to it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm, I'm just gonna mark I try that. to stay under five unless there's a real good reason not to. He's not at great numbers right now because your your base is four, your jump makes you seven, your medium range makes you nine, right? Yeah. So you're at nines. Yeah. So it's not the best numbers. Right. So to jump yourself up a tremendous amount of heat, then you feel bad when you hit nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Um, we've, we've determined all of our weaponry. Yep. Fire away. All right. So I got uh, I got two ER large lasers and two AC5s going into the guillotine. We'll do those first. Those are at uh, three threes. Comez is just popping off in the chat, saying all kinds of things. Yeah, Star also, we had, Colonel, while you guys were mathing Malthus. it out, I didn't want to interrupt, but <laughs> Sunday Beach us. <laughs> resubscribed 29 months. Let it all out. Let the blood flow. My bid on this planet was one mech could take it, so we're proving it. Yeah, he's doing well. He's doing well. <laughs> all right, uh, first, ER Large needs threes. Hits. Location is an eight. Uh, that's uh, left torso, ten. Uh, that's very bad. For the guillotine. Yes, yeah, so that blows the left torso off. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it does. How many pips were there? Uh, five. So five go to center armor, outside armor. Here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a damage transfer table there that has little arrows that show where when you run out of pips in one location, where you move it to on the next one. And the torsos and everything heads to the center torso, okay. so the left torso is there. So your left torso is now non effect is is blown up and basically. I've, I've and lost my medium laser and large laser. And everything in your uh, left arm. That, that's all of it. Yeah. Okay, L so LT and LA, right? Yep. LT yep, and LA. Both those two things. So the medium laser and the large laser are gone. And you don't have any ammo weapons, so we don't have to check for ammo explosion or anything <laughs> like that. Which is literally, machine guns are the worst weapons in the world because when you get hit and your ammo detonates for machine guns, it does like a point of damage for every oh my God. piece of ammo. It can do hundreds of damage oh to your my gosh. Like it just literally just goes up and torches everything. I love it. Very, right. That's very cinematic, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Shooting missile the oil canister and it blows up kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some missiles can also very much blow you up real quick. Missile, every piece of ammo is really destructive Cr except for uh Gauss rifle. Uh Krunstall is asking a good question. Do those still fire this turn? I believe they do because yeah. it's simultaneous. Yep, everything's simultaneous. So yeah. his declared weapons all fire, regardless of him losing the arm. He still gets the benefit of this this turn, but next turn he won't. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh second ER large. If also I'm alive. Hits. Right. Oh no, I guess they, I even get to shoot even if I am. Location four, which is right arm. Right arm for how much? Ten. Jesus. One, three. Four, six, seven, nine, ten. Salami Tactical says, without case, ammo explosions, quote from the rule book, is are almost always lethal. Yeah. Yeah. Almost always. Um, all right. Uh, this is my fourth ammo shot with those. So I'm checking off my ammo here. Uh, AC5s are three as well. Hits. Five damage to location three, which is your right arm. Okay. How much for that? Five. Um, that is the remainder of my uh, uh, armor on that arm. Okay, good, but no no carryover? No carryover, yeah. Okay, yeah. good, yep. Uh, the next AC5 hits, and that's to the head. So five damage to the head. All right. And now you mark a hits taken, see your warrior data in the top. You mark off the hits taken one. And why are we doing this? Uh, that's because you got hit in the head, right? So anytime you take a crit or an ammo explosion uh, or a hit to the head, you get, take a pilot point of damage because it's just the feedback or the rattling of your cage. And now your uh, your consciousness check is a three. So you will roll 2d6 and have to beat a three. So the only, the only time this one's really bad is if you roll snake eyes. Okay. If you're all snake eyes, you're unconscious. Okay. And should I have marked this when you crit me the first time? No, we forgot. So it's no big deal. I can just do it. And I don't know that regular crits, I think it might only be ammo. Okay. Somebody in chat can check that for us. 
Mike says I need, a, I need Scott to just slam that mech into the direwolf next turn. <laughs> we said we weren't going to do melee combat this time because it gets really brutal with the direwolf can can literally like decimate all of his mechs if I go in and start kicking. And I knew we'd get pretty up close and personal. Snake eyes roll in three, two. One. I do it now. The yeah. Only ah. ammo and head hits okay, are good. auto rolls. We're yeah, good. ammo and head. Yeah, so you're good. Okay. Um, so you're conscious, but you see how that number escalates. If I hit you in the head again, you got to be five, and then eventually it gets to where you're just knocked out. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then, and if you take your six hit, you're dead, and then cool. your your mech is, is destroyed. Okay. Yeah, okay so falling over triggers those as well. Yeah. You, you fail is, a piloting check. Yep. You fall over. You're like, ow, that really hurt my neck. I'm just gonna lay here <laughs> for a while. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I got four medium pulse lasers at the Wolverine. The Wolverine is at plus one for me to hit. So plus my plus two uh, makes me a. Uh, one, uh, second two, target as well. Three, four, and then second target is five, six, but they're medium pulse lasers, so it's back to fours. Fours. Right? So fours are better with all four medium pulse lasers. First, hits. I liked it better when he was missing hits. Seven damage to the center torso. Ooh, uh, that could be bad. Second one, hits. Seven damage to the, I believe that's the left leg. Yeah, left leg. Left leg is doing good. Uh, seven? Seven? <laughs> yeah, seven damage. All right. Uh, third one hits. Three, five. Seven damage to the eight, which is the left torso. Left. Also fresh, damn it. Torso is fresh. Seven damage again? This game yep. feels like it's been all about the left side. Yeah, exactly. And last but not least, we hit with that one, which is seven damage to the center torso. Center torso, how much? Seven. seven. That's going to go through. Uh, uh, two, four. This is where I need boxcars, baby. All right, three. So three damage went to my internal structure. All right, chat. I need you to blow on these dice. <laughs> Bless I'm gonna, these I'm gonna dice. Hold them, I'm gonna hold them right here. I need everybody to lean in. Give me a good, a good high, high a chance. All right, here we go, baby. Woo! You need an eight. Eight or boxcars. Eight, eight or better. Okay. Well, what's with the boxcars then? Uh, boxcars give me three crit rolls. So you get to roll three crit locations in that location. So, but you were just rolling for the crit, like what was happening for crit strikes. Chance for crit we got because we went through your armor. Correct. Then you roll, and on an eight or nine, you get one roll to, uh, to crit something. You get okay. one thing blows up. Okay. Uh, a 10 or 11, two things blow up. And on a 12, three things blow up. Ah, okay, okay. So obviously you just want to hit more stuff, especially CT, because that's where your engine is. So if you get three engine crits, then all of a sudden you just go nuclear. So, okay. Which would be actually good for me, because if this guy went nuke, he would do damage to the Jenner, which would be awesome. <laughs> that would not be awesome. Stack polling, baby. It didn't happen. Woo, so. chat. I'm living out of prayer right now. That Battle was, tech prayer. That was that was really good. I haven't rolled any crits except for that first turn one I where I got so real bad cocky you. about it. I feel so bad for you. No, you don't. I don't. Stop lying. Uh, <laughs> I need you to stop lying right uh, now. Okay, I'll stop lying right now. I'm very happy I did not blow up. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll start with the guillotine who's hurting right now. He's got one last chance to use all these lovely guns. So let's do it. Um, he did not move. Oh, he did move a little bit. You're, uh, at, you're at plus uh, two, so you're at, at a base plus, six. Base six. You don't have any... Uh, so it's just sixes. Just sixes? All right. I didn't move far enough to give you any bonuses. Does gotcha. the wound contribute to this roll or no? No. Okay. It's only next turn that that takes effect. So many names being shared. Jerome Blake. In the, I have no idea who any of these people are. You don't know about the word of Blake, Scott? No, I don't. Or I need a six. That, that's a six. good question, Evan. I, I've always played it. Somebody might tell me that in the way the rules are written. I've always played it that all damage that happens other than pilot death is attributable to the following turn. That even though we had a headshot, he took the point of damage. Now he'd be at plus one to hit, but that doesn't take place now because it's all simultaneous combat. So somebody in chat may tell me we're wrong, but I get a um, plus one to hit because I got hit in the head. Yeah. Where does it say that? Uh, pilot hits. Well, oh, you don't gotta show me the rules. I, I didn't know if it was on my. No. There's so much uh, info on this this sheet. I thought it might be on here as well. No, for each point of damage your pilot takes, it adds bad stuff to you. Uh, Salami Tactical, who's been our rules genius so far, says technically it all applies at the end of the phase, not the turn, but I yep. see people house rule it that way a lot. So. Yeah. So the end of the phase being his shooting phase. So before I, I get to shoot, is that what's being implied oh, right now? Oh. That would it would impact my shooting right now? We don't do it that way. No, we both do it to players, players. shooting phase. Okay, so, so not, okay, okay. So it would apply to if there was something at the end of the shooting phase, there's something after that. Like, right. Oh, there's a piloting check before the next turn or something. Okay. It would yeah. apply to that. Yeah. Okay. All right. As first set of SRM sixes here. I need uh, sixes to hit. I miss. 
Uh, medium laser, not a pulse laser. Um, this is all just sixes. Wait, is it? I'm in yeah, short. the funky yeah, phase yeah. is definitely my favorite. Medium laser. Here we go. I hit with that on yep. a six. Uh, so this is going to be five damage to the seven. In your torso. All right, here comes the second medium laser. Pew! Fuck me. I like Beast. it. Um, here comes the third medium laser. Got it. Yeah. On eight. All right, and it's hitting the five. The uh, five is the right leg. Thank you. <laughs> Fourth medium laser. <coughs> it's on a nine, and it's hitting the nine. Uh, nine is the left leg. All right, and then we got our large laser. This can't miss. I need snake eyes right here, Scott. This can't miss, please. No! Hey, you know what? A four also works. Thank you very much, sir. It doesn't work. It's not a pulse laser. It works perfectly. What do you mean? For me? Oh. Rude. Yeah, well. All right. Well, the big gun didn't hit, Sag. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, can, what can you do? All right. Here we go. Rude. Wolverine's up next with a medium pulse laser. Your chat blew like toxic mist on my dice that kept me from critting. Yeah, so. I actually appreciate that, chat. So. Thank you very much. Bastages. <laughs> uh, medium pulse laser. So this guy is at a plus one. Uh, so it'd be a five. Um, and then... Uh, I'm using a pulse laser, so it's minus two, so hitting on threes. threes. That, am I missing anything with that? No, I don't have any. I don't have any bonuses to hit me. So, oh my but God. that does not hit. Chat. Thank you, Chat. Chat, what am I doing? The medium laser blows up. Yep. That was the snake eyes I asked for last time. So I see what's happening. My wish is lag one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I need to be very careful gotta, to gotta not wish for something on your last dice roll because it'll you, affect right, me. Right, right. Yeah, so you got a ping, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. SRM six. Hits with Hits. a 10. Uh, so uh, number, for the missiles. number of missiles. 2d6 for the number of missiles. Uh, five missiles. Five is well, five on the three. Chart. Three. Three. All right. So first so two damage. First damage is going to the uh, six, which is, oh, it's on my right side on this guy. So a uh, six is the right leg. All right. Second set of missiles. Is a 10 is left arm somehow. That makes sense. Okay. okay. And the third oh. missile is six, which is right leg again. Okay. All right. The second SRM six. Also right. hitting. How many missiles? Got a six. Uh, is that just three six again? Six is probably three again. Uh, four. Four. All right. Here we go. Here's the first uh, two damage missile. So uh, seven is right torso, I believe. Uh, seven is right torso. For two. All right. A six. A six is right leg for two. Okay. The third missile. Eleven. Eleven is a left leg for two. And the fourth missile. Three. Is a three, which is the right leg for two. All right. So now both SRM sixes have shot. Now we'll go on to the large pulse laser. Back to a three. Back to a three. It hits like a champ. Like you mean it. All right, where does it hit though? A uh, six. Six, which is the right leg again for how much? Eight? Nine damage. Nine damage. Three, six, nine. Okay, so I told you to hit me in the right leg. I need you to stop that. Now. All right, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now a small pulse laser. Maybe We're now we be... switch to, oh, I don't know, one of your mechs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to shoot one of my mechs? I think friendly fire is in effect now. <laughs> okay. I think okay. if you miss, you roll to see I, if you hit somebody else. I will else. now allow you to <laughs> see yourself. Uh, so we're at long range for the small pulse, uh -huh. uh, hitting on a uh, uh, four and then plus three for long range. Your five plus four is nine. Nine and then minus two for the pulse laser. Back so to seven. Back to sevens. Do we strike? We do. Nuts. All right. I now. live. He lives. Oh, wait. Oh, but there's still more shooting to go. Oh, wait. I love it. Okay. I didn't give him so many guns, Evan. Because uh, you want to have a fun time. I don't feel like this was a smart move, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> so for this guy, I shot with the SRM4 and the medium laser, but not the second two medium lasers. So SRM4, we're going to be at, we're at one, two, four. three, four. We're at medium, medium. range. I jumped, so we're at a plus you're seven nines. I think we determined. Yeah, your base nine. Base Should nine. Have given Scott like eight urban mix. Did not hit with the SRM. <laughs> so, you know the good thing is that in my own chat, I never boasted about what we were going to do here. Oh, oh, the medium laser hits. Medium laser hits. Five damage. Right side six is right leg again. Right I leg. need you to quit that. Woo! 
All right, last last gun of the turn, chat. Here we go. Does it hit on a nine? It does not. And you got five points of damage from that little turd hitting on nine, so that's pretty good. Pew, pew, pew. All, All right. right. And that wraps up round four or something like that? Uh, heat on this guy, how much were you at? You were like plus... I, I marked it. I went to a four. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so you're plus four on him. I didn't mark anyone else, though. Uh, this guy, I think the Wolverine stayed... I think the Wolverine actually uh, shot with everything. Did he shoot with everything? So he went up to two because it was at plus one for this time because you did 16 total since you walked instead of 17, so he'd be at plus two. This guy, what did he wind up doing? Uh, he shot with everything. So he's hot. Yeah, he's he's good. he's running hot right now. Uh, everything is 4, 7, 10, 16, 24, 34, minus 25, plus 9, out of 12 right now. Okay, you're at 12 heat. Uh, uh, where are those heat sinks located? I bet he lost some. Oh, the heat sinks are located. Oh, they're yeah, all. This is also true. I, I have many heat sinks on my left torso. Yeah, all those are gone. So one, you... two, three, four, five, six tor uh, heat sinks are gone. Six heat sinks. So are gone. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna take six, six so more heat. Fifteen. One, two, three, or no, you were at five, plus twelve. Six, so now you're at eighteen. Eighteen. So a lot of things are happening right now. Okay, so here we go. That guy is broasting now. Hot dude, he's getting <laughs> hot in the cockpit right now, y'all. So <laughs> it is very canonical, by the way, that like many of the mech pilots are near naked in their cockpit. Oh yeah, oh, well, yeah I'd be because naked. they get so oh, yeah. hot. I'd be naked. Yeah, total there. like yeah. strapped underwear. And, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a and... lot of the art is them wearing their neuro helm and like a really light tank top and like underwear. Well, <laughs> if you read like the first like Decision at Thunder Rift and all those great Death Legion orig origin stories and stuff, so the one of the pilots has a real innate fear of being burned alive. Yeah. And so he hits her. He, he she has a hard time getting to like Grace and Death because how they meet is that he shoots her when she's in a locust with a pla with a, uh, a uh, what's it called a um, oh, what are the the Vietnamese drop buzz napalm he hits her with a napalm cannon and lights the whole mech on fire and she nearly burns alive and that's like her biggest fear ever yeah. so she has a hard time getting a relationship going with this guy because okay. that's how they met it's okay. he's like I want to hire you here is your worst fear <laughs> okay so you have an immediate shutdown avoidance on a six plus on two dice okay and that is because I don't I hit... think you roll these sequentially. I don't think he has to make the four up shutdown. I think he just makes the last one. Okay. So it's a shutdown on a six up. All right. Am I shutting down on a six up? I am good no, on you're a good. seven. Right. Woo! Yep. So you're I good. really I needed that chat. You're good. And and remember now that you're at nineteen <coughs> total, right? It is common for mech 18. warriors to die of heat stroke in the mech mid battle. No, but you know how instead of t dissipating twenty five every turn, you only dissipate nineteen because you lost six heat sinks. So, so scratch out the twenty five heat sinks and put nineteen. For next oh. turn, your math changes now every turn, right? Um, so you only have nine heat to give because you generate ten from your engine hits, and then you only have nineteen heat. Nice. Yeah, we pulled out nine of them, or six of them, knocked to a fan. Yeah. So. Um, and then just so you know, you have minus three movement points and plus three modifier to hit stuff. Yes. So you only take the worst case on the heat scale. You don't. They're not multiplicative. Okay. okay. Otherwise, you'd never hit or do anything. Right. 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 Yeah. All right. Cool. Very cool. Now you get to move again. All right. I need on to like turn seven. I need I to move to where you're going. I to am do. not getting off the table in twelve turns. This is this is right. turn five. It's turn five. Okay, this turn, is five. turn five. All right, I have seven turns to try to get off the table. All right. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> so it, baby. Here, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Possibly seems like a good move. Except for the fact that my butt is staring at all of your mechs at that point in time. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like. So I might I might wind up here facing change. Yeah, I kind of feel like this guy doesn't need to move. He's in a pretty good spot. He's also in the woods and down a level, so he gets some innate cover. So he's he's plus two to hit because one for the woods, one for the, the cover here, unless I'm right next to it. Actually, it's plus two if I'm back here because i got to shoot through two woods to hit him. If you stop here, can I still see you? Yep. If you stop I will here? just get cover from this. I'll get plus one to be hit from that. If you stop here, can I see you? Uh, Yeah, because I'm on level one and these are level two, so I'll just get plus one. So if you You'll see me waist up. If so, I move, uh, you can shoot me anywhere where I move. So, like in a game of Battletech, if you were to not move right now, would that be strategically wise for you? Because then, hell no, because everybody here will auto hit me pretty much. Okay. I got to keep moving. I think this guy can just stand there. Probably so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this guy. I don't know what to do with this guy. He made his turn. Man, he's done his job, right? If this I is know. one of those sacrificial lambs that you're like, you've gotten all the work. He's done a lot of damage. He's taken a lot of tank. He's done exactly what you need him to do. If he fell over dead right now, you still have got a lot out of that. Like maybe just do that. There's two. Yeah. 
Okay. And that Counts was a, as a walk zero. A walk, yeah. Yep. Um, and now everyone is going to just try to follow you as best as they can while mitigating how inaccurate they will become as much as possible. So with the Wolverine, I have jump a... Jump in front of me. I don't like jumping. Jumping adds Jumping a makes lot. targeting hard. It yeah. makes targeting very hard. Yeah. Um, but three. you're right. Jumping in front of you is totally a thing. I could go right here and right here and just make your day the worst. Then I can't really do anything. Right. Yeah. Well, then I wouldn't want to do that because then I can't shoot with my other dude. I kind of want you to move a little bit. Um... Yeah, jumping is rough. Yeah, you can literally box me in right now to the point to where I have to say that, okay, now we're doing melee damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I'm kicking everything. I'm super on board with this. Idea. I am jumping up and doing like like the double Bruce Lee kick. <laughs> the Daishi doing the leg splits midair. If I turn this way, 100 one. ton kicks for everyone. I feel like the Daishi is uh, the muscles from Brussels. Yeah, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All legs. Bomb damage. Yeah, exactly. I am Von Damage. So he's doing the splits between semi trucks. I feel like that's him. That has to be like one of the best promotional videos of all time. It's insane. The Volvo commercial. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Mike Genie's got it. I have altered the rules of engagement. Pray I do not alter them further. I'm, I'm feeling like that's my next move. <laughs> I'm feeling like that's my next move. But I'm staying at Scott's house, so he could easily just say, hey, I don't know where you're sleeping tonight, but thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of good hotels in the Twin Cities. Oh, yeah, baby. Just turn around. Give me them butt cheeks. Are you really going to walk behind me to shoot me? I need to keep moving forward, but it's tempting. Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't leave me the your rear like that. It, that it would be dishonorable to shoot into the rear anyway. Yeah. Hey, dude. Are you a dishonorable person? Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. I do not like clan, and I do not play clan. This is feeling very filthy to me already. <laughs> so, yes, I will back up and shoot him right between the butt cheeks. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's like already filthy, broken the rules by ganging up on you. Filthy Freeborn is going to show me them cheeks. That's right. Damn! This free hug thing's getting out of control, Scott. I need some help here. Yeah, and I can't move to half squares because you're technically out of the game if you can't be placed fully on the board. So. Right, I'm giving you one area to go, and that's fine. I know. You corralled me. This is the way you drive cattle, man. This is the way to do this. <laughs> This is no joke. This is the way to do it. All right. So with the with the Jenner, I believe all I had to do was walk to get because I have seven points of walking and I moved about four spaces or three spaces. Something like yeah, that. you were here. So one, two, three, walk three. Walk three. And this guy, that this guy, guy ran, ran, I believe, and he ran uh, uh, one, two, three. All three. Okay. Yeah, because you had to go up a level and make a bunch of turns. Yeah, yeah a lot of the light mechs are very fast. Very fast. Yeah, that they're guy. glass cannons, but they are really harassing mechs. You need to get them in behind people or do hit and runs. A lot of light mechs I'll run where I'll run in, alpha strike, and then spend a turn cooling off, running as far as I can go. And then run them back in and alpha strike, and then spend a turn cooling off. Kill okay, Panic so. says, hey, what are these cool dice? These dice tell you how far the mech moved and how much that's going to impact its uh, defensive yeah. capabilities and also its targeting. We actually haven't talked at all about... The shield plus one, what does that do? Well, the, yeah, because the shield is what I have to add to hit you. The targeting is what you have to add to hit me. Oh! Yeah. Okay. So you gain this much defense, and you also have that to add to your targeting rolls. Okay. Anytime okay. you see that targeting sign, it's like when I'm target when you're targeting it's me, you have to add shooting. that. That's okay. on you. And okay. the defense okay. is what you gain uh, from me having to hit you. Uh, Crying 2 Radiohead says, have I seen the reveals from the Song of Ice and Fire scrimmage game, uh, AS, uh, Song of Ice and Fire Tactics? Um, I, I've seen the GameFound page that came out a couple days ago. They did a stream today. Today, just, I did not. Just before you guys came back. I did not see anything from that. There's some interesting stuff in there, but we can talk about it when we're not playing Battletech. Sure, sure. Looking forward to it. All right, that's what I did. Is my Orion gonna get to shoot? I'm very excited until you just annihilate him give me that right side baby <laughs> salami tactical says cleaners talk about honor yet fire their lrms at point blank range shaking my head, shaking my head. <laughs> hey hey we have better technology i said we about the clan uh -oh. i am burning in hell now <laughs> i am an inner sphere guy 
I my my only real mech collection is forty seven mechs of which his four are part of, which is my Wayward Sons Mercenary Battalion, and uh, and Command Lance, and I'm all in Intersphere. I don't even use any clan or Omni mech chassis in mine. They are all. Uh, clan invasion or earlier, I only have one Star League era mech in there, which is my commander's, the leader, Carry On. <laughs> of course. Runs a, a trebuchet from the Star League era, which is a medium mech. It's not even that good. It's just fun. It's my one of my favorite mechs. Um, Are you staying there? Hmm? Are you going to stay there? I'm really thinking about it. You bastard. I'm really thinking about it. You bastard. I'm thinking that I got to kill things. Oh my God. I mean, that is the secondary win condition. If you kill all four of Scott's mechs, you still win. I just don't know if I can tank this, man. I'm sure you can. The The good thing is, is I take the guillotine out of the equation. Because he can't fire through his own people. Ugh. And I only have to put up with the Wolverine and, and the uh, Jenner. But they're going to hit me on uh, you... fives and sixes. So fours. Because I'm at level zero, and your Wolverine is at level one, and so the guillotine can't see me, right? Wait. Yeah. Um, oh. Well, I blocked myself. You blocked yourself. Oh. I, well, because you didn't expect me to still still. If I move one square, everybody puts guns on me. Oh, sure, like, sure. Like, everybody. All four mechs. Uh, yeah, I forgot I forgot that uh, mechs can block each other. Um, so I can't move far enough to really make it worse numbers for him. Uh, if I stand still, I auto-hit every single one of his mechs, pretty much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I auto-hit everybody. So uh, I can't target his guillotine. Well, is he on level two? He's at level two. So I can, I can fire at the Wolverine and the Jenner, at least. And auto hit with everything. So I'm sitting still and just torso twisting. What? Okay. All right, let's do it. I'm coming at me, bro. So okay. we'll see how it works. I keep, okay. it, it keeps the guillotine and the, and the Orion from being able to shoot at me, which I think is key right now. Uh, yeah. I, if I have to tank all four of your mechs, I'm in a real bad spot. Sure, sure. Um, if I have to only tank two, I might survive, and I might get a chance to kill one or two mechs here. So What was what was the bonus on that Jenner currently from his movement? Uh, he only has plus one to be hit and plus one to hit. He didn't move very much. He walked. So this is my game. Yeah. Because I can, I can hopefully take the Jenner out of the equation. The Wolverine is actually pretty hurt. Right? He's taking a lot of armor hits. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not too bad. But that CT open right now, and the CT at front like I am is on seven. So you hit the CT more times than not. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think this is my chance, Chet. This is the risk we take. So, okay, so what are we doing here? I am going to go hot. I'm, I'm going to run hot. He's uh, going hot. I haven't done, I haven't spent anything, so I got 44 heat to give. So if I fire all four ER larges, that's 48. I'm plus four. Um, well, I can then I can then go. Well, no, I can't do that. Jesus Christ, that I'd be toasty, toasty, toasty. Because I'm 48 plus 16. Toasty like me right now, dude. 64. I'd be plus 20. No, thank you. <laughs> no, Going hot has 22 you. double heat sinks. Um, no, thank you. Um, all right. I like last time. We'll do all four. What's the Jenner looking like? The Jenner's fresh, right? Nothing happened to the Jenner, right? Yep. Uh, should I divide it or should I just go for broke and kill something? Oh my <sighs> God, this is so bad. Is it so bad? Because uh, half of my stuff can't shoot at you. Yeah, but Seems I need, like to, I need great, to take actually. a mech off the field right now so that you don't have as many log jamming tactics and things like that. So yeah, do I? here's it. the chance. Do I commit to the Jenner? Because I will kill the Jenner if I auto hit with everything I have. You, got you just don't even have enough armor to take the damage I put out. So chances are the Jenner dies. Sure. Yeah. Now, I could also crit the Jenner's engine and it could blow up and hurt all of me and you too because it does a lot of damage to the Hex right next to it. Right? Okay, okay. Well, it doesn't because he's a really small Hex. So that's not actually not a bad deal. His power plant's super small. Um, power point. Power plant. Power plant. Because it's tonnage. It's all based on your tonnage when your engine blows up. Okay. Yeah, your and needs a light mech. So if you're going to have something go nuclear, light mechs are the ones that do. They don't do as much damage. Is there a tonnage somewhere on this sheet? Uh, yeah. If you look in your mech data, it says tonnage. He's like uh, 30. Uh, 35. I think that it's 35, yeah. Yeah. Whereas my guy's 100. If you hit mine. We had a fun game. I did this. I was teaching people how to play. And on the last turn of the game, last shot of the game, a person ran a Wolverine right next to me, shot me. Uh, CT crit me, blew my engine up, 
and then died in the impending explosion when I went <laughs> nuclear. So and, and that was the last mech. So everybody died. It was a great <laughs> game. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, those are the cinematic moments. So I don't know. Um, I feel like let's do. Hmm, that's uh, twenty-eight and thirty-eight points a day. What's the armor factor on the Jenner? Armor factor. What, what does that question mean? At the very top right here above armor diagram. 64. 64. What's I that can, number used for? That's how many total pips of armor you have oh, on your Oh, okay, cool. Um, and I can do 38 damage to that. <coughs> okay, so if you hit multiple areas at once, I mean, like, I got four pips of armor on my arms, right? So if you hit a single arm two times, you are going to... And it blows a bunch of your medium lasers and stuff like that off. Yep. So I really only have to wound him to have him not be as crucial. Um, I'm going to do all four medium pulse lasers at the Wolverine. Okay. Um, I'm going to do <coughs> the two ER larges. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense, though. Good God, this is a really tough math decision because I don't need to be doing 10 damage. To, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do both ER large lasers at the, the uh, Jenner. Um, and then both of the Ultra AC5s at the Jenner. <coughs> That's 24, and 16 is 40, 42, and then I will do, uh, I mean, I can fire the LRM-10, so I'll fire the LRM-10 at the, at the Wolverine. Okay. So you're and splitting I'll, I'll damage up, between... I'll go up two heat. Um, between two mechs. What's that? You're I'm splitting, splitting up, yeah. Okay. And, the, um, and the Wolverine, you'll have to roll, what, a three to hit because of the minus two for second target? Uh, I will do the Wolverine as a secondary target because he's got all the pulse lasers going on him. So the pulse lasers are plus two. He's at minus two, so it'll even that out. Yeah. Except for the LRM-10 going at him, right? Because I'm doing the two ER larges and the two AC-5s at the Jenner. Yep. The four medium pulses in the LRM-10 into the Wolverine. Okay? Okay. Uh, Wolverine is a secondary target, so if I can see the dice. Absolutely. Uh, do I have to allocate what I'm shooting with? Yeah. Okay, so the guillotine, and sadly the Orion, cannot shoot again. Um, so we'll just not look at those for the moment. Just look at these two. Um, I feel like the Jenner, I mean, you're talking like you're going to kill it. Um, I'm going to hurt it. Yeah. Assuming that I don't miss, not, but I'm at, I'm at insta hit. Oh, yeah, so. you're, you're not going to. Yeah, he'll, he'll, miss, he'll, hit, he'll hit with mostly everything. I well, need twos. Everything, right? I yeah. need twos, so I'm instantly hitting you. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm doing 20... Uh, I'm doing 30 points of damage to him. I just have to figure out where all that damage goes. Okay. I'm doing it in, in two bursts of 10 and two bursts of five. Mm-hmm. Um, which, yeah, a hit of 10 just immediately cracks. Something goes, yeah. except for your CT, I think, can take... No, it can't even... Oh, yeah, your CT can take 10 exactly. It's got 10 exactly, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know, part of me wants to uh, shoot everything on the Jenner. Um, Might be a good time. Yeah. No guts, no galaxy, Scott. Exactly. Uh, sure. No guts, no galaxy. I'll shoot with everything on the Jenner, which is quite a bit of heat. Um, Jen's six, locking the doors. Pretend 12, you've been in that chat the whole time. 19. So I'll gain 9. I'll go to 13. 13 means that I'm not going to shut down. Yet. The Monument team is rooting for me, by the way. I mean, that makes sense, you know? <laughs> why, why wouldn't they? Um, I don't even do payroll, so technically that means they like me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jen does the payroll, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll shoot everything with the, the Jenner. And then with this guy, hmm, you are also shooting him as well. Um, I'm right next to you, so everything's going to be firing. I'm at a plus two right now, so I'm hitting on sixes because you didn't move at all. Mm -hmm. um, heat. No need to worry about heat if you get blown up. Exactly. Just alpha strike at this point. Okay. I'll shoot everything. For I mean, you up. ran. He can run and shoot everything at heat neutral. You're up three anyway or whatever. I right? am. So you'll just stay at, at plus three heat. So it doesn't affect you really. I'll shoot everything. Yeah. Smart bet. That's one of my favorite mechs because of that. He can run and fire everything and stay heat neutral. Nice. All reliable. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's a 7K, correct? 
I don't Wolverine know. Wolverine 7K up at the very top. It yeah, says, uh, yeah, type. yeah. Dash 7K. Dash 7K. It's so the, like the, the, one the of the most venerable Wolverines. A lot of people will yell at you for bringing it because it's almost too good. So the um, the different types of mechs give you different uh, equipment options, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, within like the Wolverine chassis, there's like six different variations that okay. all have different loadouts of weapons. They're very similar. You might have one mech that has an all long-range missile loadout and another one that changes those for short-range missiles and pulse lasers or something. Are there like giant swords and stuff that you can There like? are hatchets and melee weapons, yeah. There's okay. like a hatchet man and an axe man that one of their arms is just a big bludgeoning weapon that <laughs> does tremendous <laughs> amounts of That's damage. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, it does tremendous amounts of damage. Yeah, May Once you add in melee and stuff, you get really, really brutal because you can imagine like hundred ton mechs. All of your all of your melee damage is based on your tonnage. So the bigger the mech, right, right, yeah. it just decimates small stuff. Okay. Yeah, so. But it's almost not fun. Like right now, I could like kick your Jenner and literally just wipe it off the planet. Kind of thing. <laughs> so that's why we're not doing it. But um, yeah, the uh, Jenner wants to live at like range two, three. Please yeah. don't come over here and destroy me, Daddy. That's, okay, yeah. so the first ER large laser hits the Jenner in uh, the left arm. <laughs> This is bad. Uh, and, and so, how much is that? Ten? Ten. Left arm takes the first four. Then into structure for like... The entire thing? Okay. Yeah, so it's just blown off. Is there any ammo in the left arm? Look at your left arm crit slots. Left arm has an upper arm actuator, two lasers, and a shoulder. Okay, so nothing. All right. See you, lasers. All right. Uh, the next ten, center torso. That's everything. Yep. Okay, the first five is uh, right arm. Took one, so crit roll, roll right? For crit, nope. Oof, I'm getting lucky, Chad. And the next five rolls. is center torso. All right, so that is another crit opportunity for you. That's internal structure damage. Oh, Thank come God on, Jason man. Jason can't roll whatever this roll is. Come I'm, on, man. I, am I have, had, I have had a dozen crit chances, and the only one I got was that I first one. Which am, the first one was really brutal, but. I am loving it. The crit gods don't like me much anymore. I'm loving it. All right. Um, all right. Uh, okay. The Jenner survives, loses an arm. Yeah, exactly. Loses an arm, yeah. Okay, so I'm at a base two to hit the Wolverine, uh, four because of the uh, additional target. Um, and then the pulse lasers reduce me back down to two, so they auto hit. So the first seven damage goes to the five, which is the right leg for seven. Thank God. Um, one, three, four, six, seven. Uh, the next is to the eight, which is the left torso. Not, oh, no, yeah, he's too. Uh, that's eight, you said? Seven. Seven? Yeah, these are all seven. All right, one, three, six, seven. All right. The next one is to the senior center torso for seven. Bad, bad. That's what I needed. That's bad. That's why I decided to shoot the pulse lasers at him yeah. because it gives me more locations to roll. Okay. So with this, I get four locations with seven damage. I need to find that hit because to the CT. Why? why? Why is that the case? He's hunting I guess I had four CT. over here too, but yeah. I, I did this and the, mis the missiles at him to give me five location rolls. Okay. And the missiles in specific, because if I hit with the LRM-10 and I hit with all 10 missiles, that's two more rolls because they go in clusters of five. Okay. So. All right, does this guy blow up? Can Jason roll an eight? I'm or not asking for chat's help this time. Monument Hobbies is raiding with a party of 29. 29? So, oh, no, like, that, that, was, that was ordained. So dude. Monument Hobbies guys coming in gave me the box cars on the crit. So that's three God. crit rolls oh, on this no. SOB. What happens? Okay, so the first crit is top col or top part of the column, number three in the center torso. Center torso, top part. So number three. The, um, an XL engine. Yep. So let's cr cross, cross that it off. out. What does, right. that, what does that do now that I've lost it? Uh, it's an engine hit. So it's plus five heat on plus. subsequent turns. Yep. So I, I put an engine hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next one is top column, number six. A gyro. Yep. So a gyro hit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, and third one is bottom column, number one. Another gyro. So I'm, I'm, I've maxed out my gyro hits now. What does that mean? I think both gyro hits is dead, right? <laughs> Chat. Chat sound off. Chat. Gyro mm. again, he gonna fall down. Mm. Thank you for the raid, Monument Hobby. Hello, Monument Crew. Um, how many viewers we got watching Baltic right now, Evan? 
a lot. Quite a few. Do we? Which is awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We've been uh, over 200 the whole stream. Oh, my God. That is the most viewers we've ever had for a gaming stream. I'm telling you, man. Battletech. Battletech, watching it is fun, and people want to know more because a lot of people are always on the fence about this game, but they hear it so crunchy. But to see I mean, it, it's, it's very it's, narrative, it's, it's super crunchy. fun. Yeah, no, and like I said, by not having certain rules that we're paying attention to doesn't true. make the game not fun. That's true. It keeps it fun, and then you can add in those other advanced rules as you want to go play more advanced scenarios. Yeah. We have scenarios we play on 4x4 four four <laughs> tables with lots and tons of buildings where you got to blow up buildings and stuff. It's great. Velcro Snake says, Battletech brings the boys to the yard. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, right. Digging it. All right, where is the dam in this book? This book is so hard to use when you want to have like the. Chad, I think I'm alive and I'm lost fine. Return. Okay, that's that's my interpretation. Oh, of I the think rules. you're falling down for sure. Yeah, I think I'm two totally gyro good. hits is an instant fall. Um, I need gyro to drive. In gyro, or <laughs> gyro crit one twenty six. <laughs> Oh, I'm praying to the rules god right now that uh, I can. You're not gonna like this. I can still fully Anytime you hit all the boxes on anything in this game, it's not good. Bad. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't need to know what you it honestly, is. You honestly deserve Papa it. Papa Chicken says two high gyro hits is dead. The I'm, mech can no longer move ever. Yeah, I believe that's the the case, right? When a mech's gyro is destroyed, the mech automatically falls and cannot stand up again. Uh, the controlling player makes an immediate piloting skill roll with a plus six modifier for the destroyed gyro, uh, plus any modifiers for other damage to avoid damaging the mech warrior during the automatic fall. Um, you can make weapon attacks per when firing when down. So if you have an active arm, you can prop up and fire the other arm, but that's it. Um, and can oh, but you can change facing by one hex side per turn, provided they have at least one movement point available. You're basically uh, like crawling around like your spine got broken or something. That's funny. It says it's it's not considered immobile though, so yeah. he instantly falls. Oh. Um, so we need to do the wonderful falling direction stuff. Now, here we need to... Uh, facing after fall. So it's merely a flesh wound. It's we'll do your piloting wound. check, too. because so, so, uh, Piloting check we'll, at a We'll plus do the six. fall. So roll 1d6 for your location <laughs> after fall. Uh, six is one hex side left. So he turns one hex side to the left and is now fallen. Right? Boom. Okay. Um, and then you make a piloting check at plus six. He didn't get hit in the head yet, did he? No. All right. So um, your your first piloting skill is always for this hit because you take a hit from falling down. So you do one. You mark off the first box. You need a nine or better on this one. So I'm marking off this one box. Yeah. Okay. So we're at a we're at a. Th so this is a consciousness check. Yeah. So I'm at a, so I'm at a three plus six for a nine. We're bad. Yep, so he's knocked out. So the pot is in there, he's unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was good for me. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, do I get to shoot still with it or no? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. The only thing is when a pilot dies, the only thing that we do is that if I were to have killed you right then, then that mech does not get to shoot. Okay. That's considered to be headshot, bull in the cockpit, you're done. Okay. Right. You do still have more shots to resolve into that mech, though. I do, yes. Which is oh. still counts as you standing up and same facing and all that stuff. Thanks so. for reminding us, Evan. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Fucking dick. Let me see I'm always here to help the guests, Scott. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, which gun was that? That was the... Uh... That was that was one of the MPLs. Right. No, no, no. MPL... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the MPLs. But we had done one, two... That was the third. This is the fourth. Yes. Right. So the fourth right. one is to number 10. Just add more shaved meat to the gyro. It'll be fine. <laughs> nice. Uh, 10 is left arm for seven. Left arm for seven. We like that. He's like, I haven't even been hit in the arms. I like that. <laughs> he literally has taken no damage to his arms. <laughs> Time for the kick to the head. And he's down yes. for the count. All right, uh, and then the LRM, and the LRM also auto hits, and we just need to roll for missiles. Uh, oh, that's not good. That's three. Yeah, that's not good. Four out of ten is four. Well, it's not good for me? Huh? That's not good for me? That's no, it's not good for me. Oh, okay. Four out of ten is really bad. Oh, you had ten so only get one opportunities? Cluster. I don't oh. think you... Uh, it's uh, a Jason. cluster of ten. It's a rack of ten missiles. Mm -hmm. Only only four of them hit. I don't yeah. think the, the these were auto hitting. Right, you were only hitting with the medium pulses because of the bonus two, because this is your second target, right? Oh. Um, second target is two, three, four. So I needed a four. So You I'll, rolled a five. So we'll ro Did I roll a five? No, yeah. we'll, we'll just roll from again. All right. Right. So I hit. All right. And then I hit four missiles. We'll count that. Is that fair? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So the four missiles are four damage to the four, which is right arm. So there you go. Just insult to injury. 
knock you out of the game, and then Two also hours. hit your arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I was like... yeah. That was when he was falling over. Everything just barely grazed a bunch of arms as he's flailing as yeah, he's falling. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, that's my damage done. All right. Well, I'm going to try to swing back as hard as I can um, with my stuff that is hurting. Um, all right, can those dice, please? Oh, yep, sorry. No problem. So I moved with the Wolverine to the point where I'm adding plus two to my accuracy. I have a marksman of... Uh, a gunnery skill of four, hitting on sixes. Medium pulse laser is the first open on the list, so that's a hitting on a four because my plus two for the medium pulse laser. Mm -hmm. So we need a four. Hits. We got it on a nine. Where is it hitting? It's hitting in the six. The six is the right torso. How much? Uh, Five. Six. Six. Six damage. Uh, right torso for six. All right, my SRM six. Uh, this will be hitting on a six, not a four. It hits. hits. And how many missiles am I generating? A five. Uh, five out of a six pack is three. So the first two damage. Go to the... Oh my god. Oh, this is good. This yeah, is good. That's, a, that's a C2 with a crit chance. Yes. Look at you getting me back. All right, so roll for the crit. Okay. Roll both dice. Pray for something above an eight. Okay. My oh. prayer worked better, so... <laughs> My God loves me more. <laughs> well, um, you had yeah. you had a lot of opportunities that you didn't get, so I appreciate that. That would have been retribution, though, I if know. you CT crit <laughs> me and like roll box cars and then like blow my engine up and kill me. That would have been beautiful. Yeah. Um, so that was two. So uh, the next two. The next two. Here we go. Uh, next two is at eight. Eight is left torso. So for another two. Okay. So that one's done. Uh, there was three missiles, right? I think I rolled two so far. No, you rolled the the first one went to. Uh, oh no. No, I think I got a CT crit from my first one, and then I just rolled... Oh, is that your first one? Okay, cool. I yeah, could yeah, be yeah. wrong, Chad. Am I wrong about that? Um, no, I think you're right. Okay. It looks like that. It, the way I've marked off damage looks like you're right, so it might have only been two. So um, roll another pack of another missile. Game delay. We have scores on the UI for all games, but this game doesn't operate that way, so it just, it just looks like we're not doing anything, but um, that's just not how the game gets scored. We could give me a one for taking him down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, uh, sure. Six is right torso again, so two. All right, the next SRM six. There's no victory points in this game that you, that you earn per turn, at least in this scenario. Right? Not in this scenario, no. Okay, mm -hmm. but there is in some other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here comes the second set of SRM six. I need a six to hit. Got me. I hit judiciously. Number of missiles. Hit, uh, well, seven missiles. Seven missiles should be four. Yep, that's four. All right, where is the first of four hitting? The 11. Two damage to the left arm. Second missile, 10. Left uh, arm again. Left arm again. All right. Third missile. As a five is the right leg for two. The right leg. Is Stop with the right leg, all right? I'm bringing it down. I'm sorry I ever asked for the right leg damage. Left leg. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right. The large pulse laser. You went away and he, he uh, threw armor critted me with a with a one missile. He didn't roll the crit, so I got lucky. But that was my CT with like five damage to my CT, so it would have been perfect retribution for turn one. I look forward to penalty kicks. Nice. All right, here we go. This is the medium laser. It hits. Thank God. All right, on a six, we're hitting, and we're hitting where? The four. Uh, the four is right arm. Uh, ten damage. This is a large laser. Yes. Okay. Now the small pulse laser. I'm like point blank, so everything's short range, so it's still sixes. Uh, small laser misses. I like it! Okay. And now the Jenner, also fine with everything. Screw that guy. Am I still tracking heat, or is this kind of pointless at this point? It, it, no, it's not pointless, because it's going it's to change my... my, my yeah, you skin. still need to track heat, because it, you can still fire, technically, with your, your Wolverine. Okay. You can, because his large pulse is on one of his arms, so you can literally, like, the way it works when you're prone is if you have both arms are actuated, you can hold yourself up on one and fire the weapons on your other arm. Okay. Well, I mean, that would be true if his pilot wasn't unconscious right now. Oh, that's right. His pilot has to roll a consciousness. <coughs> right, so right now, he's not going to do anything next turn because you have to spend the turn. Well, you spend movement points to roll for consciousness. Or do you, no, you spend movement points to stand back up. So he's, he's out of action for next turn because he has to spend the turn. Rolling for consciousness, Rated. I believe. We'll check with chat and see if anybody can do a rules check for us on that. I don't believe the turn that you have to roll to come conscious, you can't activate. Okay. Um, I'm at plus one with the Jenner. Uh, I think I'm hitting on fives, though. Fives. All right, fives for the SRM4. Uh, we Hits. do hit. Number of missiles is going to be a four. Four out of four is two. Two. Here we so go. The first two damage. An is eight? to the eight, which is, uh, he's in the right, so that's an eight on the right, which is center torso for two. All right, and the next missile. Head. 
you rat bastard for two. All right. It's the Good. missile right to the face. Yeah, so I've taken a head hit now. All right, medium laser. Uh, we have four of these, uh, each for five damage. It does hit on an eight, and it's going to the six. Uh, six on the right is right leg. I need you to not do that anymore, please. I'm just pinging that leg. You really are. Here's the second one. It hits on a five. Yep. It's going to the seven. Is the right torso for five. Here is the third laser out of four. It hits on an eight, and it's going to the seven. Right torso again for fun. And the last laser um, hits. hits on a seven. I'm rolling well. Ten. Ten, which is left arm for five. All right. I'm trying to shoot the big thing, but it's taking a lot of damage. That leg is not liking it. Uh, it has seven armor left on my left leg. Okay, so all right, we're getting I have close. a lot of structure, but that you're gonna be rolling crits on left leg, which would really suck. So we're getting let's close. Not, let's not do that, <laughs> right? All right, so uh, now I need a piloting check, so if I can see those. Oh, yeah, because you're done, right? I'm you done, have no more yep. guns. Yeah, so I need a piloting check. Oh, thank God, I needed a three. Right. <laughs> okay. Ooh, boy. And you're All making right. a pie check because of the number of damage I'm done? done? Oh, because of the crit. You hit me on the head. Oh, any hit to the head. Hit okay, the head. okay. The crit not, but because you hit me in the head. Okay. Yeah. All right, so in terms of number of heat that I've generated here, um, I have used everything on this guy. Um, Four medium lasers and... Which he stays at, at plus one unless you lost heat sinks, which I don't think you did. I don't think I did, yeah. No, so you're just at plus one because he can do all of that. Uh, at, at plus one. Well, no. As a matter of fact, if is that the Wolverine? Yep. He goes. He stays at whatever heat level he was at, you, because you ran and fired everything. He uses up all your heat sinks. So if you were at plus three, you just stay at plus three. All right. Then the Jenner, uh, I think, is going to generate some heat here. Yeah. I walked, which is one heat. One right? heat. And then I used all my guns, and I got a three, and then a 12, 12 15, 15, 16, 16 on so 10 to generate. plus six. Yeah, plus six. Which puts you where? Yeah, 10. 10 is modifier to shoot. So no shutdown rolls yet. Okay, yeah. But definitely definitely a little bit hot right now. Yeah, minus two to movement and plus one to hit stuff. Okay. The red lights are blinking in the cockpit now. Yes. Yeah. You're Beep, starting to sweat. <laughs> starting to sweat. Chuck but, the butt's puckered a little bit because you lost a little bit of stuff. <laughs> what did I blow off on him? I blew off some medium lasers. You blew Stopped off in one arm. Yeah, I blew off two medium lasers. And and I had a chance to crit that CT, that juicy Jenner CT, and that didn't work too well. So. Yeah, yeah. Chuck right. Mead Man says, man, I'll play some Battletech like right now. It's, Go do it. Go do it. It's going very well, but not so much. All right. What you going to do? I'm very disappointed that you did not move. And I can't make but that. But that was fun. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that was really fun. <laughs> I can't, I can't take that risk again. Literally, that, that was such a misplay on my part, and it was so painful to have that happen. My uh, gamer brain inside was uh, mentally abusing me. <laughs> uh, so on the off chance that you decide to stand there again and not move, I got to do just that. I one, have two, to three. do that. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, so I only move one walk space. One. Just walk one. Yep. Um, that has to happen. Okay, and then the other guy, can he see now that there is a... Uh, the yeah, there's nothing in between because he's technically now at level one for the, the fallen mech and you're a level above him so you can see me. What's the deal with moving through hexes with mechs? Can't. Well, I think I'm stuck. That you can jump. You can jump. Jumping sucks. You can jump over mechs. Jumping sucks. I hate jumping. Well, how far? Can I do a short jump? One, two, it's a minimum of three heat. And it still does the same plus three to hit, regardless of how far you go. Okay, okay, so... Not the best thing. So you're, if you just... Depends on what you're trying to do. Ass, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. You have five movement mm -hmm. points. Yep. That means I'll be one, two, three, four, five away from you, which puts me in... Oh, wrong, wrong mech. Five away puts me in medium range for everything. If I don't move, I won't have any add to that, but medium range is plus two. Uh, medium range is plus two. So I'm hitting on sixes, and then if you you would run three or four spaces, and that's plus one. I think I'm not going to move with the Jenner. So I'm hitting on sevens. If you move your max run, right? Because you're going to move one, two, three, four, five, four spaces, which is plus one to your defense. And I'll be at medium range, which is another plus one. I'll be hitting on sixes. Medium range is plus two, plus one. Plus two? Plus two. I'll be, I'll be hitting on sevens. And if I jump, I'm, at, I'm already at a plus three. Yeah. Plus your plus one, which I had a plus four. I think I have to stand still for now. 
Yeah, you'd be at eights or nines. Yeah. On range. I think I'm going to stand still. I don't know if that's smart, but okay. I think I'll, I'll try to do that. Um, Pop a chicken then, that wasn't the Jenner, that was the... Uh... This guy last turn dissipated a lot of heat. He was pretty high on heat. And he didn't move at all. Yeah, he didn't shoot at all. So he's going to dissipate actually probably everything. I think he everything because he was up fairly high, right? He was actually 18. And yeah, I have, so he dissipated and I have 19. Everything. I have 19 heat sinks. So he I... dissipated everything because he didn't move or anything. Yeah. He just sat around and did nothing. Yep. So you're back down to zero, which is good. So that was actually good for you that turn. I mean, it, it sucks was... to not put guns on, but. Sure. It makes sense. I was so high. Yeah, I was yeah. so high in heat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, you have nine to give because you're generating 10 a turn. So it's still not great, but. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Eh, whatever. He did lose some guns in that process. So, you know. Yeah, we lost. I killed a lot of guns. I'm actually gonna cross the guns out that I lost, just to make it easier for myself. The problem is that the Orion is a brute. The Orion. What does the Orion have? He's got an LBX. He's got an LBX and MRM, uh, MR, MRM twenty, a C three slave, whatever that is. That's nothing that we use here. That's a that's part of like a command and control. Okay. Yeah, he's got an LB ten X AC, MRM thirty, medium lasers, MRM twenty. Yeah. Yes, and then MRM doesn't have any minimum range, so. You can fire those missiles face to face. That's another nice thing about them. They're like SRMs, well, there but they're, they're packaged like LRMs. And there's no, yeah, LRMs for Intersphere have a minimum range. You don't have any mechs with LRMs, but if you did, your LRMs, anything inside a particular range, starts adding modifiers to hit when they oh. get too close to you. Okay, but I don't That's have the nice any, thing about MRMs. MRMs package like LRMs, they give you big clusters of missiles to fire. They aren't indirect, so you can't shoot them over line of sight. But you can shoot them face to face. Okay, so it's kind of an in between. Go Clan ahead. LRMs fire directly; they auto arm and fire right in your face, which is why I was able to do it like right here. Okay. So some clan weapons are totally like clan medium lasers do more damage than inner sphere medium lasers things, and like have that. way more range. Yeah, and have a lot of more range and things like that. So. Oh yeah, the clan stuff is numerically much better. <laughs> oh yeah. Bye. Well, Logic Boy says, Scott, I already watch all your stuff, but if you started up Battletech content, I would absolutely, I don't know. Watch harder or something. I would watch harder. <laughs> watch, watch every v video twice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Watch harder. Uh, oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting thrashed right now, Papa Chicken. That's Papa okay. Chicken says you can move through but not stop in the same space as a friendly mech. I, is that correct? Because I thought you could only move through uh, hexes with vehicles or infantry. I do not believe you can pass through mechs. We would need a rules check on that. Vehicles and infantry, you can. You can't stop. Well, oh no, you can share the same hex of vehicles or infantry, so maybe that's the problem. <laughs> yes. I'm either over 40 or playing Battletech. <laughs> uh, only 32, so definitely playing Battletech. All right. Mech can move through a hex containing another mech. Just as can't stop. As, as long as it's friendly, it can't yeah, stop. Yeah, you can occupy a, a, a space with infantry and vehicles, I think. So one vehicle, up to one vehicle or something Let's like do that. some math here then. This is level one. Where the Wolverine is. This is level two. Uh, that's level two. So it'd be a turn, one, two, three, four. Yeah. I could do that on a walk, I think. I can, but I would be kind of facing the wrong way. Yeah, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, and you'd be facing away. And then torso twist? Or well, that doesn't help because that still gives him the rear arc if I were to stay where I'm at. Yeah. So then I could turn for five, which means that I would be uh, running. <laughs> running? No, I have, a I have a walk of seven. So why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three, two, three four, four five, five, six, seven. Six, seven. seven? Okay. And then that, that was a walk, mm -hmm. and I moved one, do three spaces. There's only a plus one to hit. Yeah, that, that feels okay. I'm, I, I want to move to where you're going to be, right? Yep. Or uh, where I think you're going to be. Am I blocking myself? Did I block myself? No, he's up a level from you. Okay. So right now you can still see. Okay. Because you're at level zero. No, you're at level one. This is level two, and I'm at level zero. So you're able to see through all of that. I can? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can draw from this edge of that to there. You that's don't, how, that's you don't how that works. That. You're yeah. dying from a corner. Yeah, I have cover. I'm plus one to hit because I'm down a level from you. Okay. So I'm like only a viewable from the waist up kind of a thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What's Mr. Guillotine doing? Uh, I think Guillotine can just sit there and do nothing. Okay. Just stand still. Jason, I hate you. I want you to know that I hate you with every fiber of my fucking being. There we go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I gotta slice the pie right, baby. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this fucking mountain. I hate everything. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. I want to shoot this Orion so badly. I hate you. This game sucks. Yeah. This game sucks. This game sucks. Oh my god. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So I, I, I ran, I ran right a whopping two hexes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so, I mean, I'm auto-hitting everything on the Wolverine, even if I do him as secondary target. So I will select the Wolverine as secondary target, the Guillotine as primary target. I will do the, um, the two... Um, ER large lasers and the two AC5s into the guillotine and the four medium pulse lasers uh, into the uh, the Wolverine, right? Because I ran, so I can't I can't do the LRM10 without going up some heat. So we'll just do that. So I got four medium pulse lasers into the Wolverine as a secondary target and the guillotine as primary target with two ER large lasers and two AC5s. Do it up. So I need to mark off two more shots of AC5. Let's go to town. So you didn't move. I'm at plus two. Uh, so I need threes. Okay. First one hits. Left arc, right? Uh, yes, I am in your left arc with a five, which is a left arm for ten. Left arm on the guillotine. The guillotine correct? for ten. Yeah. Um, I don't think the guillotine has a left arm anymore. No. Yeah. And north torso. So that's center torso for ten. Center torso for 10, 5, 8, 10. Okay. Uh, next ER large hits uh, to the 9, which is the left leg. Oh, no, wait a minute. On, on left side is right torso for 10. Right torso for 10. Uh, 3, 6, 8, 10. Boy, that guy's taking, he's tanking so much. He's a tank. Uh, AC5 hits. Five damage to the 10 on the left is the right arm. Uh, right arm is fully taken up, so that's 10. Uh, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, you're on for a crit. crit roll there. I get one crit. Ouch. So the crit is, uh, I don't think arms have, oh yeah, they do. So right uh, arm, right arm uh, bottom section, number five. Number five is a medium laser. Yay! So what did I, I lost the left arm, no. The guillotine didn't lose an arm? Yeah, I lost his left arm, it's gone. If left you arm, lose left the torso left torso, you also oh, lose the left Oh, the, oh, You okay. can just put a big X through that stuff and everything that's there is so gone. So the, the large laser is gone. And then I just lost a medium laser. A medium laser, yeah, so one um, medium laser. So Nothing in the torso on that side, I don't think, right? I'll cross it out, but if I, Oh yeah, there's something in the torso there too. I think another medium laser is in the torso, right? Torsos. Oh right, the torso. I took torso. Left torso. Yeah, there's another medium laser in there. So you've lost two medium lasers. Left torso. Yeah, the left torso one. And I will lose a medium laser next round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless I die right now then. Yeah. Okay. And then the next AC5 hits. That's five damage to the left side 11, which is the right leg. Right leg, how much damage? A uh, five. Five. So that was very uneventful. Shame on me. Five. Benjo, thank you for the prime stuff. Appreciate it. All right. And then we got four medium pulse lasers. Uh, and he's auto hit because he's prone, which is plus four. You're shooting the guy that's down right now? Oh, hell yeah. He's still got a gun, man. Wow. I need to kill stuff. Where's the honor in this? I, none. Whatsoever. Uh, none whatsoever. We gave up on honor a long time ago. Uh, the uh, I think he's I think he's at minus four because he's prone. He's not immobile, so it might be minus two. Anybody get is him? he not immobile with an unconscious? It pilot? says gyro does not count as being immobile. He can turn a face, a single hex face, each time. Right. But so he's prone, which is minus two. Okay. I w well, that's my, my question is is that his pilot's unconscious. So it doesn't that Oh, yeah, him. now he's immobile, so he's minus four. Yeah, yep. if All he right. wakes up, he's not immobile anymore. You got it. So he's minus four. Um, minus four to what? Huh? Minus four to what? For me hitting him. Oh, okay. And so I'm at three, plus two for secondary target is a five, minus four is auto hit. So the first seven damage to him, uh, I'm on front arc. It's a center torso for seven. I'm fully capped out of my this is Wolverine. Center, center torso for how, how much? Seven. So I got one pip left in my center what? torso. What? Yeah. Uh, 
Next seven. Oh, no, no, no. You get a crit. That went to my internal structure. Well, you don't want to do that because I just rolled box cars. Well, you didn't. That dice definitely cocked. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That I mean, that was almost, right? So that's two. <laughs> two crits. Um, All right, center. First one is upper top, top portion. Top portion. Uh, number three. Uh, number three is already gone. Okay. So what so does that do? Still number three. What? What is it? It's an XL engine. And so, I mean, number two. Another XL engine. That's three hits, right? Um, I think the engine's only taken the, two. The engine has three things crossed off. Oh, that, no, it has mind. four things crossed off if you count the lower half as well. Well, no, how many engine hits did you already have in that little box below? Two, right? Oh, uh, one, one, one. Okay, so then I have two. Okay, okay, okay two now. All right, and then the second one is to, again, the top section, six. Six is already crossed off. It's a gyro. Jesus. Uh, uh, I hate this part. Five? It's, another gy it's a gyro. Can I hit a five? It's already blown up. Well, no, so there, that one's not blown up. The five is not blown up, but I've already taken, apparently, my max number of gyro hits on the... Wait, no. Yeah, your gyro's blown up, so... So, but there are more gyros to cross off, so what I... Not yeah, just... so I hit it, so it just takes it to that spot. I don't know that we take any more damage, because it's already blown up, so... Yeah. It's a wasted crit. Okay. Unless somebody in chat tells me there's different rules for that. I've always had a problem with defining when you get overrun crits. Are those dead spaces acting as internal armor? That's generally how we treat it. More things to blow up and die. Yeah. So you just get to soak up the, the crit. You're just hitting already yeah, that's so Yeah, it just soaks up the crit. One we treat pip, it as internal armor, like extra shit. One pip short of detonating my core. <laughs> All right. The next one. Uh, that's a headshot okay. for seven. For seven, uh, I haven't been hit in the head yet. Damn it! Uh, but something ha I do cross off the next hit taken or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Had you already taken a hit on him? I've oh, from falling down. Falling yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to make another piloting skill. Well, you can't. You're unconscious. So. Okay. Um. And then the last one. Uh, to the front side nine. Uh, which is left leg. For seven. Um, left leg for seven, sorry. I'm blanking right now. Okay. Yeah, we've already treated them as they just soak crits. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that, is that everything? That's it, that's all I got. Okay, um, you're gonna have to help me with what I'm actually able to shoot with. I think the guy who's lying down is able to shoot with one of his arms. He has to make a consciousness check, oh, so no, he has, no, to, you're make right. a, he has you're to make right. a piloting roll, so which... Uh, does the guillotine get to shoot, or can he not see you? No, the guillotine can see me. Can the Jenner see you, or no? Mm, no. Well, he's at level two, looking over to two, so... He... Yes. Yeah, the Jenner can see me. Can the Orion see you? The Orion cannot because he's looking over. He's on level one, looking over level two to level zero. So no, the level two inter and level three intervening keeps him from being able to see. Okay. Which was my plan, just to piss you off. Hey, you know what? <laughs> if you don't get off the board in twelve, you lose the game. So. Uh. All right. Somebody tell me a. Roll for so this is what bullying looks like. Yeah, he brought some big badass mech and is kiting me like some pro Battletech player. <laughs> He's like, look at me fucking destroy all your little machines, you little dumb robot man. He's just like, dish, dish, Scott, dish, you dish. have four mechs to his one. You should be dominating, man. It's yeah, easy. no, I should be dominating. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but there's a lot of line of sight chican chicanery in this game that I'm not accustomed with. Mm, 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 mm. But I'm chicanery becoming, is I'm such becoming, a great word. I'm becoming more accustomed with it every single round, and my, <laughs> my fury is rising. <laughs> consciousness rolls. Uh, Once a warrior has been knocked unconscious, no other consciousness roll need to be made in the same turn. We did that. Uh, consciousness table. We know that. Recovering during the end phase of each turn after the, tur after the turn in which we're all okay, conscious. So, so at the end phase of this turn, once you've shot everything else, you'll get to make your consciousness I roll. I got gotcha. uh, You rolled 2d6. If the result is equal to or greater than the consciousness number for the warrior's current degree of damage, you regain. Okay, so it's simple. You just make it against your piloting consciousness. Okay, I think we unfortunately skipped the phase where I was supposed to elect what weapons I'm going to shoot with. 
Um, I don't so, care. You, so because there's bad. only two of us and I only have one mech, you don't have multiple targets, so it really is irrelevant. Okay. It's only really relevant when you have multiple targets because if I if you were to kill one mech, then you can't be able to declare that all of your other guns are now going to shoot whatever mechs are alive. You do it at the beginning, so in case you toast a mech, that you don't get to just use those things on something else arbitrarily. Okay. I'm just gonna cross in this my, game, it's fine. I'm going to cross off my left arm lasers here because I lost that on my Jenner. I'm currently at 10 heat which means that I have a plus one modifier to hit. I got that on eight heat. So if I shoot with everything, I think I'm gonna be cooling off a little bit actually, because I lost my lasers to shoot with. So I'll just shoot with everything with the Jenner, which is one SRM4 and two, and two medium and lasers. Two medium lasers yep. um, I move, so I'm at a plus one. What's your plus the defense? Uh, so here's a, here's a problem. Okay. If you torso twist with the Jenner, your facing would be like this, mm -hmm. and I'm in your left only arc, I believe. Oh, okay, so I can't shoot you there. Right, let's see. Where's, the arc, where's the arc facing check? I have a center core weapon. Can I shoot with that? Yeah, your CT and your, and your I believe your CT and left can shoot. Maybe CT can't. But is the left what you lost? Uh, yes. So that would not do you any good. Right, right, yeah. I have, a, I have two medium lasers on my right arm and an SRM4 on my center, on my center torso. We'll we'll just go ahead and and play it as if you didn't because you had extra movement. So we'll just play it as if you were able to er end here because that would only be one more square that you spent. Because I think because don't you walk eight? I walk seven. Oh seven? Yeah yeah yeah. Ah, just go for it. And just shoot the lasers in the S. I don't I don't. I'll, I'll shoot my one thing if that's how the game's supposed to work. I don't care. But we uh, normally we would discuss that during your movement phase, and we weren't even thinking about the fact that you lost those guns. So. I'm okay with you just shooting everything. Okay. Fine. All right. Sure. All right. SRM4. I'm at a plus one right now. I'm at one, two, three, four. Range Is the away. guillotine going to shoot anything? Yes. Okay. The guillotine has has fully cooled off and wants to shoot with everything that it can shoot with. Yeah, because he can torso twist and be in front arc. So, but I did lose a large laser and a medium laser, sadly. Um, so I'll be shooting with two medium, uh, three medium lasers and one SRM6. Cool. All right. Um, but uh, let's do the Jenner first because that's less exciting. We'll save the best for the last. Um, so SRM4, I am one, two, three, four spaces away, which is medium range. I'm at plus one, um, so sevens. Uh, Five, you're, one, up. Oh, you're eights. at plus, plus two for medium, which puts you at six, right? Because you're base four, two for medium range, uh, one for walking, one for my cover. Yeah. So eights. Eights. All right, SRM4 needing an eight. Let's do it. Didn't get it. All right, here comes the, second, the first medium laser, not a pulse laser, so needing an eight. Got it. Got it. Um, an 11. Front sir. arc 11 is left arm for, this is a medium laser mm -hmm. for five. Okay. And here comes the second laser, needing an eight to hit. Oh, we're good. Ooh, got it. We're good. All right, the accurate Jenner. Nine. To the nine, which is left leg for five. We want it the left leg. Got it. All right, that's it for the Jenner. Um, and now- The bastard has done a lot of damage. You know, he's, yeah, he's quite annoying. Um, and now the guillotine goes. Uh, first SRM six, uh, I am two spaces away. Everything's gonna be in short, short range. range. I didn't move. You're not adding anything. Just hit plus one for cover. Plus one for cover. Okay, so I'm needing a five. five. All right, five for the SRM six. Hit. Got it. How many missiles? Give me that six double sixes. Hey, oh, hell that, yeah, dude. Enough. 11 is six. Yep, six. Woo! Here we go, chat. Oh, this is going to hurt. I want, give me that Where's the first ones. two? Give me that double ones. Uh, three, and this is forward, so that's right arm for two. Right arm for two. Woo! Uh, left torso for two. That's this one. All right. Center torso for two. Ugh. A six is right torso for two. That's not good. That was the third missile, correct, or fourth? I, uh, arm, CT, torso, torso. That was four. Four. Okay, two more. Four. Four is right arm again for two. Five is right leg for two. Get down there, that right leg! Uh, I have now right. five armor on my right leg. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pebble Comfy just subscribed. says big robots. Big robots indeed. Big robots. Pebble Comfy. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. 
Um, big robots. All right, here comes the medium laser. Uh, this is needing a five to hit. And I hit with a seven. And the uh, medium laser is targeting the seven. Uh, what's this from? This is from him, says CT. Mm -hmm. So five? Five damage. And here's the second medium laser, needing a five to hit. So Hits. hit on an eight, and it's hitting the five. The five is the oh, right leg. Right five. leg. All my armor gone. Ooh, chat, we've fully removed the armor from the right leg. We're doing it. Leg is open. Um, I thought my guns. Now you're out of weapons. Mm -hmm. All right, I live. I live. He lives. All right. OK. You get to make a consciousness roll. OK. On him. And my consciousness is going to be on a don't tell me. I'll try to figure it out. Um, no uh, no modifiers, right? Last time there was a plus six. For plus six for your gyro. Now when you're... So is that, that's only when you're going to stand up. Your consciousness roll is just your pirate hit, so your five. pilot hit right now. So it's just five. It's a five. Yep, just a okay. base five. Do we wake up? Chat, we do not wake up! No! He's still, he's still down! <laughs> uh. So good! He's like, nappy nap time yeah, is like, perfectly fine for me. No, we're chilling. I'm sick of this big fat guy trying to kill me. We are chilling. Um, he continues bad. to lay we, right we there in front of the We may actually not Daishi. have time to finish this game. Oh. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, I will check with my wife about something. Our reservation to eat at a restaurant is at 6.30. Okay, yeah, so we got to uh, move quick. Oh. Yeah, uh, we are. I think we're moving pretty fast, but that's it for my turn. Uh, in terms of heat generated, I don't think I come anywhere close to using enough weaponry because I've run out of weaponry. Yeah, because the generator I blew my guns off of, so he's probably good because that was only three, six, nine, <coughs> and a walk is ten, so he's probably good. Mm -hmm. uh, Orion, is he okay? Orion didn't do jack shit, bro. You know he didn't. Is he Orion okay? Okay. This guy. Okay. This guy's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, guillotine, yeah, it doesn't have. I mean, he. Yeah, I don't think so. I right? didn't have the large laser. Six, nine. Um, he may have gone up one. <laughs> I, so I used uh, four, seven. Um, oh, I have two medium lasers. I can never remember if I'm using these. Uh, all these things. Uh, four, I mean, I have four total. Yeah, I, I think so. Four, seven, six, thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Have I have nine. nineteen. You only have. Oh yeah, you have nineteen, and you didn't move. Yep. Yep. Oh, but I but I generate ten a you turn. Generate ten, so you only have nine to give. So you did, um, you're up four. So up four, yep. which is fine. That yep. doesn't even curtail movement. But I will mark it. Okay. All right. right. All right. All right. Okay. It's to you again, sir. Here's the thing. You can rope a dope me all day long. If I go left, you're gonna go right with my Orion. There, there is the only option I have is just to walk at you. I had to give up. I can't make it off the end of the board. There's no reason. So I have to sit here and just try to kill stuff. Yeah. Um. But that's just it. I need to walk at you uh, mm -hmm. because you're just going to continually line of sight me. Um, and so I just need to... It's called slicing the pie, baby. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called lame. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I've been fighting three mechs <laughs> face to face this entire game. Uh, lame. All right. Uh, lame. You should be fighting four. <laughs> you gave me four. Fight four. Uh, we'll turn. You really did blow my mind because you put everybody up front initially. Why, so here's the question. And that's the perfect thing to do. Why would I not? No, it's the perfect thing to do. Okay, yeah, okay. Per I didn't even really, I didn't give it any gumption because I thought, oh, you know, there's always the, the I want to protect these things I don't know about. No, so I'll put no. two up front and two behind and see how the game goes. No, nah, man, you just jacked it. I like I it. I want max value. It's, it's made instantly. it lots of dice rolls, which is really fun right from the get-go because we were shooting turn one, which is, is kind of rare in Battletech because you can see how you have to kind of dance and do -si do to get into range, mm -hmm. so it's good. You know, we got to, I got to through armor crit you on turn one, which was beautiful. <laughs> that wasn't beautiful. <laughs> two, two engine crits on turn one, chat. That's what you missed. One, it was pretty sweet. You weren't here from the beginning. Two, three, four, five. That's a walk for him, and he moved zero to two spaces. Jump, damn it. No, I've learned my lesson. Okay, now here's the thing. So Ryan, is this level two? Well, I think he is on level two, yeah. Oh god, you're in the worst spot, bro. You just are in so, such an annoying spot. Cause I the, the thing is is you can just let's see if I <clears throat> if I walk here, you can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm I'm being blocked. Um What's what's the deal with the Orion? How far can he run? He can run six. Um so annoying.
Maybe the maybe this guy should move a little bit actually. What was that place we went to for the Juicy Lucy's? I went to Blue Door Pub. Blue. Yeah. They're pretty good. I had a bacon, uh, a juicy bacon, lu ju bacon. Lu I forget what they called it. The bacon blue sea. Blue sea. They called it the bacon blue sea. Yeah. Yeah. The Blue Door Pub's thing is that they default to putting blue cheese in the burgers rather than American. They don't default to that. The bacon blue sea was uh, cheddar. Some of them were white, oh, okay. yeah, white American. They, they, I think only one of them was the true blue sea. I think they called it or whatever, and had blue cheese. Yeah. All right, I think if I do this, if I go, so I turn once, mm -hmm. two, three, four. The problem is- That's one, two, three. Three. The problem is I'm trying, I need to open the map a little bit more. I need to spread my net a little bit wider so you can't just walk around me. But you still kind of can, because if you just do this, one, two, Three, four, five, five. No, it'd be five because it's woods too and three, a level four, five. Change. Okay, so, so I don't want to do that because then you're giving you my back to this guy. You're not going to do that. Um, so you may. The thing is, you can just walk backward. You know, you just walk backward, literally. Um, there's so many things you can do, and my brain is trying to grok them all, and it's impossible. And I'm just going to sit here and take forever. So I think what I just need to do is this. I think I need to um, turn one. Two, three, four, five. And then if you go here, are we both on level two? And you're, I'm gonna, just gonna fucking block myself again. Yep, I'm going to. Uh, where is this guy? Is he in this space, or is he in this space? He's in the space. So you guys, he's been, yeah, yeah, he's been kind he's of shifting around a little yep. bit. Yep. Um, oh, Jason, this game. Making so salty right now. <laughs> That's why I shoot that big guns. Okay, uh, that was five spaces right here. Yeah, five. And I was right here. Yeah, so three hexes. Run three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you walk here, I can still shoot. I can still see you. Yeah. Yeah, I just have cover. And then I end up facing this direction. And so if you do one of these things where you're like, turn one, two, three, four, you're stuck there. He can't see you at all. He can torso twist. He can. Everybody would be able to torso twist and shoot me no matter what. Okay. Show me how I fucked up for the uh, nth time in a row. Oh, well, I ended up on dice. So that was, that was a run. A uh, run four? Run four. Uh, he didn't. He just stayed there. He just he just turned, I believe, one. Um, he didn't move. Uh, oh, no, I, I'm wrong about that. He didn't move one. Uh, zero to one. Yeah, spaces. you moved one. Yeah, you walked one. Right, walked one. You're right. <sighs> Do Chat. battle techs dream of electric sheep? <laughs> Chat. I'm just gonna tell him to bring it. Let's do this. I'm done. Are you? Miniatures yeah. just sitting there. Is, is, there Unload. is there a thing you could do to Unload. Line no, you're going to have line of sight. I could give you, I could get range on the Orion, but by doing so, I take the Jenner out of my line of sight. Are I giving too many bonuses? Because I've moved here. I'm, I'm looking through the trees into the Jenner, who's, oh, he's not, well, he's not in a tree, but I'm giving extra bonuses there and I'm not gaining anything. I can only move two hexes in any direction, which doesn't make it me harder to hit, so I might as well sit still because all it does is make it harder for me to hit you. Okay. So sitting still, I still gain the cover from everybody because I'm adjacent to the hill, so everybody's at plus one to hit me plus their movement, so that's my best bet. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that's my best thing. I can't get away because of moving here. Had you moved here, I was going to move here. Yes. Because then the Orion wouldn't be able to see me. But yep. moving here makes it useless for me to move. Okay. Because all it does is make it harder for me to hit you. Okay, we're going to shoot with the Orion team. All, all right. right, for the first turn, you get to do everything. <laughs> well, except that I've now put your Wolverine out of commission. That's okay. I'm going... And he didn't wake up either. I'm going to kill two mechs this turn. All right. That's... That's what I'm going to do. He's laying it on the line. Spitfire. That's what he's uh, I know fixing Evan said to your do. name. Thank you. Uh, what do we know about it. timing for dinner? Uh, the Is this it? Is this the last hurrah? We should just make this the last hurrah. Yes. All right. I'm pushing it. I'm alpha striking. I'm going super high. I'm going 20 plus heat, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Maybe this isn't the last turn. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? 
<laughs> I guess it is his house, so he can make house rules. Yeah, I don't see, I, I, I'm going to say it's not the last turn, and then I'll be like, you know, actually, we should really leave right now. I don't. I don't. I don't get. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. No, no. go, go you him. shoot the Orion because the Orion's got lots of weapons. Go so. him. All right. Um, I'm. I can't kill the Orion, so I'm going to have to focus everything. It, it doesn't make any sense to shoot the Orion. Um, so witness me. Um, I'm going to. Let's see, what are you at? He's gonna cook all Neither the one bait. of those guys move far enough to get any bonuses, so I'm auto-hitting both of those guys. Uh, um, I don't even... Know no, I need threes on the secondary target. So... Uh, boy, he is messed up. He is messed up. So, Fire, appreciate the stream. Uh, so thank you for saying I'm your favorite streamer. Appreciate it. Or maybe you're talking about him. He's definitely talking about him. My favorite streamer is on another stream? best day awesome he is he's what? here he was here yesterday too spitfire what's going on it was a good time we painted some minis i've had a blast thank yeah. you for having me this oh, has been I, total fun absolutely. the time outside of it has been fun hanging out talking biz and and nonsense it's just a good nerd vacation for me so yeah. it is nice i, I think, love it yeah i think we sat down in the basement and i was just like hours you just, believe you believe in god jason and yeah then, that's then, how he started it then, then three walked, hours when god went by he walked downstairs last night he has the comfiest couch the most bitchin basement layout big tv put on some some tunes he turned it was like it was like it was like he was trying to get in my pants he turned the lights <laughs> down low he turned the lights down low the christmas lights came on it was really moody and he walks back in there and he goes so Jason, do you believe in God? And it was like, you, it was just like, and I wonder how, I wonder, uh, let me tell you how I got in this situation. And yeah. then we just went on and then I was great. It was yeah. a ton of fun. <laughs> um, all right, so I got to pick who I'm shooting and how. Uh, it really doesn't matter who I pick as uh, primary and, and secondary target, but I'm going to do uh, the four medium pulse lasers into the Jenner. What if you just shot the dirt in front of you? Just to make a really big dust storm so I couldn't see you. Can you do that? There are rules for that. I'm sure there are. <laughs> it's Battletech. There's rules for everything. And if not, you can just house rule it. Um, so four medium pulse lasers into the Jenner. <laughs> Thank you, Spitfire. Uh, two ER larges and the two AC5s into the uh, the guillotine. Right? So that's 16. And 24 is 40. 42. I have two left to play with, or I can go plus two by doing the LRM, or I can just, I mean, screw it, it's the last turn, right? Yeah. So, if I go, what does 26 get me? Oh God. Shut down a void on a 10 plus. Mm -hmm. 24 is a plus four modifier to fire and a shutdown on an eight. All right, we're doing that. We're not firing the LRM, but we're firing the other two ER larges. Um, Into the uh, oh hell, into the the Wolverine, just to finish him off. Let's see if we can kill three mechs. Let's go out with a bang. Let's see. Why I not? Will, I will go to. Plus, I would love to see that. I will go to plus twenty four heat this turn, gang. This is plus twenty four heat. Someone said you're, you're cooking all the bacon. It's actually oh, plus twenty two because it's adding twenty four to. I had two to give, so it's plus twenty two, but still same thing. Shut down a void on an eight plus okay. is what I got to do at the end of all this. Papa, we'll we'll, we'll talk about uh, the verdict about Baltic when we finish this last turn. But yes, all right, definitely Here we go. an important question. Can you toss those to me? Oh yes, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, so the Wolverine will be the tertiary target. Uh, Jenner primary, Guillotine secondary. The Jenners uh, as primary target. Is no pluses to hit. I didn't move. I'm at short range. Uh, Papa ones. Chicken says, "Don't forget to that avoid ammo explosion roll, Jason." For why? Oh, I do, don't I? Yeah, you have LRM ammo. Ooh. I think you automatically have. It's case only on a four right? up though, as a cleaner or whatever. Oh God! It's pulling hell's reach. Ooh, this is gonna get rough, gang. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm auto hitting with these pulse lasers on the Jenner. So, um, so seven damage to the nine, which is left leg. Left leg can seven damage. Yeah, can't take one, it. One, two, three, six. four, five, six. Ah, seven, eight, nine. No crit. Ooh. Wait, wasn't double ones great? I it, it is on location, but not on the crit table. Oh, zero to was... zero to seven does nothing. Eight to twelve. Box is where cards on the crit table gives you three. Three. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. It is. yeah okay, Snake okay. eyes doesn't do you anything on the no. It's a no crit. Yes, I'm living. All right, the next one goes to the ten, which is the left arm. Which is already gone. Left so arm that, is totally gone. So it goes to left torso. 
Left torso, uh, how much? Ten? Seven. Seven, uh, five. Okay, we're good. Okay, the next one goes to the nine, which is the left leg again. Left leg uh, is fully, go fully gone. All right. Uh, it, it ate up all the pips? All of it, yeah. Okay, so no leg, carryover? Legs blown up, no carryover. Uh, any ammo Wait, on the leg? Oh, sorry. Uh, is it? Did, uh, does it go beyond the internal structure? Yeah, it goes. Does that matter? It goes then up to uh, the. Tor uh, it goes up to the CTE. Left, the, yeah, the, the left torso. Yeah, left torso. Okay, so how much damage did you do? I'm sorry. I, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna go two up to the. Uh, um, well, you would take it off the armor. If you have armor to give. Still. Okay, so it'd be one, and then it'd be one pip on the internal structure of my okay. left torso. Okay. So what are we rolling for right now? Uh, crits on left torso. Good. But I right? didn't get any. Okay. Cool. Should you roll a crit on my left leg as well? Is there anything in your leg? Because it's destroyed. It's just so gone. No, yeah. It, it basically locks up. So uh, I, I, is there any ammo in it? Left leg. Uh, foot actuator, hip. Uh, no ammo, right? No ammo. Yeah, so it's just blown up. So you're at half movement now. My right torso has ammo in it. And and you have to, I believe you have to make a fall check at the end of this. So. Okay. okay. Um, and then the last one. Oh, that should have been a head. Um, <laughs> is right leg. Right seven. leg for how much? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more crit roll for you to the uh, right. Oh my God, Chad! Did, did you get it? Snake eyes again. Oh my gosh! That was, that was that I'm was so lucky. Four chances for crits, no crits. So that's how that goes. Um, all right. I rolled like uh, three actual crits this game. Like you, you've, yeah, that, you've that have actually rolled through, but I've hit like table. twenty. I've had <laughs> but, twenty opportunities. Just shows yeah. you that you never. Jason needs new dice. Yeah, for him and me both. We've been yeah. we both been using the same pair of six sided dice just to keep it simple. So it's uh it's very balanced. Um, it just my dice hate me for some reason. <laughs> um, okay, so secondary target now. Um, I'm doing uh the two ER large and the two AC fives on the guillotine on the guillotine. Okay, uh, which would also normally be auto hit, but now it is uh. Threes, I need. Okay. Right. So first one hits. Where are right. you hitting? Oh, that should have been a head. Um, left arm. Left arm totally gone. For ten. So is left torso. So that goes CT. Uh, for ten. ten. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna crack me. So that was seven, and so we got three more pips to the internal structure. Let's see that twelve on let's this see one. That, let's see that. Does he need a seven? Or you need a high? Ah! <laughs> I'm living. Chat, thank you for blessing me. <sighs> Next one. Hits. Where's it going? Where's it going? Uh, to the six is right torso for 10. Right torso can take one, two, three, four, five pips of damage. So we are on the right torso internal structure as well. I'm stopping blowing on these yeah, stop freaking it. things. Yeah, are you, you kidding it. me? Uh, oh, I got there one. It is. There I got it is. one. All right, right torso. Uh, upper section. Upper section. Number four. Number four is a heat sink. I mean, that was the guy to hit with a heat sink, so now I got 18. Oh, I got 18. <laughs> They're 18. not doubles, right? They're just normal. Uh, I don't I don't know how I would know that. It just, it just says, it would say, next to heat sinks, it would say double. And it yeah, does. I think he's got 25 yeah, yeah. normal heat sinks. Yep. Um, that's why that mech is so sturdy. That's a great mech. I mean, he's been tanking like a boss for you this turn. He's been equal to my mech for the, the whole game. He just won't give up. <laughs> you like, you should, yeah, all of his armor is totally shredded right yeah. now. Yeah. First AC5 misses. Oh Are my gosh, he missed! Me? Second AC5 hits, uh, that's five damage to the CT. So the that's CT, good. that's good, yeah. All right, where's it going, top or bottom? Oh, I gotta roll for him. I got one. Oh, you got one, okay. Uh, bottom column, six. Six is one of my SRM sixes. Not ammo, it's the SRM. Yep. Okay, good, so blew the SRM up. Well, it, it just says SRM six. That's what yeah, it says. that's it. So okay. the weapon's gone. Okay. Yeah, it has multi. It takes up multiple slots. Oh, because that's the bracket. It's like the si Yeah, it's like the size of the weapon is big enough to tab multiple ways to hit it. Okay. But once you check off any of them, it's all. <coughs> uh, all right, that's it for that one. And then the other two ER larges are going on the Wolverine. I am not killing anything. Weren't you killing stuff this turn? Yeah. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. What the hell, man? What the hell? This is just not even the way this was supposed to go. <laughs> um, he's at plus four, uh, but minus four. So again, he's auto hit. Um, so Love to hear that. yeah, uh, this would be he's facing this way when he fell. So this is left sides. So seven left torso for ten. Left torso for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four pips on the internal structure. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hate my life. <laughs> Next one. Uh, left side 10 is right arm. Right arm. Oh, that's bad for it. you. Yeah, it three, six, nine, ten. Yeah. Plus 20 heat, baby. Plus, <laughs> plus 22 heat I'm at He's for that. For that. Fuse just wants to disappoint me. He's trying to, yeah. Um, I thought that was very valorous to just like alpha strike, just go for all of it. Yeah. I should have fired the LRM 10 at this rate. That would have only put me at 26. All right. Well, that's a shutdown on a 10. I ain't doing that. Time for me to unload myself. Um, not with the not with the the Wolverine though, because the Wolverine is uh, he's Currently unconscious. Taking a break. Yeah, he's taking a little nap right now. You know, he's got a hard. It's a hard day. Okay, it's a hard day. I mean, those terrible dice you have. All right, we'll start with the Jenner. because the They better roll for you like they just rolled for me, because that they, was abysmal. I hope they don't. That was abysmal. We're, one, we're three spaces away with the Jenner at the moment, and I'm down uh, two medium lasers. So I have one SRM and two medium lasers, and we mm -hmm. are all in short range. I moved, adding plus one. A year in cover. cover. So we're on fives right now. Yep, fives. For the SRM four. Do we hit? Back. We do not. Or we do hit, sorry. Yeah, how many uh, missiles? How many missiles? Give me a lot. Give me a lot. Yeah. It should be four again, right? Yeah, four. Cool, and that's all four, right? Oh, it's the SRM four. It's called the SRM four. And how? And what was that? It was a six. That was an eight. That was an eight. An eight. An eight on four is three. 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 Yeah, three. Here we go. The the first missile hits the, the three. Uh, the three to the C okay. center is right. Uh, right leg. Three is right, right arm. Damn it. For two. Yeah, you want that right leg. I want that right leg. Uh, the five is the right leg. Yes! Chad, I'm breaching! Okay, you went through. Okay. Roll for crit. So roll for crit, so I need an eight. Chat. Here come the boxcars. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Not boxcars, but still All right. crit. Top, bottom? Bottom. bottom. Uh, they don't, there is no bottom, so it's just the five. The five, okay. So the five is roll again, so roll again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> three. Uh, the three is the lower leg actuator. All right, we're, two, we're stripping this mech down. Yeah. All right, and one more missile. Uh, going to the nine. Nine, which is the left leg. Do damage. Blink. All right, now I got two medium lasers from the Jenner coming your way. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I'm cheating right now. Uh, I have 10 heat. Does that affect my shooting? Oh, it does. It does. Uh, uh, plus one. Uh, it's plus three. What? Plus three modifier to fire. Plus one modifier. No, you look at it. Oh, you're plus 10? Yeah, I'm on 10 right now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm, not, I'm hitting on sixes, not not fives. You're on sixes, but you rolled an eight for that first yeah. uh, SRM hit anyway, okay. so you're fine. Okay, so we're on eight or a nine, we're on, so you're good. Okay, we're on but sixes, this is sixes now. now. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, good check. Um, you're good. It hits. It's going to the seven. CT for five. Four, five. Yes. Yep. Second laser needing a six to hit. Hits. Ah! Woohoo! The five. The five. That's it again, right leg. Yes. Five. All right, are we getting a crit? Are we getting a crit shot? You're not getting a crit. <laughs> <laughs> is that three or is that two? Oh. Two. You, you were right. He wasn't getting a crit. <laughs> All right, we're hitting the six. Roll again. Uh, for his foot actuator. Okay. I'm not moving very far now. <laughs> All right, that was all the weapons. You got two because you rolled 11, so you got to roll another one. Oh, you're right. Mm, that's an upper leg actuator again. So upper, lower, and foot. So my my leg is frozen. Okay. Okay. So I'm at half movement, All and right. I probably have to make a, a piloting check to not fall down. Okay. We'd love to hear that. All right. That was all of the Jenner's guns. Um, a Jenner kind of MVP. Not gonna lie, this little mech is. Doing I told you the lights are so building a swarm of lights is not a bad idea so long as you know how to pilot them to keep them out of harm. Right. Yeah. They the good thing here is you've had tanks to not die. You've had scarier mechs to tank, and I rolled shitty on my crits for the Jenner. He should have been dead that turn. Yeah, like, I, legit, I, I, he should have been dead. I, 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 I didn't so feel too. like I needed to alpha strike him, but I should have. Yeah. You know, like just look at him all. limping. Look at him limping around. I know, dude. Fucking guy's got no armor. He's open all over the place. He's still doing damage. He's struggling. All right. The uh, the guillotine now, trying with SRM6, I moved plus one, uh, I got no heat that's affecting me at the moment, you are in cover, so plus two, so we're hitting on uh, sixes? Uh, four, five, six, yeah. All right, SRM6, here we go, needing a six to hit. We're good on a six, how many missiles? Nine. Out of an SRM6? Yes, sir. A nine pack on six is five. Five, I'll take it. The first of five. Goes to the eight uh, left torso for two. The second of five. Oh, that's the right leg again. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. 
The right legs on the uh, dire wolf are very big. You got to roll for crit again. You got to roll. You got to roll better than oh, an eight. So okay. no, you can count the four. You just roll another die. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got uh, one. Okay. Eight to ten is one. Oh no, ten to eleven is two. So you get two. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's only one thing. So you got the hip. So it's just there. You go. Bam. Okay. Blue. Blue leg off. Basically. All right. Uh, third of five. It's not. It's just frozen. Everything's frozen. So. Right, because you still have pips left, so it's not. And now I have to make a piloting check every time I want to move because you blew my, you froze my hip up. So. Okay, third of fifth missiles. Uh, an eight is left torso for two. All right, four out of five. There's a four is right arm for two, and five out of five. There's a fifth right leg again. Two. 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 Blink. Yep. All right, and we won't roll for the crit. Nothing left to crit there. Um, medium laser. Uh, we're still hitting on sixes. We miss. Uh, second medium laser. Miss. Third medium laser. Good. Uh. Five to the, the head. No, the CT crit, through armor crit. Oh! So roll box cars now, and you have a chance. Wait, so what happens? What am I rolling on right now? This so is a crit, this is a crit what roll. Snake Eyes does is it gives you a through armor crit to the location that's center torso, right? So it's center torso and then it's critical chance. So then you roll now roll for a critical chance, even though you didn't hit structure. It okay. just, it caused something weird to happen. You okay. know, it's like one of those quirky, got through a crack, yeah. got through a crack okay. even though you had armor. Okay. So now you roll as if you'd gotten out of structure. Okay. No. Oh, cool. See how bad that feels? Because it's so exciting, I especially know. when I still have a ton of center torso armor left, and you get that chance. Because you've done that twice to him. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. So Falling short twice, though. All right. That was all three medium lasers that I have on the guy. All right. And now on to the fresh, shiny <laughs> Orion. This one's going to hurt, chat. <coughs> this one's going to hurt, chat. That's what I like to hear. I'm on a plus two. I am one, two, three away. Um, everything is in. See you, Schmidt. Oh, <clears throat> see you, Schmidt. Um, everything is in short range. I'm at a plus two for how much I moved. You're in cover, so a plus three total. You guys have gunner skill of four as well. Yeah, all your guys are fours. Okay, so I'm on a seven then for all my weapons. You're four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. So for my LB10X AC, here we go. That's the that's the big one. It's the one that you kind of want to hit, right? All right. I ain't gonna, gonna cut, I ain't cut uh -oh. the gravy. What rounds do you have? Does it say the ammo type that you have? Um, it would be, you'd have to find it down in the bottom. Is it cluster munitions? Or I have is it, two types. I have LB10X and LB10X cluster. You wanna fire the cluster, you roll on the cluster table like missiles, so it gives you more chances to hit more locations and do more crits, or you roll it as one, which is a slug, and it just does a flat 10 damage. I missed. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Well, then fine. Um, MRN 30. Again, needing a... Not that. Not that. Um, a medium laser. I'm liking... Oh, that, that hits. hits. That hits. I need a seven. Um, where is it going? This so this seven. is on my left. So a seven is left torso for five? Um, five, yes, for the okay. medium laser. MRM 20. Nope. I like this. Medium laser. Nope. That's what's up. My dice have redeemed themselves, yeah. Scott. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in a way, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the last turn that we have time for right now. So yeah. let's, let's talk about Battletech and what's what's something that you love about Battletech? This, the narrative aspect of it is really cool. Now, this is a learning scenario that I do just because it gives you the ability to taste a little bit of every facet of how weapons and heat and movement work and how just the game and the strategic movement is so important. Because you can see how initiative, all of these things have equal balance because if you move a mech and commit, then I have initiative and I move to a place you didn't expect, it drives you nuts. It makes your, your whole tactic just went out the door, right? So that gives it a feel of live combat. You know, I expect you to juke left, and so I account for that, but then you juke right. You know? What's the deal with initiative? Like, how do you actually determine who goes first? At the beginning of each turn, you roll. Okay. Yeah, you roll and high, high roll wins. Okay. Um, and then you, you play initiative based on that, and it can go back and forth. Okay. So, okay. Uh, but scenario, like custom scenarios like this where you're outgunned, you usually would give, like, the defender or the person that was outgunned initiative all the time, but it's typically going to be that way anyway. Even if you had initiative, 
Um, I you would move last, but you would have to move models before me, and then I would move mine, and then you'd move your last one. Okay. Right, because they try to balance it for attrition during the game, so you don't ever just get to mob somebody. They move, and then you move four mechs into them. Right. It's just yeah, not that, fair. Yeah, right. that would be fun. So it always balances out a little bit that way, but it's not as it's not as huge <coughs> of a thing, except when you have um, it comes to the firing solutions, naming and like who you're going to shoot at and what you're going to target and all that can be meaningful in certain scenarios and situations. Um, I think including melee makes the game even more interesting because you have to maintain this short, medium range, so you're not getting booted, but you're still able to shoot in an effective way you want to shoot. Yeah. Had and we had melee here, it would have been a completely different game totally because different you game. wouldn't have gotten that close to me, number Absolutely, one. Absolutely, yeah. Or you might have. You might have wanted to come up and kick me. I mean, a, a Jenner can kick me. You know, and do a ton of damage to sure. a leg. And if you keep plinking and stuff like that, you're it's a bigger risk versus reward mm -hmm. kind of scenario. But yeah, the melee stuff is very brutal. Punching, kicking, yeah. uh, jumping. Minimum range for weapons also comes into play on that. Yeah, kind minimum of range. That is. <coughs> we don't have don't any minimum range weapons here, mech. I don't think. Right. I don't think we had any. Um, no, but like if if your if your assault mech had a bunch of LRMs on it, then maybe the Jenner would play the game and be like, you know what, maybe I do want him to punch me instead of shooting 80 LRMs at me. Yeah. So, um, so one thing I love in games is push-pull mechanics. There's this idea that you can spend to increase your output, but it is going to impact you now or in the future. And, this and is, so heat is exactly that, it's right? It's exactly that. I and, really love that. It's yeah. that boomerang effect. Like I said, with light mechs, I tend to run in Alpha Strike, drive my heat up, and then the next turn, run out and cool down. Right. And then bring them back. Because if your opponent focuses on that mech, all the better. It's basically acting like a tank through speed. Right. Right? And yeah. so it can work really, really well. But it again, it ta it's what's the scenario? What's the current situation? Sure, what you're trying to do. Yeah. I love it because unlike... So when I play games like 40K, and, and not to bag on Games Workshop or anything like that, but a lot of those games, once on. I learn my army... I almost move that army the same every game. It might have a little bit of nuance depending on terrain setup, but like with the tournament setup, it's generally in all four corners and one in the middle, so it's all very similar. So you, you deploy this unit over on the right, this unit on the left, these in the middle, these in deep strike, and then you just kind of know how your army works. It's almost like the opponent doesn't matter. You, you know what you're strategy. doing every single time because sure. you've got it. Okay. This can't play that way. Because you can see how like a through armor crit with two engine hits changed your entire game from turn one because the guillotine is now very scary Not to work to... with. He can't alpha strike unless he right. shuts down on eight plus and all that kind of stuff. So. Right, yeah. The other thing I like, like in this game is time to kill. I love games that let you play with your fun toys for a long Longer, time, right? Because, yeah. like, I not to not to rag on GW games, but the time to kill in in their premier games, AOS, and I I, I think 40K. I haven't played it in a same while. Thing. Pick up like, lots of models. They just annihilate things off the field. Turn one, you don't get a chance. And, and same thing with Shatterpoint. I love how you get to continue to use your models. Yeah, because they damage can come back in for a certain number right. of times, which is really It's a cool. good thing to damage, right? Yeah. Like, it, it, it impairs my ability to, to hit you back, but I can just have fun in the game. Yeah, and that, there are that, things that can kind of one-hit kill, but they're very, very rare. And sure, it's, yeah. And it's so rare that it becomes that cinematic, like, oh my you, god, story to tell. You want that moment, that moment in a game. Yeah, like it. our first turn started off like, oh my god, Evan's laughing, because he yeah. told me to get through armor crits, and, and so I do on turn one, it. and then I roll yeah. for two, and then yeah, I get yeah. two engine hits, and it's like, holy crap, this never happens. You gotta have that. Yeah, yeah and it's storytelling, because it does create those narrative moments. The, and the, the nice chances thing is, are there, there is Timmy in this game, it's just not something you can build for yeah sure well and and because each of the scenarios has a tonnage limit and the way that this has been balanced over the years tonnage wise is rather than just points you can run points or tonnage um, and and the way it's balanced is pretty good like if we play a, a, a 1500 point list it's our, our we're gonna be very well matched you okay. know because if I spend all 1500 on one and you bring four mechs you can see how the bully can really be real in either direction sure yeah yeah I know because movement and ganging up and activations means a lot yeah so. I I'm the movement is the movement thing is another thing is that I uh, someone I can't remember what developer said it but they're like if you want to make a great war game movement needs to really matter yeah and movement really matters in this game severely and I, yeah and I can even see it where like if you add three mechs I add three mechs this is like scales and complexity, like immediately, yeah. right? Like I, my strategy was fairly simple. I thought it was actually it was actually a little bit more complicated than I had to like corral you and yeah. actually have to get guns on you. Um, but when 
you have multiple mechs and I have multiple mechs. Now, now there are so many things to think about, so many things to uh, Yeah, we both put each other balance. in bad decision-making positions. Sure. And I think that from a competitive standpoint, that's what you want. You want to make your opponent have to make really hard decisions. Yeah. Do you want to move far enough to get into short range? Because then your numbers are bad. Yeah. Or do you want to sit at medium range or maybe a little bit better or whatever, but it's like... You have more options because you have like a wider cone of fire, you but got you're it. not hitting as well. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot of it going on in this game. I just don't care for the theme. Yeah, big, robots. Big, big, big mechs. mechs are not something that I'm. A, you know, I never got into that. I never watched Transformers when I was little a lot. So I never got like you know into that as a young child. Um, but just like, you have to find one show with mechs that you'll really like, sure. and it'll change everything. Yeah, I, I, I never played Titanfall at all. I never played Mech Warrior a ton. I played Hawken on PS2. I thought Hawken was rad. Yeah, Hawken yeah. was pretty rad. It was, it was more was of a PS2, glitchy yeah. shooter, like a twitchy kind of run around. Yes. Yeah. So and it was that, more like Call of Duty or something. It. Yeah, it, was exactly. fun. it felt more human than mech. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but the game, I mean, there's more to it, and I want to, I want to know what the other things are in the game. And the game's solid. It's a solid game. Like, it's I, a good I, game. I literally, I can't, I can't fault it. Good. And that's rare. I can complain about a lot of shit, Jason. And I got nothing you and to me say. You me both. Yeah, I, I keep coming say. back to Through my entire time of, this was one of the first games, this and Starfleet Battles are what I got exposed to first back in the, the early 80s, late 70s. And they've stuck with me. I've always come back and checked on them. A lot of times it said I can't find people to play with over the years. People didn't play these games. It became very sparse. Uh, the people that owned it, you know, the the Clicks game came out, and it was like, uh, that's not my game, that's not my BattleTech, you know. Mm -hmm. But then to find now and have it research, I think Catalyst has done a really good job of bringing it back into the limelight. They've done a great job of creating the artwork from the more modern uh, MechWarrior Online, which really surpasses the old art in a lot of ways for making yeah. the, the making me want to paint these. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, like I said, you know, I, I think it's fun. I think it is a good sit down with your friends, create a cool scenario. You know, people in chat have known we've talked about scenarios and custom things that we've done. We've done like raid the 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 uh, the uh, security complex where you got to get a mech in and sit by a building for a couple of turns to extract the the operative and then GTFO off a corner edge. And if you've got four mechs, you're protecting that one mech with the other three and the other three are expendable. The goal is to get your fast mech off the board edge. And so that changes the dynamic when you can know that I can waste these guys so I can protect the Jenner and get it in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all I have to do is kill one guy because he doesn't have any other mechs can make the thing work. Mm -hmm. So that kind of stuff can be really, really fun. And it has a whole campaign matrix that goes beyond Necromunda and all that that you can make RPG style stuff where you have a, a commander and money to spend. Yeah. And when you blow up a mech, you get to roll for the salvage you get and things yeah, like yeah. that. So it's really fun. Yeah. What were you going to uh, say, Evan? I was going to say, Millimeter Matt was asking if you were going to put out your scenarios for the community at all. You know, I've, thought, I, I've definitely thought about putting it in on our Discord for sure in the gaming section. We've had a lot of people ask about scenarios that we've written. I think what I'm going to do is focus in on these single night, like one-off campaigns that I've been talking about. Um, because that could be a good multiplayer way to get into the game. So yeah, that could be a thing. All right, we are... Uh... Well, my wife moved the reservation to seven, so um, got a little bit of time. A little bit of time, but yeah, great it's game. Been great man. Yeah, it's been a lot. I'm of fun. glad you thank like you it. Thank you for showing me the game. Thank you for bringing the mat and the beautiful painted models. Um, Chat, thank you for hanging out. Again, um, we don't do gaming streams anymore, but this was the the highest viewed gaming stream we've ever had. Maybe One Page Rules was tied with it because that was also bizarrely high. Uh, but those two, in that, yeah. those two communities have very strong, yeah. uh, very strong communities, and you guys showed up. Um, also, uh, Jason's here. People showing up for you as well. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Thank yeah. Everybody's been very welcoming. I've loved being part of the streams, the yeah. painting stream, and everything. It's been fantastic for me. So thanks. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for uh, hanging out. Um, I'll catch you next Tuesday for a painting stream. Um, but until then, thanks for the subs. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later. See Adios, you. gang.